All righty. Are we live? Uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there it Arr is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a wonderful day if you're watching this and it is not say live at the bottom of the screen. Unfortunately, you're watching the recap. The good news is we are live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile. Press hot chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts Boot Camp and Real Estate Course. But... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to earnings. Welcome to bank earnings. We actually already woke up. Schwab, they said that they are pausing their share buybacks. People took that as a bad sign. The overall numbers came in in line. But if anything, Schwab was probably our first bank that wasn't all, you know, roses and flying colors. You even had MTB. They came in in line. So nothing too crazy, but we're going to see how that all plays out. There was also even updates here on Google, uh, reports that Samsung may be dropping out Google and all of that. So that brought them down 4%. Otherwise, market hasn't moved much. People are talking about the bonds. We're going to see how the rest of the earnings go. And let's see if any problems emerge from the banks. It's going to be interesting after this morning's report. So, Chad, we're going to see. But, oh, man. Don't let me go too crazy. Good morning. Good morning, Chattadonia. What's up? How you living, Lateral? What's up, Tense? What's up, Mr. Swayze? What's up, JV? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, Matthew Orman, Doug Cope, Logan, Forever Young, baby. Oh, Jay Alt. I know we do have the Starship launch. People are talking about that. It's big. Good morning, Danny. Mr. Kingsley, Laker, Jay. Oh, good morning, baby. What's up, Gene? Hamid, Kayla, Brandon, Jamir, Blow Peterson, Gion, and Nick D. Guts. Oh, good morning. What's up, Brittany? What's up, John? Be good. Open face sandwich in the house, baby. Oh, that's what I love to see. Christina, happy wedding, Christina. Happy new anniversary. We love to see it. Good morning. Scotty, Angel, Dylan, William Ward, Joe. Oh, my gosh. Chattadonia is ready to go. I know Carissa Hines is in the house. Good morning. Mr. Halbeck, good morning, baby. What's up, Tyreen? What's up, Natalie? What's up, Matthew? Kurt McGart, J. Max, Maria. Oh, my goodness. The chat is here. Oh, the chat is here. Ain't that right, Smoke? Tell them, baby. What's up, Twitch? I see y'all too. Performs. Mother Liquor, Fed Chair Peach, Robo Hand, Angelus, Dr. Suede, Gordy, BDA Cookie Monster. Oh, B2 Ninja, Blazing Bob. Good morning, Chattadonia. Oh, isn't it good to be back on Monday? Aren't right, Mondays the best? Oh, we love Mondays. And it's earnings season. And it's earnings season. And don't forget. We have the random account generator, so let's get this started. Shout out to everybody on the watch list who participated. I already inputted everything, so let's get it, man. Lord, bless the random comments. Bless the plays. What do we got? Brrr. Oh, RIP, EBS, June. Wait, why? Oh, RP, RP. I thought he said RIP. I said, why are we playing RIP? EBS, June 23rd, $15 call for $0.60. I'm down. All right, we got a Padufa play for the random. Padufa for the random. I will take it. I will take it. Inverse King. Oh, welcome, my friend. So, Chattadonia, let us get into the news here for the day. Uh, more than 20 billion of transactions have emerged since the weekend as global M&A activity is gearing up for the spring renaissance. Merck and Co. will buy Prometheus for $10 billion in cash to boost their immuno um, immunology drugs pipeline as they brace for patent expirations. The offer was 75% higher than Friday's close. CVC in Francisco, they are in talks to buy network for about $2.6 billion. Apollo's busy. THG soared as their preliminary offer for the firm engineering company John Wood said they will engage with Apollo after a $2 billion approach. Sega Sammy, creator of Sonic the Hedgehog, offered 700 million euros for Angry Birds maker Rovio. Uh, U.S. futures edged higher as the dollar stayed flat in muted trading before a week of earnings. Treasury yields rose, oil fell, and gold advanced. Uh, Charles Schwab stock fell pre-market after the firm said they decided to pause their share buyback program and deposits tumbled 30% year-on-year. State Street tumbled after reporting net flows that missed consensus. Financial firms struggled in Europe too. Credit Suisse clients pulled $4.4 billion from U.S. and European funds since they agreed to be acquired by UBS. European funds had $3.8 billion in net redemptions between March 
20th and April 6th. While U.S. funds saw $575 million leave, uh, Barclays will cut about 100 roles in investment banking, a person familiar said. Uh, BlackRock's assets under management are set to exceed $15 trillion in five years, analysts at Morgan Stanley said. LVMH, their first debt sale in three years, drew over 3.6 billion euros for at least 500 million, a person familiar said. Uh, Google fell after the New York Times reported it may be supplanted as the default search service on Samsung devices by Microsoft's Bing. It said Google is working on several projects to update their search services to avoid losing ground, including adding AI features. Even so, CEO, CEO Sundar Pichai uh, warned against the push to adopt such technology without oversight. Uh, Morgan Stanley's wealth management boss, Andy Saperston, has shot from being an outsider for the CEO job of three leading contenders. Uh, First Republic isn't so healthy. It's moved to woo rich clients, left it with a stockpile of low interest loans, which has become a hurdle to finding a rescuer. Read more on the big take. Goldman strategists, they lowered their 10-year U.S. Treasury yield forecast, given that they no longer expect the Fed to raise rates in June and see higher downside risks for the U.S. economy. The benchmark yield is now seeing the year end at 3.9, about 30 basis points below a previous projection. A uh, chart of the day is the diesel market is flashing signs of an economic slowdown. U.S. demand may fall 2% in 2023, S&P Global said, which would be the biggest drop since 2016. Much of the pullback can be tied to trucking, which uses more than 70% of detail or diesel. Chinese uh, trucking activity also fell in diesel's premium to crude plunged in Europe. Falling demand fits with rising recession risks. Nationwide economics said... Uh, today, 10 a.m., you're going to get housing index, 1130, 57 billion of 13 week bonds, 48 billion of 26 week bills, 1130, Fed Barkin is speaking, and then 4 p.m., U.S. February TIC flows. Earnings include J.B. Hunt. Uh, the question of when the U.S. may default will come into sharp relief this week when the Treasury reveals how big its tax take is likely to be. Tax receipts will give a clearer idea of how much cash the Treasury will have on its hands as they approach the limits that will prevent it from borrowing. Earnings estimates are still too optimistic. Morgan Stanley's Michael Wilson said the S&P and NASDAQ are at risk of experiencing a sudden drop given consensus hasn't cut estimates. Oh, what's up, Armand? Good morning. And even Lucky Soldier was showing love in the morning, baby. Here, John. Wake up. It's Monday. Good morning. Justice Clarence Thomas uh, intends to amend his financial disclosure forms to reflect the 2014 real estate deal that he made with the GOP donor CNN report citing a person close to Thomas. Fox News and Dominion are accelerating settlement talks in voting machine makers. One point six billion defamation lawsuit. A Delaware Superior Court judge delayed the trial by a day. Uh, gunfire rocks Sudan's capital for a third day as diplomats push to end clashes between the army and a parliamentary group that left at least 97 people dead. The U.S. and U.K. called for a return to talks. The ECB will lift their deposit rate peak to 3.7 by July and hold there until year end. A survey showed Joe Kim Nagel expects core inflation to slow before the summer break, but said that officials should do more on rates. Martins Kazakhs predicted 25 basis points in May, but didn't rule out 50. Uh, the Bank of England may pause their hiking spree, according to another survey, as inflation is seen below 10% for the first time since August. After the SVB saga, the Bank of England is weighing a major overhaul for their deposit guarantee scheme, the Financial Times reported, that may include mandating higher levels of advanced funding and boosting the $85,000 coverage limit. Uh, China largely ended regular FX intervention, Yi Gang said, though the PBOC reserves the right to step in. The bank kept a key lending rate unchanged and made the smallest net injection of liquidity since November. Malaysia is reevaluating the 2020 agreement between the previous administration and Goldman over 1MDB. That called that Goldman to pay $2.5 billion in the guaranteed return of $1.4 billion of 1MDB assets. In exchange, Malaysia drops charges against the bank. Uh, Philippine policymakers may consider pausing hikes if inflation slows in April. Governor Philippe Mandala said the MAS's pause last week paves the way for Singapore dollar to become a new funding currency relative to value trades in Asia. Uh, City raised their 2023 gold forecast by 7.9% to 2050 an ounce, and expectations of Fed tightening are almost done. The turmoil in U.S. banking presents significant downside risks for developed economies, and EM nations are rapidly buying gold, strategists said. Bullion must rally above 1,900 Swiss francs to trigger an upside catalyst. That's what the survey says. Uh, gold and silver advanced SPDR gold shares paired its holdings by more than 111,000 ounces in the last session, valued at 224 million. Silver market is showing an overbought technical condition after prices jumped 25% in five weeks. China's lithium market is showing signs of bottoming out. Tin jumped after a key producing region in Myanmar, moved to curtail mining, oil fell. 
A quartet of the largest oil ETFs capped the longest run of outflows since mid-2022 as investors pull cash after a recent rally with the global demand outlook clouding. Combined, the funds posted net outflows for four weeks, the longest since July, with a drawdown of $211 million last week. India will explore buying Russian oil past or near the $60 price cap if OPEC cuts uh, boost prices. Slovakia joined Poland and Hungary to temporarily ban imports of Ukrainian grain over concerns that they are hurting their domestic market. Around three companies are eyeing fresh debt sales. Uh, U.S. IG primary market today, underwriter said the big question is how much supply will come from the banking sector. Supplies exceeded or expected to land between $10 billion and $15 billion this week. Tech sustained another blow in its defense against Glencore with Glass Lewis saying shareholders should vote against splitting out the firm's local coal business. The Glazer family wants bidders for Manchester United to raise their offers. The Financial Times reporting Jim Ratcliffe and Yasin bin Hamad Al Thani are in the final round. Carlisle's in talks to buy a minority stake. Uh, Apple sales in India hit a new record of $6 billion on the year through March. Revenue in the country grew almost 50% from $4.1 billion a year earlier. Uh, Merck and its partner Moderna said adding a cancer vaccine to Keytruda kept more melanoma patients in remission in a mid-stage trial, 79% at 18 months versus 62% for the drug alone. Netflix apologized after their service buckled under the strain of popularity of a live stream reunion episode of the dating show Love is Blind. Thousands of users reported streaming was unavailable yesterday, according to down detector. Former Louis Vuitton CEO Michael Burke is now the front runner to become chairman and CEO of the LVMH Fashion Group. Online publication Miss Tweed reported uh, Apple plans to launch more than just headsets at WWDC. Uh, Apple's India sales near six billion. Google falls on report. Samsung may be the search choice for Bing or for Samsung. Uh, Tim Cook, hello Mumbai. We can't wait to welcome our customers to the first app store. McDonald's price target raised to three eighteen from two ninety two at Truist. Pipeline Therapeutics to license a development pack with Janssen. Uh, J.P. Morgan price target raised to one ninety two from one fifty seven at Oppenheimer. Intel price target raised to thirty two from twenty five and a half at Citi. Uh, nice to know the chat GPT hype may be justified. Two papers deployed the AI chat bar in market relevant tasks, one in deciphering whether Fed statements were hawkish or dovish, and one in determining whether headlines were good or bad for stocks. It aced both tests, suggesting a potentially major step up of the use of technology to turn reams of text into trading signals. Wow, they put chat GPT to the test. Good luck to the Boston Marathon runners competing today. About 30,000 runners will race towards the finish line of Bolston Street. You could start watching on ESPN at 5.30 a.m. Eastern. The professionals, men and women, will start just after 9.30. SpaceX plans to launch their massive deep, uh, deep space rocket Starship into space today. The first major test of the new launch system. Once operational, it'll be the most powerful rocket ever built, capable of generating 16 million pounds of thrust that lift off and carrying gargantuan payloads. Loads. Its power and size makes a critical part of SpaceX's future with the capability of launching massive satellites and large crews of, crews of spacefarers. That's today. We'll see. It's going to be a seaweed summer on the cusp of record summer beach season in the Caribbean, Mexico, and Florida. An outsized amount of sargassum seaweed is making its ways towards vacationers' favorite white sand coastlines. That's good. We love seaweed. We love it. We love it. It's very, very good. It's very, very good. Oh, they scrubbed it? Oh, never mind. Uh, the taxman cometh. The tax filing deadline is tomorrow, and nowhere is that felt near uh, more keenly than New York, San Francisco, and Honolulu, where you need a salary topping three hundred thousand to bring home a hundred thousand after federal, state, and local levies plus cost of living adjustments. That's according to Smart Asset, which also says a worker in Houston only needs one hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to have the same purchasing power as someone in three hundred twelve thousand in New York. Wow. And then, oh, this one's a great one. On this day in history, April 17th, the Ford Mustang was introduced to the public in 1964 at the New York World's Fair ahead of the massive ad campaign. Its styling and long hood and short deck proved popular and inspired a host of competition. The car got a Hollywood boost when Steve McQueen tore through the streets of San Francisco in one of the 1968 film Bullet. Wow. Look at that. Today is Mustang Day. Vroom, vroom. They said you need $125,000 in Houston to have the same purchasing power as somebody who makes $300,000 in New York. So there you go. Maybe we should all move to Houston. I don't know. I don't know. I'll take it. I'll, I'll take it. But Chattadonia, we still got a couple of other things. We're not done just yet. 
I have some pre-market movers for you. Uh, Google, this was very big news today. They fell 4% after reports that Microsoft Bing might replace Alphabet Google on the default search service on Samsung devices. BlackRock asset under management are set to exceed $15 trillion in five years. Looks like they got an upgrade from Morgan Stanley. Shares are up 1.2. Crypto exposed stocks fall in U.S. pre-market as Bitcoin dips below 30000 with the digital tokens remaining in range after breaching the closely watched level. Coinbase shares are down 2.8. Dexcom rises 2.4 after Raymond James analyst Jason Bedford raises the recommendation to strong buy from outperform. Enphase Energy rises 1.8 after Piper Sandler upgrades their ratings on the solar equipment maker, citing a better than expected international trajectory. HP shares are up 2.5 as JP Morgan upgrades the computer company to overweight. M&T Bank rises 2.9 after the lender reported earnings per share and net interest income that were ahead of analyst estimates. Prometheus Biosciences RxDx shares surged 70% as Merck struck a deal to buy the biotech company for around $10 billion in cash. Uh, State Street STT shares sink 11% after the form reported net flows for the first quarter that missed average analyst estimate. Schwab gains about 1% after the firm said they decided to pause their active buyback program. Wolf Speed Wolf shares are down 2.7 after JP Morgan downgraded the semiconductor company to neutral from overweight. And Zoom shares are down 2.7 as Citi opens a downside catalyst watch on the stock. Ba-da-ba-ba-bop. Yeah, State Street, that's another one. That's the one. So they did bad. Schwab was kind of bad in the middle, but State Street, I know they did the worst. And then MTB, it's weird. They just said MTB did good, but my first things, uh, uh, the first thing that I read was that they're not, that they're bad. Do you have your button down? What's that mean? My button down? Oh, my, oh, no, 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 no. From me, yeah, I was like, my button down? What do you mean, button down? What are you saying? No, I don't. I was wearing it last night. I woke up today wearing a Colt sweater. And my Adidas pants from Costco that I bought like seven years ago, $15. They're still, they still, I'm telling you, these things bulletproof, bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll probably throw on a button on later in the day. Should we do that though? I, I read, I read somebody, that's what they said. They said every day before they trade, they like get ready. Should we do that? You know, like if you, if you like show up to the, the, the job ready to go, you're going to like, should we go get ready? I'll go put on my button up. I'm, I, I'm down with that. We could go do that. Do you guys want to try that? Should we all just like wear our our outfits so we're ready to play? I feel it. I, I Yeah, we could suit up. I'm kind of down. You know, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you here. But let me go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity. I love you. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what you guys are into when we get back. Welcome to Monday, baby. Get ready for the earnings season. went to 3,600 down from, you know, close to 5,000. I mean, that's a 25.4% decline peak to trough that we had in the market. It, the declines associated with average recessions is around 31%. So that's 80% of the way there. Now, as you know, as everyone knows, averages lie. Some of that 31% includes years like 08, 01, 1973, when the markets went down 50 to 60%, and it took you six, seven, eight years to recover. Does it feel like those types of environments, or is it more similar to an 81 or a 91, where the markets fell 20, 25%, and you recovered within a couple of years? I think 81 is a very good Example, because inflation peaked in March of 1980, the Federal Reserve raised rates through the end of the year. You did get a recession the following year and you got volatility ahead of that recession. But if you had invested when inflation peaked or you had invested when the Fed stopped raising interest rates, you were very happy over the next few years. So. Again, time horizon is going to matter if you're worried about, you know, the next few weeks or you're worried about if the Fed has to raise another quarter point, then, yeah, you'd want to be a little bit more defensive in here. But if you're focusing out over what tends to happen as new cycles emerge, well, then you should be thinking, um, you know, longer term, the market, I think the market's bottom. You know, we've already done that 25.4 percent. That's the constructive view right now, Cameron. I want to squeeze in just a final word from you. How rare would it be to price in a low ahead of a recession we still haven't seen yet and a low that was almost six months ago? Yeah, we've talked a lot about the yield curve and the pricing in of recessions and that, and that you typically don't see risk assets bottomed until you've seen a re-steepening of the yield curve, until we've actually seen the recession, the whites of its eyes, and you've seen the earnings move lower. We think that the 2022 move was all based on valuation and really valuations coming down from a bubble level. All based that on valuation. 
All based on valuation. So, Chattadonia, let's see what we got here. The day is about to begin. It's Monday. Good morning. Let's see what the, the Colt has. Colt, baby, thanks for doing them. Enjoy reading them. Everybody's making. I know we love to play. Schwab shares, MTB shares, STSA shares. Booyah, Kasha, outlet. Give me the ball. Give me the rock. Oh, man, if you know, you know. Following the plan, building up cash position and build till further notice. 780 average price on MPW. We on the hustle. Let's go, baby. God bless the Colt. BGXX, STRM, and shorting Riot. All right. A very, very small update there, Chad. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Don't let me forget the random play. Which one is it? EBS June $15 call. All right. We'll get back to that Starship launch delay. But, Chad, what you got? Let's hear the rest of the plays, Chad Adonia. Let's hear the rest of the plays. What's your first play of the day here on this Monday, April 17th? The Mustang was launched here this day 70 years ago or something like that. What are you going to do today? Baba Calls, Netflix and Tesla, Short Schwab, Netflix and Tesla, Baba Calls, CFRX, all in. Spy short after 45 minutes. Spy put, Apple put, short and grand exchange, China stock market, sell EWZ, PayPal shares, Biddy, Boyle calls, Spy put, BLBX, Spy calls, Google puts, outlet, UAL, Delta calls, June and September, MES short, long on ARGPT, Ford calls, Spy options, Boyle call, ES short, Coin short, Meta, 410 put, Boyle shares, yo, Altria, SQQ, Spy put, good morning, NQ both ways, Baidu calls, Netflix puts, Microsoft calls, Josh calls, THC calls, Jag X squeeze, USB short, like 420. America, I got nothing. Oh, remind me about Altria. I have tinfoil. Down 4,000 on the dish. Tesla shares. Tesla long. Calls on uncle. UNG calls. BTCY. Spy short. Bank of America 32. Tesla. Colombian peso. JP Morgan. It's my birthday today. Let's go. Cuts for the long term. Happy birthday. Mustang GT. Short spy at 413. 420 calls. GM. J JD calls. 519. Biddy calls. FRC long. Roblox. 10 calls. Short Eli Lilly. UNG. THC. Just watching STT. Zero day spy puts. Happy birthday. Chad. Long on link. Let's get it today. Josh, PayPal leap calls, and then JP Morgan long on the scalps, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, it's all earnings. It's all earnings today. So I have a lot of plays. I'm going to be watching Schwab, MTB, Bank of America, and State Street. Those are all the banks today. Bank of America, I believe they report tomorrow morning. So that's like one of the bigger banks we still have time on. Then Netflix and Tesla, get ready for the pre-earnings run-up. Same thing with J&J, &J, Procter Gamble, IBM, and Amex. I'm going to be watching those. Then Baidu, China had a lot of good news. China was able to bounce over the weekend, and I think even Japan. So Baba and Baidu, we are also going to be keeping an eye on them. So we'll see. And then Google, oh, Google's going to be a big one. Again, that news there with the whole Samsung thing, that one's not good. But let me tell you about Altria. I forgot to tell you guys. Can y'all like the video? I have good news, bad news for Altria. Actually, I only have bad news for Altria. I have bad news theory for Altria. I'm, you know, I don't know. You got like 100 likes on you, 50 likes. How many likes are you looking for, man? What do you got here in the morning? Because we got about three minutes here. So if you have any pressing questions, uh, I could also answer those. But I feel like we should talk about a little bit of Ultra. I got, I got something for you. I got something for you. Yeah, Roblo reported. Uh, so Roblo gave their, their like quarterly numbers, their monthly numbers today. And the stock is down. But then Roblo announced that they are no longer going to give out monthly updates from here on out. So that one's kind of good. All right. Are you ready for Altria? Here it is. Altria... They own a big stake in AB InBev. If you actually even remember me telling you about the dividend and where Altria could, you know, guarantee money in the future, I've told you guys about AB InBev and, and Altria has like a $9 billion stake or something. I think a little bit more, right? So here's the problem. In the last week or two, Anheuser-Busch has been getting clapped due to the politics, right? In that whole marketing campaign. So... That's one thing I'd keep in mind is that depending on how that situation goes, Altria's stake in AB InBev may be getting affected. So in a weird way, Altria has exposure to the Bud Light situation is what I'm trying to tell you. Ba -da -ba 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 so that's pretty much it. But Chad, we got two more minutes. Is there anything else? Uh, we have a couple of things to talk about today. Uh, we even briefly read it here in the morning. 
Uh, it was uh, doing with diesel. That was another update we could share today. Other than that, though, it's all about the bank earnings. So far, most of the banks did not do good this morning. If that's the update you're looking for, if you especially compare it to Friday, Friday, we had every bank doing pretty good. Bank of America, City, Wells Fargo today. It's kind of a mixed bag. I think only, uh, uh, again, who was it? MTB. I think they did decent, but it really wasn't that good. So we will see. We will see. <sighs> never bud light mt mtb did decent but i it's weird i didn't think it was like mind-blowing and then everybody else and then the schwab thing they made it sound they try to make it sound good but then they got rid of the buyback and then people were kind of a little worried that deposits were down like 30 percent year over year that's about it yeah and then merc bought rxdx 75 percent premium that was huge this one was very, very huge. Anything else? Anything else? Any any breaking news? Any questions? Remember what we saw on Friday? We did get manufacturing data already this morning, but it didn't really have an effect. Uh, this week is not going to be as big of a macroeconomic week, I, or at least the data shouldn't move us too much. Apple. Oh, we got some Apple comments in the morning. Oh, Apple. Oh, my goodness. Apple. Yeah, Apple getting a cheek lay. I don't see anything right now unless it has to do with the uh, news on their screens. Otherwise, the Samsung news and Google is the big one today. But we will see what happens. But Chatadonia, welcome to Monday. I hope you're ready. I, I don't know if you've spent time with us here before, but here at the Colt, before we do anything, before we try to chase a dollar, before we try to enrich ourselves, we must pay homage to the people who have sacrificed more than most of us ever have and ever will, and that is the veterans of the United States of America, ladies and gentlemen. So on behalf of the cult, the people here, the people not here, we want to give a huge special shout out, all the active servicemen, past servicemen, anybody who has served this country, even their families, they have all made the sacrifice. So we just want to say thank you, we love and appreciate you, and I encourage all of you to show love and appreciation for all of your veterans and servicemen out there, baby. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And a big shout out to, to anybody else out there helping their local community, all the doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, police officers, garbage men, janitors, you helping with the nonprofit, you helping out grandma. It don't matter what it is, but if you make an impact there, God bless you. I hope you know you are appreciated too. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Place your right hand over your heart. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, baby. Son of the gods! Oh, it's game time, baby. Orna, oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, good morning. Happy Monday. Stock market Monday. Earning season. Oh, you got headlines from all over. You got bank stocks. Oh, my gosh. Big tech starts this week. Oh, and then you got another week, and then another week, and then it's pow. Then you're going to have more earnings. Oh, my gosh. I hope you're ready for it, Chatadonia. I hope you're ready. Good morning. So we got about two minutes. Again, if you have any pressing comments, questions, anything you need, you need news right before the bell, you tell me what it is. We got it for you. Otherwise, I hope you're ready to play. Call out any plays, like the video, source that info. You have anything else, you let me know. You let me know. And let's see, we're, it looks like we're going to start off negative here. Uh, but remember, Friday was a complete S show. So we will see how this plays. And then bonds are already starting down. It looks like the dollar's already up. No, no, no. 4,300. You want to pump it up. You want to pump it up now? No, we need that. Ultria. So Ultria owns a stake in AB InBev, which is pretty much related to Bud Light and Anheuser-Busch. So essentially, Altria has exposure to that whole situation. It's not direct, but we'll see. Anovia shares halted ahead of uh, FDA advisory meeting, INVA. Apple PC shipments fell 40% in the first quarter per Bloomberg. Didn't we get that, though, the other day? Wasn't that the... I think that was... Just, maybe it's just confirmation. 
City India completes first blockchain LC transaction. All right, Chad, 50 seconds. Like that video, make some call outs, and let's have fun today, okay? You know what I'm saying? Just have fun out there. Just have, have some fun out there. Call out anything if you see it. Oh, and where's the damn? It's 50. Oh, yeah, 50% green. So then at the opening bell, we're going to buy a MES uh, due to the Chad. We would have made money if we held it from open to open, but it's okay. It happens. Ultria. No, Ultria. MO. Mm, what's the difference between bonds and equities? If bonds are going down, stocks tend to go up. Uh, but that that's how it was up until like 2021. And ever since the last couple of years here, it's been a little bit weird. But the idea is stocks are not fixed income. Bonds are. Round one. Fight. All right, let's go. All right, Chad, I got your Chad play. Long at 4160 based on the survey. Oh, and then we need to get the random account play too. I forgot about that. That's an EBS June 15 call. Mm. Okay, I got it for 80 cents. Random play executed EBS call. There you go. Yeah, the spread is very, very wild on that. I got filled at 80 and then Apple's down. Remember, we just it looks like we just got that news there or you're getting updates on their uh, on their shipments. And then Google, this is down 4%. That's its worst day here since February 9th. And then Roblox has the biggest decline since December 15th. Uh, Sanofi loses Supreme Court bid to revive Mylan Ep uh, EpiPen lawsuit. AMD, Microsoft, again, Microsoft could be the benefactor of the Google stuff. And then just don't forget about your pre-earnings plays. So there's Netflix is down. Again, Spy's barely moving right now. Let's see where we're at. I do have a couple of levels for you. So you're at 41.35. I'm pretty sure this is the same point. Yeah, 41.38 to 41.40. So we're just going to play in between these both, both these ranges like Friday. End phase. They got to upgrade, I'm pretty sure, today. Uh, Netflix is on the low. Tech is on the high. j and is not moving. American Express is down one. Baba Green, yeah, even, even Baidu, too. That one's running pretty nice. Hmm. MCD all time high. Dude, they got a $30 price target upgrade today. Yeah, they're killing it. And then Bob is at the low. Let's see. Amazon. Amazon's actually doing pretty good. Why so slow? End phase. Goldman's on. Oh, I forgot to even look at the banks. When you see MTB, State Street. MTB's still down. State, State Street's down 15, but kind of holding. Uh, what's the other one? Schwab. Schwab's still down 1.9. Bank of America is going up. Spy just hit a high, MCRB. Uh, what day? It's April 17th, so what, 10 days? I think 10 days we're going to start getting those updates. The Padufa is on all those names. UNG up six. Yeah, Amazon, it looks to be the leader out of all of them. Again, Meta, Google. I mean, they're not down too much, but they're definitely not doing the best. Amazon's the one straight up. Google's rebounding a little bit. CRM. Uh, JP Morgan's flushing. Watch, you got Netflix on the low here. MCRB. BK's down eight. 
Oof. Why? I, did they report? I thought their report was going to be on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, but I do have a very nice recovery. I think we're almost break even on that. All right, I bought 50 shares at Netflix, 336.40. I hope we get a pre-earnings run up, but that one just sell by tomorrow at close. At what, 336.40? McRib doing good. 8%? Jeez. I didn't know it was doing that good. Uh, yeah. That is nice. Again, they have about like 10 days till the uh, catalyst. Yeah, and then BK is down 8%. I think that one's quite unusual because their earnings should be on Tuesday. Oh, and Chad, MES play is up 20 bucks. So market's actually kind of running pretty decently. Again, 41.35 to 41.39. It's only four points. Again, you remember yesterday on Friday, 41.45 and then 41.34. These were the levels we were playing at. So let's see if you get your first test here. And then again, if you get above 41.55, that opens up the door to like 4180, and then we go from there. A cams pop in. Mm. What's the other one? BBAI pop. You've been like, God bless you. Amen. Any eventful news, not just earnings. Uh, surprisingly, the data, the data calendar this week is pretty dry. Labu going, Lulu popping. Uh, Microsoft's going up again. Microsoft is the leader, not Amazon. I think Microsoft's benefiting off of why Google's down. Amazon's up one percent. Even Netflix starting to break here a little bit. They're still in the red. I think Google, Amazon, or Google Meta and Apple are in the red. Oh, where's Tessie? I forgot Tesla's a pre-earnings run-up as well, too. So Tesla's up 1%. Google is down on the news that Samsung might replace Google Search as the default uh, search engine on all their devices. And then that's why Microsoft is up. So Spy's popping, though. Again, 41.42. I'd watch 41.44. That's the next level. Uh, we, had, we didn't go up there once since falling on Friday. Myrna's on the low. They were having a lot of key true to data this morning. Mm. Yeah, we're up a decent amount on MCRB. So that one's good. Well, we'll let that one keep working. Tessie. No, we got the drip on MPW. I just didn't have drip turned on. So we ended up having to buy it manually, but they paid me the dividend. Yeah, Roblo. Roblo's getting rid of their monthly updates, though. Remember I told you that years ago? I said, why do they do that? Well, they reported it today. The stock is down 12%, but even in the report today... They announced that they're not going to, uh, they're no longer going to give monthly updates. Oh, wow. Nordstrom's is up three. Retail stocks are doing very good, actually. Boeing bounce. And Netflix, you got under a dollar per share there. MES is up 33 bucks. So good work, Chad. Good work. 41.42. It sucks because we really need to just like break above here to keep up the momentum. Otherwise, if it kind of sells off from here, we're going to dance at 41.33 a little bit. So in a weird way, I'd, I'd prefer a straight up rather than not. But let's see. NVIDIA's on the high. End phase. AI's popping 1%. Oh, don't we still have mitochondria? Yeah, we still have these plays. So see if the AI plays. Actually, I forgot. BBAI, they're even up 7%. 
So I'll just keep an eye on that. Baidu and Baba leading the bounce. JP Morgan selling off. Again, just keep that in mind. Today is a bank day. So State Street is down 17% and it's into the lows. Regional banks are down 1.3 right now. As far as industries, real estate's number one on the day. Worst on the day is communications. And then second worst is financials. Uh, only thing red is healthcare by 0.02. Energy by half. Financials a half. And then communications one and a half because of Google. Micron on the high. Autodesk. Yeah, Treasury, they're trying to get back up. They kind of just had a big gap down, but just keep an eye on them, see where they move. Mm, Baidu slipped a little bit. Again, sometimes the China names, they either run or they'll usually just give up their gains in the morning. Baba taking two big red candles down. XOM units declare force majeure on Nigerian oil exports. Mm. VIX is up 2% on the year. Manu Red. They had news about wanting more bids, but they're down considerably from the buyout price. Yeah, banks are flushing right now, even regionals. I think Bank of America had a little bit of strength, but I don't know if that flipped. No, that flipped. Yeah, bro. Honestly, today was bad news for the banks, It's which is weird considering how good the earnings were on Friday, but that State Street number... Um, and then Schwab just were not confidence inducing state streets. The only one that's moving, uh, like a little bit more aggressive. Tesla's on the high spy is trying to break out here. Here is Tesla breaking out. So again, Tesla's earnings is, uh, what Wednesday meta's on the low meta's flushing. They're still up a ton though. They're at two nineteen, which is crazy. Yeah. Bank ETFs are down KRE and XLF carries the regionals. Mm. Amazonian, Verizon, oh, AT&T reports. Don't forget about Johnson & Johnson and Procter Gamble, too. NVIDIA. NVIDIA is going crazy, but it's still red. Bonds are getting a little bit of movement. And remember what we saw on Friday. Baba is flushing to the low. So is Macy's. Uh, Baidu's on the low, too. Just remember Friday, the bond stock market correlation. So as of now, stocks and bonds are just moving hand in hand. So we'll see if we have anything. Yeah, Carrie is next to the 52-week low. And then that's Spies at the high. Spies. Couple of names are at the high right now, breaking out Boeing, ACAM, Kroger, Boeing again. And you're at 4113. So again, 4142, 4143. We're right below the level. And this was the level from Friday. FRC is gonna be a it's gonna be 50-50 now. I mean, it, it looked like it was looking good after JP Morgan, but today's bank earnings, I mean, even Schwab having 30% less deposits, I mean, it just it's not a good look. It's good, though. At least we know not everything was an overreaction. The random play today was an EBS $15 call for June, uh, which is a Padufa play. MCRB. AI play still holding up. And then Spy just wicked into a high, but not breaking out just yet. Where's coin? So Tesla's holding up decent. NVIDIA is still red, but it wants to go green. SPY is only up by a tenth of a percent. Believe it or not, NASDAQ is at break even. So it's a decent size move here to open, but Dow liked it. Small caps liked it, but S&P and, and NASDAQ, they are barely green right now. I don't think any banks are going up. Bonds are taking a red candle. I don't know if we like FRC is trying to work up, but it's down 1.7. Again, even Bank of America, they're green, but they just had a big flip. Wells Fargo just barely went green right there. Schwab is trying to run now. Actually, Schwab might go green. So that could help turn the tide here for bad banks. And then Netflix hitting a new low. UBS dying. Didn't they have earnings? Or is that USB? 
Mitochondria down 30%. Oh, come on, AI. Where you at? Netflixonian on the low. And then now Tesla's giving it up. Lulu's on the high. Schwab is hitting the high ticker now. So first time of the day that Schwab has been on the high ticker. They are about to go green. They're only down 0.8 right now. And then China names are still slipping. Mm, PTGX. Any news on the yen? Not really. I would wait until like middle of the year. Pretty much we need uh, the new governor to start making things exciting. XLE high. And then Schwab is only down a third. I don't know. Schwab might run. If this could wake up here, people will get very, very excited off of that. Yeah, even states, all the banks, all the banks. This is something with all of them. So it doesn't matter if they were down 2% or 20%. <clears throat> Excuse me. State Street uh, just recovered. Uh, they just recovered 5% in five minutes. The powerhouse. Yeah, I call my season or my size. That's my, my mitochondria play. I refer to them as the powerhouse of the cell. I think it's appropriate. So again, State Street's all going up. IDAI is on the high as well. BBAI. So AI plays are running. Banks just had a fat bounce in the last five minutes there. Doesn't matter if they were up or down. Meta, I think it's just communications in general, but they're they're holding up good. I mean, don't let 1% fool you. I mean, 219 on Meta is insane. PRST. Small cap runner, Presto Automation, up 100%. Hitting a fat candle right now. PRST, Presto Automation. Could be AI hype. Doesn't look like it's responded to anything. Has one of those candles. Apple's on the low. So Apple's flushing into the low right now. UMC, 52-week high. Uh, MPW's up. I think all the real estate plays are up because of rates. Yeah, I think PRST, no, it's not even halted, but Apple's flushing into the low, down 0.5. NASDAQ is down a tenth of a percent. SPY just went negative. If we go any lower from here, the Dow will go negative as well. Microsoft, where are they at? Yeah, 288, which is crazy. Bro, two ninety on McDonald's. The dollar is vertical. IDAR, MCRB, another leg up. Bonds are at the low of the day. Just looks like stocks are following along. PRST, Boeing, Bank, Boeing, Bank of a Bank of Boeing. Eight cads on the high. A lot of biotechs. A lot of biotechs again. Yeah, Boeing's up one point four. Enphase is up another six. ETNB is on the high as well. Hasbro. Hasbro. They're at 0.59. And then Tessie, are you still holding? Tes Tesla's kind of holding, doing a little bit better. I think Amazon, Tesla, Amazon gave it up. And then Microsoft. MTB's on the high. Again, this could be more banks moving. HPQ, Netflix off the bottom. Oh, that was weird. Apple's down 0.5. That one's big, especially compared to Microsoft, which is still in the green. Tesla solid. Schwab, yeah. MTB was running up there too. Something's going on with the banks right now. Yeah, Schwab is now green. It's breaking out. I don't know. You might be able to go for them. Um, even State Street. I think, again, they're the ones with the worst, but they've recovered 5%. I think Schwab was the one, like, right on the cusp. USB, MT Bank has not moved, and then USB, they're not alive yet either. So, good call. Bonds are catching a lot of volume. Mm, 
and then Spy just dancing with break even right now. This is the break even spot on the day, which means you're pretty much at the gulag from Friday. You spent a lot of time here and slightly below. Yeah, U.S. fluctuates as bank earnings offer clues on health of economy. Swab results offer equities a bit of relief. Mixed quarterly provides some positive signals for investors wondering whether the bank crisis has eased at the same time. There's reasons for concerns about industry turbulence, not at least which Schwab is joining others to halt buybacks. Uh, that can cap gains for the sector in the broader equities market. Coin is down near six. Really? Roku's on the high, then GM, Shopify. Yeah, Coinbase is down five and a half. The drug for MCRB is related to stomach bacteria. I think everything they focus on is all bacteria and stomach bacteria drugs. Ascend, Ascend's Padufa Day may get delayed. So remember, that's a big part of the news there with Ascend. They're still holding up. MCRB is like one of the better ones we have running here today as far as biotech land. Enphase on the high. Bro, they're up like 7% now, 6.88. I think the SpaceX launch got scrubbed. NCR ransomware. R. See if that reacts. CDXS on the high. Ed phase is crazy. SRPT on the high. Datadog, Datakelb. Yeah, UNG is still holding up. And then see, Microsoft, Amazon, I think those are going to be big here today. And then even Tesla, Amazon's coming off the bottom. Netflix kind of a little bit. Is that Meta? No. Oh. And then Schwab is still working its way up. Spy now, Dow, everything's matched up here, though. There was a little bit of a gap in the morning. Now everything's within point one of each other. Spy, NASDAQ, and Dow Jones. City's even moving up here now, finally. They went red earlier. Watch Bank of America. They haven't reported yet. And then Wells Fargo, you had their report on Friday. And then JP Morgan's still in the gutter. Goldman bounced up a little bit. Pro end phase again. Yeah, McDonald's is trading at the highest price ever in history. McDonald's. CNSP about to rock it. And then even the spy. I mean, let's see. Uh, what's even the volume looking like? It's only been, what, about 32 minutes? 22 minutes? 5 million volume is very low. Very low for this earnings season. And we still are trapped within the ranges of yesterday. So literally until we get past 4146, I mean, it's we're still looking at the same downside ranges here. So let's find out. Microsoft taking a candle, red. Google trying to bounce a little bit. And then Amazon still up. App, remember, Apple went red earlier. Apple's still near the low at 0.42. We're still moving up here, though. Could be banks, could be energy. Number one on the day is real estate stocks, XOM. Energy stocks might be moving here a little bit. Again, tenth of a percent now on the Dow. Uh, break even on the NASDAQ and then SPY is only up 0.07 MPW with a big candle again real estate real estate related interest rate sensitive shit is doing very very good MP doubles. Domo. I think I still have CDTX, I believe. I don't have ARDX. CDTX, I still have. We've had that for a while. I'm still down, though, on that. That one's down a lot. But it's only 150 bucks since I kept it small. Nikolai. MCRB is doing great. We have great gains on that. 
I'll just see again. Remember, their Padufa is in like a week or two. Edit, gene editing, new high. Wolf in the long term, that's Petco, right? So they've been delisted before, but I, I don't have any animal plays, believe it or not. If anything, I like the animal veterinarians and animal medicine, as weird as it sounds. Other than that, I don't have any other like pet pet supply plays. And then see State Street, they could go up here, hit another high again. They're still down 14%. I'd watch Schwab too. They're still holding up here. All these little banks. And USB, they're still down, I think. Dude, end phase one more time. 7.3. My average on 3M is like 108 for the long term. Uh, Morgan Stanley's killing it. I feel like we haven't heard about Morgan Stanley in a while. City's even going up. Bigger legacy banks now. They might break out. Yeah, Goldman, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan. Actually, all of them, but J.P. Morgan. So Morgan Stanley, State Street again. Watch if Schwab, they went from red to green by 3%. State Street has recovered 7% from the low. ASND, that's biotech. That's on the high. Mitochondria is not working. Netflix is chilling. And then watch Tesla too. Again, that's another pre-earnings run up. Tesla's looking like pre-earnings run up. Chewy losing some ground. K KRPB, what's that? Tesla again. KRBP. I cannot type this in for the life of me. Karamak Biofarm. Interesting. Twitch chat says keep eye. Good volume. I don't know if they have any catalyst, but that one, I mean, in this environment where we've seen a bunch of them kind of go crazy, I would not be surprised. So bonds are coming back down. It looks like spy and bonds are matched up right now. It's very, very hard to say who's leading who. So we're going to find out here. You're right near just barely break even on the spy. The Dow Jones is more sensitive today. We have a lot of bank movements. We have not had any other data. And we're kind of seeing where this is going to lead us, but we are still stuck uh, within the range of yesterday or Friday, which is which makes it really, really weird. Eddie Doss, seven and a half gain. Tesla's hitting a new high. MCRB as well. You got Data Dog too. Oh, watch the video too. Weren't they about to go green? Schwab about to break. I think it's very interesting how these banks are moving. Again, a lot of they just all out of nowhere just woke up. And again, it was our first set of actually bad data sets today. As far as the banks are concerned. Chad, Chad MES plays up to him. Whoa, is that a real candle? Hold on, TSM on the low? Hey, why does it look? Uh, it kind of looks like they're flushing. U.S. ambassador visited Wall Street Journal's reporter in Russia in prison. China warns of major military action in Yellow Sea on Tuesday. What? So China warns of major volatile or major military action in Yellow Sea on Tuesday. Oh, TSM's already lower relative to the initial prices at the beginning of the year. So maybe that's why they're reacting. And then two red candles now are starting to flip. GFAI is on the high. We might see those work again. Kind of been watching round two of all of that. I want to call that a black swan. I think it's just a headline. I think we'll get like a little reaction, but I think it's going to develop. Sadly, no matter what happens, in the back of everybody's mind is earnings. So even if there was going to be an invasion of China, I'm sure some investors would be like, well, let's wait till we get Tesla earnings and then decide. 
just don't forget, every time we get into earnings season, the market does move a little slower in between reports. It's like you do nothing, get the report, react big, and then we do nothing until the next set of report, and then you either string it together or you reverse it. So even some of these headlines, I mean, unless it's like a, I think debt ceiling headlines, that could move some stuff here this week, but just be more vigilant uh, in the sense that you have to just wait for the reports and that's where the market will be able to get, you know, freed up. Do mm. McDonald's at 290 is already scary. And then watch if Schwab breaks out here. Schwab could really go crazy because it just went negative and it's not even up 1%. Whoa, 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 whoa. GM, Tesla, and Ford to qualify for full tax credit of 7500 U.S. Treasury releases and home building. Dude, a lot of shit's coming out right now. So home building sentiment came in in line. Uh, apparently, GM, Tesla, and Ford now qualify for the tax credit. And then seven Stellantis models. Where is it? Bro, that was just a data dump. Okay, you're popping off that again. Housing data came in in line. You also had that. Apparently, all of these car companies are going to get a $7,500 tax credit. And then there is one more thing I missed. Yeah, GM customers to qualify for $7,500 have full access. And then that's it. Four GM, they all had big runs on that. And then again, real estate came in in line, which I think is decent, but I'm kind of confused by the reaction. I don't know if we're reacting to the EV update or not, but there's a bunch of things that happened up there or just news. Tesla shares extend gain to two and a half. China's Maritime Safety Authority issues statement. And Global Healthcare Exchange to buy Prodigo Solutions. Is this American? No, it's Spain. They said Tesla would qualify. Tesla, Ford, and GM qualifying customers will have up to 7,500 across the entire fleet under MSRP cap. So again, Tesla just woke up big off. I feel like everything moved. Even Netflix took a bounce. A couple of other things might start to run here too. So we'll see. We will see. You guys said you had to add though, because I need to go pee. It's only been 30 minutes though. So it's good. It's good. But follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity. I love you. I'll be right back. You just had data updates on EVs and you have earnings all week, baby. So get ready. Spy is near the high of the day. I'll be right back. Clients pulled back on investment in products. That stock's still down about a 13%. And Charles Schwab hitting the pause button. The company halting share buybacks due to regulatory uncertainty and sees more deposit erosion. But that stock now up by five tenths of 1%. And the banking stress peak. There are pockets of pain for banks. CEO commentary is still cloudy while the data holds in. New York manufacturing activity soars. We're going to try to make sense of the good news versus the bad news. From New York, I'm Alex Steele with Danny Berger in London. Guy Johnson is off today. And Danny, we're going to get into the specific numbers uh, for some of these guys like State Street and Charles Schwab. But I'm really struck mm. at how strong that New York manufacturing activity was. And even more importantly, how strong the new orders was. The highest that we've seen in about a year. Right. And, and, and this gets to the point of whether or not the banking stress has had an impact on the real economy. Earnings yeah. are still going well. The data for the most point is strong. But is this the eye of the storm or are we past all of it? Yeah. And it didn't take much for Charles Schwab to turn into positive territory, which also begs right. the question, like how much is actually baked in? They see deposit growth reaccelerating in the back half of 2023. So if the bad news is already kind of priced with some of these guys, State Street notwithstanding, I mean, have we already priced that in then? I got to say, that's so remarkable. It's been such a jittery market. And the fact that Schwab is up at the moment, okay, it's yeah. not up a lot, but deposits were painful for them. It is a jittery market, but it's one that's happy to buy Schwab this morning. And Alex, that does bring us all to the question of the day, trying to wrap our heads around all of this. Are we past the banking stress peak? Again, for the banks themselves, and the wider economy. It feels like a puzzle right now. Let's try to put the pieces together. Joining us are Bloomberg, Shanali Basic and Edward. Put the puzzle together. Oh, yeah. And Chad, oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, I have bad news for you guys. 
Oh, good thing we don't have a thousand likes yet, though. I'll tell you. I'll tell you once we get to a thousand. I got. I got bad news to share with you, Chad. Uh, spies coming right back down. That's not the bad news, though. But again, you just had that data, the tax EV stuff. Looks like that's not holding too much. We're going right back down. We are going right back down. Is this about to hit the low of the day? I think the Chad MES future is up for now. But we will see. Baidu, they went up a little bit. And then I'm going to keep up State Street. State Street or Schwab? Schwab is the one running now. So Schwab, that's, again, that's 5 6% from the bottom now. Is this bad news personal? It is, but it will affect the Chad. It will affect the Chad, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. All right, you want me to tell you what it is? Lfly Uber partnership. NXTP, they're up 70%. That thing's running. Again, Shopify's even on the high. A couple of things are starting to run. Even Schwab is going up there. Mm. I got engaged. Is that why would that be bad news? Damn. Don't let don't let Swiss miss hear that. I mean, like, what'd you say? Excuse me? All right, are you ready, Chad? Here it is. Bloomberg has officially banned me. In two months, we will no longer have a terminal. <laughs> they are refusing to let me renew our subscription. They do not like us. The stock market hates you, and so do they. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. We, the, the block is too hot. Mm-hmm. It's okay. So we could get a rally if you guys want. We could, you know, we could get out there and we'll be good. No, they did not provide a reason. They just said they refused to exercise. Per the contract, they exercised their right to not renew. And I was like, I can't renew even if I wanted to. And they said, nah, that's it. He just said, nah, they don't. I said, I know why. I know why. Mm. What's plan B? Uh, we already, I mean, we were getting news before it. So it's not going to, it's just going to make things a little bit more inconvenient, but we'll be able to find, uh, other, other methods. Don't worry. Schwab is going up now. 1.68. Mm. Open account under Little Egyptian Boy. Yeah. I could I could use my, my girlfriend. She has one. So I, I could use hers, but we'll see. But now we're officially on the I hate you list. So I feel honored. I just want to thank all the chads for getting us here. You know what I'm saying? It's good. We've been noticed, whether it's good or bad, you know, like uh, what's his name would say? Uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. All publicity is good publicity. So we'll take it. It's uh, it's good. No, no justice, no peace. J.P. Morgan's flushing now. Oh, oh! It doesn't matter. You know why? You know we have that nobody else has. We have Bradley Frizzle and the Peach, ladies and gentlemen. It's here at the lows of the day. Stand up, get your ass up, Peach Nation. Or not. Oh my goodness. Yes. 
Wow. 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 That's amazing. I'll take it. I'll take it, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Tesla service now is on the high. Mm. And then Tesla's still holding. Schwab is the one I'm keeping my eyes out for. Redfin's hitting a high. JP Morgan is hitting a low. VKTX is going up. Schwab is still holding, though. ETNB on the high. MTB is going up now, too. Baidu 131. All right, we didn't flush, so that's kind of a good sign. But, dude, today sucks. You haven't tested the 4133. Remember yesterday or Friday, we had a lot of activity here, but you did stay within this range. But we didn't flush off of there. That's a good sign, but that means they're probably going to dance around for the next 20 minutes or so unless we get a big move. And, again, a couple of these regionals, they are uh, rebounding right now. State Street's giving a little bit back up. Schwab is looking the best. And then some of the other banks are coming back to life here. DraftKings looking for 20. Today only sucks for non-biotech. Oh, yeah, Prometheus hooked up the whole index. But all other biotechs are doing pretty good here right now. But I'm sure a lot of it is because of a buyout. Mm -mm. No earnings previews and fast news. Yeah, no earnings previews and pretty pictures. We can still get it pretty fast, though. I mean, that's even before we had a, you know, the terminal we've only had for like a year and a half now, two years at this point. But uh, we, we could get news pretty fast without it. So we're going to find out what happens. It'll just change a couple of things. It just makes, again, like the data, the pretty pictures of the data. That's pretty much the thing I'll miss the most. But it's cool. I might go get a Ferrari now because that's the same price. <laughs> but I was, I was like, I don't know, man. It's like bittersweet. It's bittersweet. But, you know, we got to we gotta take it in stride. We got to take it in stride. Ascend. Mm-hmm. All right, Shopify keeps running. Mara's on the high now. Remember, Coinbase is down six. Bro, Shopify's up 3%. Shopify would probably... Uh, uh, Shopify's probably going to move like uh, Amazon. Or think about yeah, Shopify as a pre-Amazon play. Mm. Trump? Not Trump, Trump, Trumpanion. What the hell is that? And then Spy coming up to VWAP a little bit. Disney's on the high. So a couple of names are still moving here. Even like Nordstrom's is at the high. Real estate's still number one on the day. Worst on the day is energy and communication. But energy, healthcare, financials are barely down. Uh, communications, Google's the only bad thing today. That's it. Google's weighing down the market. Honestly, I feel like we'd be up a little bit more without it, but... It's not like you have everything in the red right now. So you have more things either. If it's in the red, it's barely red. Otherwise, it's doing good. Again, I got Schwab in the top right uh, and then State Street in the bottom right here now. But the banks are doing decent for now, even though it wasn't the best news in the morning. Boeing's hitting a high. Lyft is going up. Spies at VWAP. Even Uber is getting in on the action. 
Yeah, bonds are clapped, and now this is, but the 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 shape is very similar today. They're both going hand in hand. That's what I'm waiting for today. I want to see at some point throughout the day. Is it like remember Friday? Friday was money. Again, we were able to hit all of the trades. It was like Friday was clean. If I could get like a good inverse in the bonds and spy today, I mean, I'll probably make plays around there. But till then, I'm actually kind of waiting. I have Tesla. I'm probably going to try to sell out before earnings, uh, depending on my position. But I would be down to hold it. However, if like if I have a gain on my Tesla shares ahead of the earnings, I'm probably going to sell. I'm down right now like $4 a share, I think, 4 or 5 Yeah, biotech ETF rises 4% to the highest since March. They just put out an update on that after we talked about it. So I think they're listening. Hello, renew my subscription. Thank you. If not, it's okay. We love you. Peace and love. Down 0.43 on the 10-year. So even the two-year starting to drop a little bit. <laughs> hello, hello, how are you? 4140 again 4144 is where you need to get to if not we'll see what happens And then watch. So, okay, here it is. Bonds flush, spy up. Let's see if this catches up. Otherwise, if bonds sell off today, then the market takes off. Well, it'll it'll get inversed right here. But let's see. Boeing's on the high. Tesla's slipping. There's Schwab. This rip hurts. It's not too bad. Honestly, it's decent. Even the MES is 25 bucks. That's the Chad play from the morning. But it's this has moved very, very small. I mean, we're only up around 0.08. Everything's within 0.3 of each other. The small caps, those are the ones going the craziest. Aren't bonds supposed to go up if we... So yield should go down and bonds should do good if that's the case. But right now, there's still argument. Even though we know it'll be... We're close to the last rate hike. I mean, one thing you got to remember on Friday is that after the data and after like Waller people started pricing in June a little bit. So even though we're saying one more rate hike and done, the probability of one more beyond that is increasing. But then on top of it now, even if this was the last rate hike, the dilemma now with bonds, the real question is how long does Powell stay there for? Is it actually going to be a quick pivot? If it's not, then we might have to factor something for rates. But I heard someone talk about it this morning. They were saying how in a weird way, though, it's going to balance out. So even with like the two year at 4% right now, they say it makes sense because if you have like 8%, 4%, and then one month of 0.5%, it'll eventually average out to around four. Yeah, Schwab is up two now. Amazon's trying to fight. Schwab's a great recovery there. That one went from like about to either die or to just recovered. And again, State Street, they kind of had a recovery, but they're still down like 13, 14% right now. Adobe offers generative AI for video and audio. It's weird. When you look up AI stocks, Adobe comes up every single time. That's why we brought that up on the video the other day. Well, I do. Schwab is going up again. NOC or defensives on the high, even LMT back to 490. FRC is near the low. Regionals down half a percent. And then XLF is right at break even right now. Moderna dropping. MCRB's at the high. GRBK. That thing's going up too. I think even PNC's moving up. We still have those. All right. Decent size cheek lay to the green. Green cheek lay. 4140. My goodness. Again, 4146, 4150, 4160. I pretty much think you break 4163. I think we go straight to 4080, 4180. But we're getting off to a slow start. And then right here, 
Bonds down, stocks up. Let's see how long this lasts for. All right, a couple of things moving pretty active now. I still, I think Amazon and Tesla are the best. And then obviously uh, Microsoft, but they've kind of slowed down a little bit from the morning news. Starbucks about to hit all-time high. Is that all time? I thought they were at like 120. Yeah, they're still doing good. 52 week high. DoorDash, MCRB again, Roku on the high. Yeah, bro. A lot of lot of consumer plays are doing good. UWMC, more real estate. Telling you, buy Roku. Oh, they're up 4%. They actually haven't moved at all. They look like they're either going to run up or die. This earnings will be big for Roku. I think maybe a straddle both ways. Just looking at that chart. Just looking at the daily. ARQT on the high. And again, that's been five minutes of rallying. Five minutes of bonds dropping. It's my birthday, Orinze. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> God bless you on Mustang Day. And then on earnings, God bless. And MCRB still going. Where's mitochondria? Come on, mitochondria. Do it for the people. China names are starting to run back up. NVIDIA's in the green right now. NCLH, Sava, again, biotechs. A lot of consumer names. And then just keep an eye on the banks and anybody else uh, with earnings. But a lot of different consumer names are running. Even Walmart out in the high right now. Even Airbnb. IBM for earnings. A rhythm, RYTM on the high. No sympathy plays for Star. I just, I want to short McDonald's still. Remember, I did it for a little bit or initially. Then we got out, then it ran up, and then hit 52-week highs, all-time highs. I want to short McDonald's really bad. I'm just, I don't, I just don't want those problems in my life. Mm. NVIDIA going green. They're actually printing the high ticker. And SPY is about to break out now. 41.43.90 is the high of the day. You're at 41.42.90. One point away the high of the day. No, I love the Big Mac. I just, dude, I think McDonald's is just a overvalued play. That's it. Uh, like, it's, <laughs> it's just, it's overvalued, but McDonald's can stay insane longer than I could stay solvent. And I know that by holding a McDonald's short for three months of my life at one point, uh, so yeah, that's it. That's just, I know the, I know it should go down. I don't think it's going to hold these prices forever, but you know, it's not like, that's it. Join me. The water's fine. You're in it. If you're in it, I'm down, I guess. Is this how, is this how peer pressure works? Cause I'm down. If I, I don't know, I feel confident knowing I have a friend. Hmm. The mango smoothie is really good. Y'all ain't helping me out. The fuck? I'm just like, I'm trying to like short it. And they're like, yeah, man, the smoothie's excellent. You know, the Big Mac is amazing. Every time I go in there, there's a huge lot. I'm like, okay, exactly. This is, you guys are not confidence inspiring right now on any of this. Okay, I'll just, now I got to wait an extra day. Hopefully you guys are like, oh, the ice cream machine didn't work. I hate them. Short them. <laughs> Santa again dude I, this sucks I wish we went bigger on this one because I want to hold this play but it's like we're already up 30 percent on 100 shares but we it's so small that it's only like a 130 dollar gain but it looks nice maybe we'll let him keep running McDonald's is like it's a recession play as well as even leading into the recession it just it holds up a nice pace that's what I would say McDoubles are really good, Josh. 
<laughs> PTPI. Oh, that one was going crazy on Friday. You guys remember this one? Oh, this thing's waking up again. Hmm. Dina MDGL again PTPI that was a runner on Friday A dollar. That one could go crazy. This one kind of reminds me of IDAI. I'm going to skip it though, but that could go crazy if all the biotechs keep holding. AKRO on the high. And again, we just, we just what, rallied into a high and then just sold off? So you're kind of dancing here. It's either you could flush here or still got enough room to go to the high. Tesla's giving up. Microsoft's still giving up. I think all your big tech, Google just took a candle from the top. BA move in. Uh, Netflix even gave it up. PTPI, that one's breaking out again. Yum Brands, Russia exit complete. MRK on the low. Oh, they bought the cost. I thought they would be down after buying a company for ten billion. C R H. End phase. They stopped going up, but they're still up seven. FedEx on the high and Bank of America. Watch the banks again. Yeah, State Street, Schwab. They're all making a move here. Even Bank of America. That might be your second lead up into all this. I still have my FRC shares. Yeah, we're down like a dollar and change now. Maybe a little more. Dollar twenty. But the banks are moving right now. So watch out for that. Bonds going lower. So this will be the test. It's either SPY catches up here with the bonds or if bonds flush and we bounce, then we'll have a general idea of how things are playing today. Uh, you should have got your MPW Divi. We already got it. We had to use it because I didn't have drip turned on. But then I I bought the shares manually. There's Meta. Okay, so bonds flushing now. This should lead us to the highs if that's going to be the case. Bonds, sell bonds, buy stocks today. Let's see how that plays out. You want pump GLD. Apple Goldman users strike gold with 4.5 APY savings. So market's going up. It looks like negative bonds. I want it to break out. I want to see ECB talk in 30 minutes. Yeah, Microsoft's about to flush into the low, too. Baidu came up and then chilled out. Same thing with Baba. K 
Cat trying to push highs. And then Tesla's slowly giving it up. Cat and Deer. Deer's actually going up. Remember, those were down a lot earlier. And then all the AI plays are still kind of holding. Netflix three third. I'm down on that one. That one's flushing. Yeah, Netflix. I'm down three bucks a share on that already for the pre-earning. So Chicle now bonds flushing did not lead the market to going back up. You didn't get to forty one forty three at all. So we still stayed below forty one forty one forty three. You didn't get to forty one forty four. Well, let's see how this plays out. Let's get the long term. Uh, VWAP. We'll find out on the next episode. Mm -hmm. So here's your long term. Very good long term. The long term is actually loving it today. Redfin. J Finn, what's this? Giant Group, China name? J Finn running? PRST, Charge Point. State Street's running now off the high as we're getting a red candle. Yeah, Charge Point's running up. PTPI. That one's still, that's the hype play from Friday. That one's just holding up. And then right off of VWAP, <laughs> PRST is going up. What a move. What a move. So, again, you just took one cheek lay into the red or into VWAP. Now we're starting to move back up here. That's a pretty big move. Yeah, dollar is still up. What time is it? It's been about an hour. Hour, we've done nothing. Mm. And again, bonds are up, so we like it for now. Oh, Schwab is going, LMT. Again, State Street was running earlier. Oh my gosh, why is everything so slow? My shit's not loading. MP, oh wow. MP, wow. MPW, wow. All right, that's a big move off of the VWAP. Bonds are trying to go... I was going to go for a greedy long play here, but my shit's lagging out. FRC pop, MPW, 50, all real estate plays. Real estate's number one. Again, you can watch like UWMC and stuff like that. Yeah, all the REITs are looking great. All right, you might run off the bottom here. Right through the top, let's see. Forty one forty two Nordstrom's again, more consumer names on the high. You got my peach. Thanks for the knowledge over the last three years. Let's go, Jay Buck. Amen, man. God bless you. And I hope you're ready for more. And I hope the long term is eating. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, why do I keep doing that? Bro, my platform is so slow today, it's wild. Uh, Tesla's dropping there, though. That wasn't good enough. We have McRib. We're still holding that one. We're up a decent amount. Peach, what are we buying? I was going to go for the greedy long, and I'm glad I didn't there. And now we're seeing... It's like my thing just keeps lagging. 
looking scammy. I'm surprised that didn't break out. I really thought it was. That looked like you were going to hit VWAP and break off of it, but now not so good. Tight range. Tesla's about to go. Tesla's only up half a percent, and they were the leader. Now Amazon's on the red. They're only up a quarter. Tesla's outperforming, but you're going to get your flush, and now you're getting your first uh, bid there on the bonds for now. Jeez. Still short. Labu pop again. LABD's on the low. Again, Tesla's dropping. It's weird. The banks are running right now. So like State Street, Schwab, they're all doing very, very good. Even as we're selling off into this. I think it's energy giving up a little bit more. You just see. Okay, I grabbed one ES to the long side. I want to see if we could get a greedy pop on there. And then again, all the banks are going. I don't like Amazon and Tesla into the low. And I still th I think there's like 30 points a drop if this doesn't hold. But 4040 has been doing decent. We'll see. <laughs> PTPI slipped. These are the hype plays. Where's McRib? He's doing decent. It's weird what's holding and what's not. Took more Google off of WAP. There's Meta. Meta's kind of climbing up. I think the SPY, SPX could drop. I mean, I think you're going to have a 40-point a range. So that's what you got to watch out for. Pretty much we go down to 4140. Or right, or 4100 flat, or we go back up to the 4180, or we do nothing, and then we just dance around here. This is like slightly higher than not. Yeah, the McRib play is holding up great. It sucks because that's gonna that's the biggest pre market runner uh, on the Padufa list so far. Schwab is going again. My goodness. So Schwab is up 3.6 now. That's actually insane. And then State Street. They're still down 12, but that's recovered about 8%. I think USB was down. They, they're they not moving at all. Then you have Bank of America on the highs, and then Wells Fargo. I think JP Morgan's still the only one not playing along. And then Spy's now coming back down to the earlier candles right below VWAP. Uh, dollar is still elevated. Bonds hit a low. Now, just if you take a look, it looks like Bonds and Spy might just match up now. You had that like little reverse here. But then through here, they're starting to get matched up a little bit. Charles, it could have been worse Schwab. Theirs was pretty bad, though. I mean, again, it's I'm glad I saw some negative banks so far just because, like, after Friday, it seemed like none of them were going to be negative because, again, J.P. Morgan, all those other earnings were very, very good. QQQ more matched. 41.35. So you're about to break the low of the day now. So greedy long turn. I'm down 250 on that now. Oh, wow, that's flushing. So there you go. You're about to break the opening of the day. We're getting back into the gulag zone. 41.33, we have not broken it once uh, in the middle of all this. So again, 41.33 has been huge. Schwabba dabba do. Follow any altcoins like Cardano? I know about it. Oh, that's a big flush. Well, hold on. It's moving a lot like in, in between the candle. So the candle looks big, but futures are already kind of doing a little bit more of a dance. So watch out there. You're flushing into the lows. 4133 again. We haven't broken below it all day today. 11 million in volume after the first hour. So pretty low volume. There's Netflix on the low as well, too. It's weird. Banks are holding up great. 
Spy flush, another one, round two. More staples. We had a lot of consumer names, like even consumer discretionaries. Not everything just took a candle right there. Even McDonald's and the bonds are going lower. So if anything now, I mean, spy and bonds are kind of the same. They're both hitting a new low right now. So that got rid of whatever we saw 30, 45 minutes ago. Hi, a day, sniper gang. Microsoft still at the low. There's Thessalonian. So watch out if this flushes here again. I'm pretty sure we're below 41.33. This is 41.60. And this is actually right at the level, 41.33. Either going to bounce off of it or, again, we could flush another five points from it if we're going to do what we did yesterday or on Friday. It's the same level. This is the same same trading range as Friday. The question is, do we break out of it or not? Good morning. Good morning. Tesla's at the bottom. They might go red. Amazon is uh, about to... Amazon's right at break even. And then Meta's barely red there too. Uh, Google's even giving up a little bit more. Uh, these candles are getting bigger. That turned into a green shoot, but it's quickly turning red. Apple down half a percent. Nasdaq's down a quarter now. S&P down 0.8 and the Dow Jones is only up 0.02. So that's still in the green for now. But let's see how we flush here. 41.33. First time since Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Pop up, pop up, pop. So get ready for 41.30 if that holds. It's been about 10 minutes of flushing now. Coinbase on the low, another flush. Another flush on the S&P. So I think you're about to hit the 41.30. Getting close. So it's doing what it did on Friday. And now you're right below the low candle of the day. Volume is slightly above 11 or 12 million right now. I'm still in FRC, yeah. Wint. And Tesla's about to go negative right here. Apple down 0.62. See when Microsoft goes negative. Microsoft's even about to go negative. That's crazy. State Street and the banks are climbing, though. Ironically, and this could be some of that sell-off of tech by the banks because the banks are still holding up great. I think it's tech kind of giving up some of its gains. Now, you have more big-name tech that is down than green right now. And tech has gone red by a quarter. Real estate, utilities, industrial, staples, discretionaries, and financials are the only thing green. So anything more risky is actually selling off today while the more stable names are catching a bid. Tesla. FRC, there was an article this morning talking about how they gave away a bunch of, uh, you know, low interest um, loans to like high net worth clients, but that's about it. I mean, Schwab shows that you could still lose deposits, State Street as well. So everyone's just kind of monitoring, but I think it's the same situation. It's either going to be make it or break it uh, for FRC's update. And then Tesla's negative now. So they were green all day. Domino's on the low. Mm. I'm bullish. There you go, man. I think you told me that the other day, too. That's good. That's good. We haven't moved much, so it's not like I don't think nothing has changed too much. We're just back to where we were at on Friday. 
This is actually the highs of the little Friday power hour move, believe it or not. Yeah, that Apple high yield account. That's been that's been circulating. Apple's getting in on the cash management business via Goldman Sachs. Yeah, Tesla. I thought Tesla's on Wednesday. I think Netflix is tomorrow. Bank of America, they're tomorrow morning. They're on the high. Morgan Stanley. You're actually getting a little bounce on the bonds here too. State Street, again, $70. They're still down over 10%, though. But now that's that's a recovery of almost 10%. Seed, A-K-R-O. MTB, I forgot about MTB. City, so coming back down though, that one, hold on. You're either going to get a little reload candle to the downside or we're going to dance. But you should be familiar with these. You know, a little drop, pop. So we're, we're either right here or we're either just going to bounce up and then do nothing for another 30 minutes. So get ready here. This could be big. You're right below 41.33 still, which is that key level. And bonds are about to hit a new low on this. Actually, the two years running down. Yeah, two years about to hit a low. And nope, that one's holding for now. It's no higher than where it was earlier, though. ASTS, SCCO on the low. Tesla's catching some. ASTS Space Mobile up 14%. Is that because of the SpaceX stuff? That looks insane, actually. Yeah, NASDAQ 100 slides 0.5 to session low. S&P down 0.1. And then Dow is still in the green. Bro, what is up with these banks today? They're just loving the end phase, all the energy names. So some of the stuff we saw running earlier, they're still kind of ticking back up. ASTS is satellite phone tech. 3M107 now or just under. Yeah, we get Christopher Waller, I believe, is who we have today. Uh, then we have, Is that who we had on Friday? No, we have Fed Barkin. We had Waller on Friday. So Barkin will be interesting. And then, I don't know, is he a voter? No. Michael Barr, Bowman, Harker, Jefferson, Waller. Nah, Barkin is an alternate. Cap, C-A-A-P, what's this? Up 7%. Corporation, American, AR, is it Apartments. CAA, it seems like it's a REIT just by the ticker and everything. Or no, Corporation American Airports. That's what ARPT stands for. Okay. So it still could be a reload candle. You've had a little bit of a bounce. Bonds are at the low of the day. But you're right above the level. If it can't hold above here, like I say, you bounce up here, we dance, you come back below here, you're going to get a move like this probably back to the 4129s. Where's the Martin? Nowhere for now. I mean, the Dow Jones is barely green. Spy is barely red. Tech is now moving a little bit more. But other than that, I mean, we still haven't really done much. End phase is up 9% now. Ape is on the high. Uh, 
Uh, Roblo gave their monthly like user numbers, and they came in a little bit below the expectations. But then they also announced that they are no longer, from now on, Roblo is only going to give updates every quarter instead of every month. MO's on the high. Tech trades above Glencore offer, T E C K. Oh, Netflix still at the bottom. Tesla, Tesla gave up its dominance on the day. That was sad. PTGX, Delta on the high, RCL, Wells Fargo, Bank of America again. So your legacy banks are like running right now. Biotech in general is up because of that buyout of RXDX by Merck. Other than that, though, I mean, like we went over from the beginning of last week, there's a big FDA schedule this month. So you are going to get a lot of those earnings. But then now that one buyout is definitely helping out the overall space. Flex LNG, dude, end phase again, 9%. Why is FRC clap with good bank sentiment? Because I, I wouldn't say it's good bank sentiment. Yes, Friday was good. Today was like, today was mixed. So I think that could be the contributing factor. End phase. Oh, they have earnings. That makes sense. I didn't know end phase was this week. All right, bigger pop. Tesla's even moving. You're just back up to VWAP. So just get ready to dance now again. Watch for forty-one forty again. That'll be a level or not. Bro, end phase. End phase has earnings. That's wild. But it moved big last earnings. But that pre earnings run up is crazy. Yeah, and MC MCRB is looking fantastic. We need more banks. Apple's still near the low, though. So watch out. You made a nice rebound there. But we're not out of the clear just yet. I'm still in Baidu. Yeah, we had a nice recovery over the weekend on that one. But I'm still riding them out there. Meta. Uh, Meta is going towards the lows. So is Apple. So watch Amazon. Tesla already gave up some. Amazon's barely fighting green. Tesla's kind of working. VKTX, that one's going up again. Bro, banks are killing it, though. JP Morgan's going positive. So there's your red candle, though. Bonds are hitting another new low, which I think makes this that much more interesting. Watch out for the 10-minute on Starbucks. What do we got on the 10-minute on Starbucks? I think they're getting ready for earnings. I, I would play it if it didn't run up 8% here, unfortunately. I feel like they've already ran into it. Big volume at 20 VKTX. DHT, what's this? DHT holdings up 3.8 at the high. VKTX above 20 now. And then FWBI is on the high as well. And then two big red candles here. So that was your little dancing queen moment but watch again at 4134 but 4130 we're just looking for the break to like 4129 and then that takes you to the low level you break 4129 we go back down to like 4119 
So it could move like 10 points at a time. MTB is on the high right now. So remember, they had their report here this morning. And three candles just gave up 10 minutes of green candles. Microsoft at the low. And now another green shoot. Welcome. Bonds are generally inverse what the market does, but the last couple of years have made, you know, bonds really, really difficult. So traditionally, yes. As far as recently, it's every random day we see what happens. And that's the the problem with bonds is that we've we've gone through a lot of changes since. Just don't forget what happened with the bond market last year has never happened before. And in a weird, you know, just because the calendar switched doesn't mean the situation has reverted. So, you know, we're, we're coming off of a bond market that did weird things in 2022 and even in 2021. So traditionally, it does the opposite. But as of lately, you know, some of the correlation has been a little bit skewed. And as people respond to, uh, you know, a lot more different scenarios from banking crisis to inflation, Fed policy and all of that just at a scale we haven't seen in, in, in decades. Uh, Netflix, my plan is to just buy it today, which I already did, and then sell out uh, before close tomorrow. I think that volume is real. It's not too big. It was just a little spur. But right now, we're only at 15 million, about just 30 minutes shy, about an hour and a half. You're flushing into the low now, into the low now. 132. There's zero bid support anywhere. Or at least book map's not showing anything crazy. What else do we have? We have J and J, Procter Gamble, IBM, Amex. They're actually all not moving. The tech names for earnings are moving way more. Again, Netflix is already down too. CHNR, China Natural. This is up 20%. China Play. XPO Logistics is up. So a little green candle at the bottom. But let's see how long this last... Again, you're you're at a flush point to the downside. You have your nice little wishbone here. You have to do something, either bigger dancing queen or just start a violent downtrend and get it out the way. So it's been less than two hours. We got what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes till Euro close as well. I don't know why travel's holding so much. Because again, travel and discretionaries are, are doing very good. Just a lot of, but again, this could be the earnings effect. And maybe inklings that things aren't as bad, but I would doubt it. Toro. Toro. Is this eToro? What the hell is this? This chart looks crazy. Toro is up. They seem like a newer company. They've had wild moves. Toro announces entry into subscription agreement. For the issuance of eight and a half million shares. Are. At two. T yeah, it sounds pretty bad. It sounds like it's an offering. I think the CEO is just selling his other company, 8 million shares at $2.20. So that's it. I think it's just an offering. Oh, is that the spinoff of CTRM? Be careful. That Toro CTRM shit. Because that CTRM shit, didn't they like scam everybody? I even I think my girl got, got some of that. Chips. 
What is that? 3M is even coming up. Uh, NVIDIA off the bottom. Or AMD. Yeah, all the chip makers just kind of woke up there. Lucy wants 375. Bro, bonds are dumping. So we're getting weird here again. Because at both of these points, bonds hit a new low. Spy hit a new low. Now on this flush here, stocks are not responding. Well, let's see what happens. DCPH. Lily to make record-breaking investment in Indiana manufacturing facilities. Roblo, okay, a lot of things off the bottom right now. Skyworks is on the has all the chips. A lot of chip plays are running up here. Skyworks, AMD, Nvidia. I don't have any news on it. Nielsen regains key media accreditation. Don't know what that means. Again, that candle is pretty big here. It's still fighting both green and red. You got about 30 minutes until Euro close. Pfix VKTX is way above 20 now, 2030. And then Walgreens is moving up. Again, more value names are holding. Lagarde may see more instability as supply elasticity wanes. She's speaking at the Council of Foreign Relations right now. Again, there's those chip makers waking up. So this is an interesting setup now. Because like we could still fail from here and then just do another dance to the low side. But if it breaks up here, then we just hit a new low, but then still remained within the range. And it's been just about... 10 to 12 points all day. So not anything too crazy. But let's see how it treats VWAP and then this move on the way up. But bonds are flushing. And again, it was a weird break here. But then up until the new slows, bonds and SPY have been going hand in hand. So let's see. And NASDAQ's down the 10th of a percent. Dow Jones still green. SPY is only down 0.04. And bonds, uh, bonds and dollar are making the bigger runs. Well, pretty much higher yields would assume that some banks are getting better. Lower yields would mean it's bad. So in this case with bonds, you know, the yields by this chart going down, that means yields are going higher. We're assuming people are getting back into the idea of, yeah, we could wait a little bit until the Fed because things aren't that bad. However, the dilemma with this logic is that it's filled with a bunch of counter counter move so that's me giving it to you simple but there's there's a lot of factors right now that it's it's very hard to simplify it to the degree of saying well bonds is good for this or bad for that because pretty much bond yields going higher and lower it means like four different things for four different industries it's one thing about banks it's one thing about earnings it's one thing about powell and it's one thing about every everybody else in the world so that's kind of the uh the balance at play when we're looking at it so in my short-term view of the bonds is quite simple. I think if the yields come back up, that means people are less worried. If yields come back down, people are more worried about an imminent problem with recession, earnings, so on and so forth. So it really does just depend. We're coming back down though. So that again, you're doing five minutes, 10 minutes up, two minutes down. You've done that twice now with about 27 minutes till Euro close. So let's see here. But you're playing this back and forth. You haven't broken a high or a low here in about like 25 to 27 minutes. It could be Lagarde. Tesla's flushing now. Again, Tesla even had good EV uh, EV credit news here earlier. That was right here. It sold that off. But you're going lower on that. Watch. If big tech goes lower, we probably will. And now bonds are dropping even more. Where's Apple? 
nothing happened today. I mean, the range is still very, very small. Like, it looks like we're, we're about to have something happen. I don't think anything's happened yet, but if we flush from here, it will. But so far, this has been on borderline nothing, and then the banks have actually caught a bid from open, and then that's about it. There's Meta. Again, Tesla at the low. So let's see if bonds chill out. Maybe spy flushes as bonds catch the bid. But so far, three new lows on bonds, only one new low on the stock market. Bonds are down 0.6 right now. Stock market, S&P is only down 0.11. And then Dow Jones is right at break even here. CVS on the high. Uh, three M. Good for you, long term. Good for you. Another huge VXTX or VKTX Viking. Yeah, dude, fifty cents above twenty is huge already. Again, that one. I mean, I'm gonna I'll buy VXTX once it drops. I like the drug that they offer. I just I'm mad it's it's up so much. It looks like Rita it hasn't even came down once. Yeah, you have Lagarde comments right now, but again, I would see how that affects bonds. So. Bonds bounced a little bit. We're right back up here. Market, it's crazy because you guys are saying how crazy the price action is. You're making pretty decent-sized candles, but we just haven't moved. So it's still a very, very tight range to think about it. I mean, this is where you're at. We spent a couple hours in this range on Friday, but you've spent a very good amount of time here. The data tomorrow... I don't know. It's not no data this week is going to be in, in like important. So you have housing starts and building permits. The biggest data will be on Friday with the PMIs. But today's the, this week is nothing to do with data. So it's like this is all about earnings. So, you know, it kind of worked out in a way where we had our big data reactions leading into it. But this week is not it's not filled with your tier tier one data. That's going to move a lot of things. Realistically, Netflix, Tesla, Johnson and Johnson, the rest of the banks, those are going to be the the things that cause bigger reactions. Again, little bounce off the bottom there. Two minutes down, three minutes back up. You are dancing, baby. You are you're above forty one thirty three, which is good, but we'll see. Jobless claims the twentieth. I would I would argue none of the data matters this week. So we'll see. I mean, jobless claims, we reacted more. Even with our jobless claims last time, it was the other jobs data that was associated with it. I think even uh, it was PPI that came out. But I think uh, I think this week, compared to what we had last couple of weeks, this week is a dud. It's all about earnings, I would say. 3M107 now. I don't mind dancing. I just need to know what song. <laughs> it's a good one. VKTX again, Microsoft trying to work its way up. Apple's even bouncing here too. So it looks a little better. But Amazon's still a little weaker. Tesla, they gave up everything. And then bonds are coming off the bottom. Yeah, the dollar is not good today, but I mean, the short term moves on the dollar. As long as the dollar is still at this low level, it doesn't really matter. But the last couple of days here, I mean, the dollar has woke up. So if this trend, if this flips the trend, then we get worried. But as of now, dollar, you, you pretty much you could ignore the dollar, in my opinion, until 28, 26 here on UUP. Mm. U.S. inspection of soy for export and wheat. McCarthy says not dangerous to negotiate over debt ceiling. What is that, Meta or is that Palantir? Okay, bonds are finally bouncing. Walgreens on the high. Uh, 
bio t7 a lot of the biotechs are going they even had ascend and i think ionis went up too and obviously mcrib am i holding tell i don't know i don't think so it's a good question no i do not have tell still House Speaker McCarthy speaks on CNBC. Tellurian, they're running up. Let's see, where's Netflix? Netflix down two. So Spy working its way up here. Hmm. Tesla down. Well, Tesla's on Wednesday, I'm pretty sure. Some people are saying tomorrow, but then Netflix will be tomorrow after the bell. So that means you're going to get a couple of reports today, not much. Then you get a whole set of earnings tomorrow morning. Then whatever happens around the rest of the world, and then end of the day tomorrow we, we report. Tesla's hitting a new low. Even Netflix going down here now too. I'm going to keep up Microsoft. Dude, Microsoft had good gains, but they're only up half a percent right now. Tilray on the high. Went impressive bounce. Mm -hmm. Oh, PNC is going up now and MTB. So those are working for now. And then Microsoft's trying to get greens even as the spy's getting reds. It's interesting because most other days, it's like when the big tech would get greens, we'd watch the spy go up. The Today, it's been like every time big tech gets green, we get a red on the market. So there is there is a lot of rotation and push-pull going on right here. Hmm. No rockets. Lucid. Remember they had updates. You're kind of chilling out here volume wise. Forty one thirty three. Again, anything lower than here is forty one thirty three. MTB, another regional that reported today is going back up here now. Spy is going below the levels. It sucks because you got to bounce on the bonds too. But you see it. The market looks tighter. But overall, it looks like we're just doing exactly what the bond market is doing again. So I think we need to bounce on bonds. Otherwise, this thing's going to be a nightmare. Because bonds are already down a quite quite a lot. FSLR, I'm sure with Enphase up. MTB's near the high. Uh, Bank of America and the other one's kind of chilled out. XOM and Energy on the low. So that's interesting with tech not having green candles. Tesla's Wednesday, yeah. And then good. So Netflix Tuesday, net uh then Tesla Wednesday. Jalen Hurts in Philly, five year two twenty five million. Let's go. One seventy nine guaranteed. That's a nice it's a nice bag. Walgreens still on the high again. Spy kind of dancing here at this level. Shop has been moving all day. I don't know why. Shop, I think, could be an Amazon sympathy play. Oh, MGRB. I thought that was McRib. So 41.33 here. Watch what happens. Hovhannis. Hovhannis. Appreciate it. God bless you, my friend. Oh, Ionis is running. We have that one here. So Bonds are trying to catch a bid. Spy's trying to flush the low. It's going to get interesting here. 41.32. Uh, everything's red now. Dow has just gone red right here at this spot. Spy's down a tenth of a percent. NASDAQ down 0.19 and small caps are doing great. And then treasury yield rises 10 basis points to 4.2. So again, even in the process of this, banks or bond yields are getting murdered. Yeah, even the, the two years dumping right now. 
AKA the two year yield is going higher. But let's see if bonds catch a bid, then it goes JHPI on the high, MTB again. I'd watch Schwab and State Street again. These banks that reported today, they are actually making moves. Netflix and Tesla normally report. No, no, no. They're first. Netflix is usually first. Like, you know, imagine all the other earnings. We usually do Netflix. It goes bank stocks, then Netflix, then Tesla. Then we burn a week with like random, like, you know, consumer names. And then next week after this will be uh, uh, Amazon, Google, and all that. Actually, I think this time it's just going to be Netflix, Tesla, and then all these names this week. And then next week we get Amazon, Meta, and all of that. Then the week after that we'll get Apple. U.S. non-comps for six-month bills at $2 trillion, 2053 million. Is that two hundred billion? DRMA wants gap up. Spy, spy wants something here. Super slow movement again, though. Bonds are just dying right here. I mean, that's kind of what we saw on Friday too with some of the earlier moves. So forty-one thirty-three, you're still holding. Surprisingly, very very slow. Bonds have yet to hit a level. So let's see if either stocks or bonds lead it right here. Meta is crazy. Meta's just been crazy since the earnings and then the cost cutting. And then they were the first to announce the layoffs and then they lost 90% of their value or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then everyone started going right back to it. My ZT is up like $900 right now, 870. So just below 900 bucks on the ZT from two days ago. End phase again, my goodness. And then first solar's running up. So bonds didn't flush. Spy didn't flush either. I'm very surprised how well it's holding 41.33. I guess we held it pretty decent on Friday, but like you did test it a couple of times. So we're just we're kind of just staying straight flat here at this level. Biggest lurker in the game. I'm always here. Happy 24 months, baby. Hey, man. Shout out to lurkers. Let's get it. Wint. Wind tree therapy. Damn, up 260%. You guys called this out earlier. Crisper's on the high, too, but Wint. This thing just got halted, unhalted, and now it's up 269%. Crisp is up another 7 or 9? Yeah. Remember, they went crazy on Friday. They got a big upgrade. There's end phase is almost up 10% now. Microsoft starting to move here. So there you go. It's weird. Right when the market moves, though, we start to turn down on the bond. So I don't know if you could believe any of these moves in the sense that we've sold off three of these, four of these moves of random big pop and then go back down. PNC breaking out a little bit. Again, MTB. Don't forget about State Street and Schwab. Both of those on the high. State Street, at least. Okay, that's a big candle. But again, I'm just I'm paranoid after every single one of these has been batted down at 4138. Disney and Pepsi on the high. Toro is moving again, but be careful that news I don't think is good. Let's see. I think as long as we break out and the bonds don't go down. If you could get a bid on the bonds, I think that could help us right here. Otherwise, we might still be stuck in the gulag. I think we're done with banking issues until we get another rate hike. I could see that. I mean, so far, even the earnings today, they weren't as good as Friday. But if broadly speaking, the trend from Friday continues, I I think we're only going to hear good news out of banks. And then we have to give it six months until we see what actually happens with credit. But the bank earnings on Friday were fat were, were fabulous. That's the that's the problem. So if like you're worried about banking situation, you think I know it's weird that we had a banking crisis and the you know the stock markets trying to go towards highs, but fact of the matter is as long as they perform how they did on those other ones, it's just it's the situation was not as bad or the reports did not show those signs of crisis just yet. Schwab well Schwab was 
that's it could have been worse, right? There's State Street now, PNC. I think PNC was good. I think I think Schwab was bad in its own way, but it, again, it just like it could have been worse. But like where where in the world would 30% deposits year over year declining, where would that be good? In this case, it's good because it wasn't 50% or it wasn't like they lost enough money where they couldn't do anything. Again, paranoid candle, fat green, fat red, and in a minute later, bonds didn't move on it. So at least we didn't get tricked too hard. But a lot of things are moving. Again, heavy bank activity, State Street, PNC's moving, uh, even a couple of other ones, uh, SDEG, SEDG, Enphase, NTNB, ENTB, they're all mo they're all moving. Yeah, J well, a lot of the big banks. So JP Morgan, City, and Wells Fargo, all of them increased net interest income by 30 to 40 percent. They but the regionals didn't. So like MTB and PNC, they didn't make money on net interest income, uh, but they just didn't die. So there's good and bad with all of them. Netflix, flushing. What am I down on that? Damn, I'm down 300 bucks on the Netflix. That's six bucks a share. We're going to have to see here. Hmm. What in the algo's name is this? They just algo in around, man. Like Algorand, Prologus to report. Cano border structuring 12.5%. No, there's no news on Netflix, just earnings getting ahead. Again, MTB, bro, another regional. So if anything I could say today, I mean... As we are going down and tech is at the low, all of these regionals are getting bid up even if they didn't do that good. From State Street to MTB, even Bank of America, Wells Fargo, financials. Uh, again, the market's coming down barely, but financials are running on all of this. That's the crazy part. Hmm. XRTX. So bonds are moving up now. Spy coming back into the low. Let's see what it does here. Neo's on the high. I don't think it's a contrarian move. I, I think it's rotation. I think people, again, as another set of bank earnings, not too much fear. I think some people are trimming. You're trimming your tech ahead of tech earnings now, and then you're buying the banks once you get the all clear. Seems to be what's going on. I could be wrong, and it's only day one, and we're just starting off the week, but... Uh, you know, we talked about this last week where if banks don't do bad, I wouldn't be surprised to watch people sell off and buy into banks because now they have the deepest discount. You get away from any fear. I mean, and then now if you're worried about tech, then there you go. It, may, it makes a lot of sense, but that's I'm getting evidence of it, but I don't know if it's fully confirmed. We need to really see how everything moves or where we close. Mm. And Spy does it. Shrek candle. Let's see. Bonds are saying we could go up to here. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll, we'll find out though. But every time we've had these little green shoots, you didn't have the bonds bouncing with it. So this time bonds led a little bit ahead of us. But let's see. Lemonade, big volume pop. CXAI is on the low. MTB again, MTB and PNC, they're going hand in hand. Lemonade's at the high up 1.9. Yeah, PNC, MTB are just, they're both running into the highs now. MTB is a nice move. Hmm. Go out. Oh, I haven't looked at Apple. MTB's catching candles now. Oh, shit. Are they going to have conference calls? Maybe that could be something with the banks. Maybe they reported and we haven't had all of their conference calls yet. Let me double check. Yeah, MTB starts at 11. 
So MTB's conference call started 30 minutes ago. Interesting. But then that's it. J, uh, State Street was at 9. Then JB Hunt is after hours. PPG, Marvel, MTB is going up now. MTB is really popping. Again, PNC looks to be the closest to MTB. But their conference call started at 11 for MTB. So that's probably still going on right now. Ooh, MTB, dude, that's 2% on that candle. 3% almost. What the hell? Yeah, MTB is going real crazy right here. Bro, that's a 2% move off one candle. Again, that conference call may be happening. Wall is on the high now. A lot of banks. I'm seeing a lot of banks on the high ticker. Couple of consumer plays. Spy back to VWAP now. Let's see how this holds. Hasbro and Disney at the high too. So again, that's more consumer plays. Bonds have re rebounded a little bit. So bonds are saying we could be here. We're higher than where the bond market's permitting. So let's see, but there's a little bit of a gap. FRC on the high. Again, PNC, MTB. Mm. HBQ, MS. I remember City was doing it too, or Bank of America might go hand in hand with them. Capital One's even on the high. And then don't forget, you have AXP. Mm. All right, I bought 50 more shares of Netflix, 30. 330.85. I have 100 total now. Again, this is all for the pre earnings run up play. Wayfair's on the high. Apple slowly climbing. I think if we get the bonds, I think you need the bonds are dead today or you need the market to like fully ignore the bonds, but they haven't been again. So even then that pop was led by the bonds right now, but bonds are saying you should be like right here. Spy went a little bit above it, but like the real question is now, can we get away from this and then just go from there? Bro, MTB still go. MTB's launching again. Another percent. Oof. Netflix back down. PNC now. Again, a lot of regional activity. MCB is crazy. Euro close in three minutes. All right. Uh, bonds are still holding, but another big red on the SPY. DPST, FRC. Again, just take a look at uh, the regionals because something's going on with uh, MTB. FRC is going straight up. I think Wall had a same move. And then again, PNC, then any of the other ones that reported, they're kind of doing their thing. Tesla new low damn so spy's not even at a new low but Tesla is again bonds are holding up a little bit better here still but spy is now back to the level again last time bonds were the same exact price but Tesla's flushing into the low right now watch if MCB actually holds up oh my gosh right back down so one of these is gonna flush or one of these is gonna break out so again, you're still back down to 40. Bro, you've done this how many times? One, two, three, four. Literally four just massive rips. Give it all back. Have not broken 4130, but have not gotten above 4138. Actually wild. Mortgage rates have been doing good. Mortgage rates have dropped substantially. I think that's why UWMC and a lot of names are up. Yeah, mortgage 6.89. 
So it's actually they did. It looks like to start this week, they're coming back up. And that you could probably blame the two-year on that. So they were a little bit, but this is where we were last week coming off of it. But now it seems like the last couple of days with the two-year dropping, that had an effect on the longer end. I.E. What's this? Avanaho Electric running. So bonds are catching the bid. Market is not playing along now. So we're getting another another weird inverse here. But watch here for the lows. 4133. It's either bonds holding we follow or again of Ivanaho, i.e. big pop. 20 cents there. Meta dump. Watch energy and oil and then see if the banks keep holding. Rest or RL, Ralph Lauren on the low. Tesla's selling off now too. Q's are on the high, new low of the day. Womp, womp, womp. So there you go. You flushed in. You hit that early on. So you hit just this low off of this move. You've pretty much spent an, almost an hour now to break the 41.32. So remember, 41.29 all the way down to like 41.19. That will be the next level if this keeps breaking. Netflix. I'm holding Netflix till tomorrow after hours or till right before close. Woo! Bigger flush there again, Biogen on the low, Visa, a couple of the other companies that report, but bonds are up. Uh, you just, you flip-flopped, uh, you just threw that correlation out the window. So yeah, that's Euro close on the dot. It could be a first sell. We'll see how it plays out and what it does to the bond market. Microsoft, even Google too. Again, if Google continues to sell off more, I mean, just add that to the morning news. But yeah, Microsoft is giving up a decent amount of it right now. Consolidation, then dump. Yeah, just a lot of Dancing Queen. Raul. BNY, deposits under scrutiny. Tesla, everything selling off now. MRK on the low. Healthcare to tech. Bro, that's huge. That's 10 points now. You didn't move more than 10 points for the first hour here or this full hour, but now you're breaking it. So like I told you, 41.29. If you flush here, 41.20-ish, that will be the next level. So we'll see. And you got some bids coming in to stop it all. But at least the bonds are up. That's it. But now you've just broke this correlation completely. So you're going to have to give it like 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, you have six-month bond auction come in and even three-month bills. That news is coming out right now. So, again, bonds are moving off of that as well. So, watch out here. Weight Watchers on the high. It is time for push-ups. Let's get the body moving, ladies and gentlemen. We're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. Make sure you're subscribed. You're on mobile. Press high chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. But ladies and gentlemen, you've been here for two and a half hours. We got four and a half hours left to go. You got a lot of earnings along the way and you got Powell in a couple of weeks. So make sure you're ready for it. Get beside your desk and do 10 push-ups, okay? Can't do 10, you do five. Can't do five, you do four. Can't do four, you do two. Can't do two, you do one. Can't do one, get her knees. Do a push-up, plank, the worm, anything. But get the body moving. That's all you got to do, okay? An optometrist recommendation. Stare at the object 10, 20, 30 feet away. Blink a few times. Go blink, 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 Oh, that's it. NTSB investigating Sunday Union Pacific derailment in Texas. Oh, but relax those eyeballs. Chest to the sun. Flex the core. Tuck the hips in. And boom, baby. You're ready to go. FRC, another regional. I don't know what's going on with MTB. It's probably through their earnings, but... I don't see any crazy headlines, uh, but I think it's just all the regionals kind of getting lifted up here right now. But legs in front of you, flex the core, tuck the hips in, and then Chad, relax the jaw, go, ah, breathe in really deep, go, breathe out with your tongue out, do the dragon breath, go, ah. Look at just like that. Boom, now your body's moving. Now you're ready to go. Now you're ready for the rest of the day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom now. Follow me on Instagram at the trading fraternity. I love you. I'll be right back and uh, welcome to the European close. Amen, amen.
throughout the trading day. You do have some differences in indices. Uh, UK stocks, for example, those are higher, but we did have some weakness coming through in the pound, really a dollar strength story. We're going to talk FX in just a moment. DAX, that's lower, as is the Cacaron after hitting an all-time high. We're also looking at the FTSE mid. That is underperforming this morning, down half a percent. But it was financial services, one of the worst performing sectors. I'll show you the sector picture in just a moment, but that's why Italy is underperforming. So here you have exactly what I was talking to. You start the day really strong. You even start the day where the blue chip index was trading at an all-time record, not an all-time record, 2007 record uh, based on a closing basis. And that just really on very low volumes just faded throughout the day. Looking at those sectors, as I said, financial services at the bottom of the pile, as is insurance, as is banks. Those led us last week for four consecutive weeks of gains in European indices. Again, not quite able to hang on to that. We were basically unchanged on the day. Tech is also near the bottom of the pile. You had a report that TSMC was looking at pulling back on CapEx. So all of the big European chip names, ASM, ASML, those kinds of stocks really struggled in the trade, dragging down the overall index. And when it comes to some of the individual movers, deals are back, but apparently it is just healthcare and video games. Rovio Entertainment, which makes the Angry Bird video game, is up 18% after Sega Sammy said that they would buy them. I actually didn't realize that uh, Sega was still around. I used to own a Sega Dreamcast, but uh, apparently it's still doing things and buying things <laughs> like Angry Birds. So that is up 18%. IDS, this is the parent company of Royal Mail. For the past 11 months, Royal Mail has been in wage negotiations with one of the major communications unions to the point where we had strikes last year. But they've reached a preliminary deal. It still needs to be voted on by the wider membership. But that was enough to send shares of IDS up 6.5%. Finally, UBS Group. I mean, it seems like another day, another you know, bad set of news for UBS, the latest of which was reports another from day, Financial News day, we that we had a $4.4 billion worth of outflows from Credit Suisse since that deal was put together. It just really... They didn't even get bought for 4 billion euros. <laughs> they had more outflows than the company sold for. Well, Chad, that bathroom break did not help. It only made things worse. We're going lower. You're going lower, 0.34 on the NASDAQ, 0.2 on the SPY, and 0.05 on the Dow. Believe it or not, it's not a big day, which feels very, very weird. I mean, we're what, within nine points of the uh, close of Friday? And then this is where we were hanging out on Friday as well, too. But 41.28, still slipping. Bonds or stocks are not reacting to bonds at all uh, in the last, like, 5, 10 minutes here since Euro close. So let's see. And then regional banks have been just running Again, FRC, MTB, they've just been going insane here. And then even like PNC, and then you have Schwab and State Street on the earnings for today. MDNA Life Science sees units pricing at $4 to $6 per unit. MDNA Life Sciences to sell units via EF Hutton. So watch out, you're still at the low. Man, I remember the Sega Game Gear. I had a Game Gear at one point in my life. They don't know about that life. BLCM, Bellicom. We saw this one the other day, actually. Spy BDRX. No, I know RDRX. That's the one that got bought out today. And new low. Let's see. I think I'm getting squabbed down. 600 on the ES from the morning. 4112. Meta's on the low now. So again, 4120 to 4119. I don't know, 4127, is this even a level? Ooh, that one's getting bigger now. So 4124, that's where you're at now, and then 4113. I think 4119 is a soft level, but then back to the 4113, that makes a little bit more sense. So again, a pretty decent sized flush here. I don't even know if this air breaks on. They're letting it go. I think we're going to, we just need to watch this gap between them and the bonds for now. I want to see if that returns, but that just left us in the dust 10 minutes ago. Shop expects to see 25% more projects completed due to meetings cut. <laughs> Good for you, shop. Good for you. CVV.
what's the other one mtb and then tesla man tesla's sad that's even netflix sad and then GoDaddy's on the low why is this thing dumping and then spy still going into the lows again bonds have been going up but this has been like a constant seven minutes maybe longer of just straight downside since zero close. So 839, nine minutes following, 4125, again, 4124, all the way to like 4119. These are our two levels. And then even 4113, the low of yesterday or Friday. There's Tesla. McDonald's even came down. It's oil. Probably, yo, Steph Curry, man, good, good luck in your playoff games. I hope you have a good, good playoff, sir. Yeah, just, it's only a quarter percent. At least it's, I mean, 0.3 on the NASDAQ, and now tech is down 0.18. But for the most part, we're still within that quarter point range. Tesla, I mean, Tesla in a weird way, They, I mean, you already got their earnings number. You got their delivery numbers, like what, two weeks ago? So you have a general idea, but it's just the specifics, any other guidance, and then, you know, how much money they have, free cash flow, all of that. Uh, Netflix going lower. They were trying to hold one. T-Mobile, low ticker is still very active. ASC on the high, so watch out here. I mean, you're still hanging into the low candle. Eli Lilly on the low now as well. PCVX, another biotech. Biotechs for days, man. Uh, run on the high, where's end phase? That's still doing good. Netflix is dumping right now. They're getting a sell. MTB is about to hit another high. Again, that's another one of the regionals there. Same thing with PNC. Schwab is still holding. And then State Street. State Street might even go to the high. ACAM gave up some. I see Okta on the high. BLCM 103. Yeah, that one's running. And then Wells Fargo raised to buy at Odeon Capital. Capital price target 44.60. Oh, and then that's what it is. I think, j -Alt, I think MTB Bank CFO guides taxable net interest income to grow 20 to 30%. I think that's the headline of why they're up. So they start, CFO gave guidance, and it looks like they are going to benefit off of net interest income. Dollar Tree on the low. Nev Damn, did you just flush into the low right there on that candle? Hold on, you're coming back down, so watch out for the reload. We have yet to break below 41.24 or even touch uh, 41.19, so let's see how this plays out here. You just came back from school? School ends this early? That's good, though, man. School's good. I hope you learned something today. If not, you'll learn a little bit today in the market. Today we're learning about why regional banks are going up. I had I have 100 shares total on Netflix. I grabbed 50 in the morning, got slaughtered. I made an average down, and now I'm continually getting slaughtered. So just waiting there. But that one we're going to play till tomorrow. Win is on the low. Oh, even the video gave up. Oh, I'm in Portugal. That makes sense. That makes sense. 
ACLX. Didn't we see that earlier? And then bonds are up, but theoretically, I mean, the bonds are saying you could be back up here and that's it. <laughs> so it's not, again, the bonds still going to actually have to move a lot. ACLX getting more volume at the high. I bought the MES this morning for the Chad, yes. I don't know where you guys are at. Chad MES play is down $47. So it was worse on Friday. Remember at one point we were down like what, 120? And then we closed out for a $20 loss. If we held the post market, we would have went green. Lucid, that ER guarantees they need to raise money. You bought 20,000 shares of FRC this morning? Wow. That's crazy. That's like $4 million. Well, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, the MES is very, very manageable. He's very light. You know, lightweight. He doesn't do much. You know, very simple. Uh, chips are coming down. Even Netflix again. Spies is right at the low candle. So we are nowhere close to leaving this danger zone. What can make it worse is if bonds sold off here. And again, we haven't even seen if we break 41.24. That's a shit ton of volume that just came in too. And then bonds are starting to drop now. So just like I was saying, we'll see how this plays out. So again, big volume just traded here. At least that's what Bookmap saying couple minutes ago 3500 contracts here at this level mm. shooting up now we're going there you have one feds actually it should be soon isn't Waller supposed to be uh, or barking? I think we should be getting him very soon, actually. Uh, I don't have it. I don't think we're going to get it live. I think we're just going to get headlines from it because I don't see it as a live event. Spy hitting a new low. Watch out. It barely hit a new low. Now we're now you're starting to get air breaks. But let's see again. A lot of a lot of contracts just changed hands here, and bonds are still going. I think he was supposed to talk at 11.30. So it's already 11.40. We should be getting Mr. Barkin. Yeah, 11.30 Fed Barkin. I don't I don't have anything, though. Let me check if maybe we missed it. No, I don't have any pre-written statements. So we should be getting it any time from, out, from here on out. And watch out. that Even that little... Dude, that little green candle. They're all turning red. You're slowly air breaking and setting new lows. One, one quarter point at a time here. The MES is down like, oh, we say like 40 bucks, I think. MES is down
Short NVIDIA FRCs back to the high. Let's see what Tesla does at 180. Even Netflix getting some. I think I want to see what happens when the banks stop. Because remember on Friday, the bank earnings came out and then we didn't do anything. Today, the bank earnings came out and then you just had a, a wild bid towards the end of the, or, or like the end of the morning, uh, or AKA pre-market, and then we just started running. So we'll see. ITCI on the high. There's Tesla, Netflix at the bottom, SAI. I think that's another AI play, has AI in the letters. All right, first move off the bottom, bonds haven't done much, but we'll see. Every time we go green, they start to go red. PayPal holding. Up, up, up. And PNC and MTB. ADR fee. It's usually on the dividends, but there's a fee for holding foreign names. But usually you only have to pay that on the, like, if you get paid a dividend. Inva still halted. What's the ticker for that? I know a Novio and IONS, they're trading. Mm, all right. So. You're popping from the flush. I mean, wait, how much, what time is it? It's been 50 minutes or 30 minutes since Euro close. And Euro, so you're right at Euro close level. We flushed into Euro. Euro close, we dropped four points. So you're right to the low end of that level. The random play generator was an EBS call for June. A Padufa play. Oh, interactive brokers. They have earnings tomorrow. Fit B on the high. Bro, these banks are still going again. Even FRC now. So all the regionals are waking up. Again, small caps, if anything. Russell 2000's only thing green. Yeah, regionals. Bro, regionals were down like three quarters of a percent this morning. And now they're up 1.2. And then bonds, right when we started to pop, bonds started to come back down. It's going to be a long day, Chad. going to be a long day. I-N-V-A. That's the ticker. Inovia. I think they got something this morning. Let's see. Oh, yeah. FDA panel. They, halt, they got halted for FDA panel. There's an advisory panel. So the FDA is going to put out news on the approval or not. But other than that, it's just not out yet. So they halted it pending news for the FDA. Where is Morgan Stanley? Morgan Stanley was doing very good. So was City. City already reported, though. Then so did Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo got an upgrade, and then Bank of America's tomorrow. Pack W going now. Check Wall as well. Pack W is going to go green. Wall is up 2%. Even State Street.
they're still down 11, but they've recovered half of their loss. Nettie's on the high. What's up with this? That's a China play running. Yeah, Baba and China plays are starting to pick up right now. Again, maybe even oil. Watch there because oil did sell off a little bit in the morning. Yeah, real estate still number one on the day. MPW still holding up. MPW. Bulls in control. Annings, Annings, Annings. And just, I don't know. I think just as a refresher, just like let me remind you how the market moves during earnings. So just don't forget, even though earnings is like a big event, it's not like earnings is a party intraday. It's usually we, re, we anticipate, do nothing ahead of the earnings. Then earnings comes out, depending on if it's good or bad. You have like a lot of activity in one area and then the market waits for the next earnings so there's going to be a lot of uh red light green light and just keep that in mind and then unless we're coming off like really good or bad earnings that'll facilitate the next morning but just keep in mind a big part of this we we are in that earnings season so that's why it's like today's still not even that that big of a day we're gonna find out i'm sure by the end of today it's gonna look hideous but I, on, I think we're going to just get a lot of this back and forth, but just don't forget, people are still preparing for that. ADP March passenger traffic up 26%. What's that? I don't know if that's for the U.S. State Department formally preparing to formally notify Congress on the sale of the modernization package for an existing F-16 aircraft to Turkey. Tesalonia, Netflix, those are your only good ones. They're not playing along. I don't know if Microsoft's been staying pinned. Again, Microsoft benefited off of the bad Google news, but still holding up here. I'd say if Microsoft goes negative, we'll have a bigger problem, but it's almost there. So it's not like it's a, a big shift if they go red from here. Are we pumping tomorrow? It depends. I mean, people may get in. They might anticipate the earnings, but I think tomorrow is just going to be dependent on what Netflix says. Because again, after that, you're going to get your first like tech earnings, big tech. We're going to see how people feel about it. Netflix was coming off of a minor recovery. So I think that will uh, that'll bring back a lot of emotions. Even then, too, I don't know. Do you want me to tell you? There's one more thing. I don't I don't want to say it. I could say it, but once I say it, I can't take it back. I don't know if you guys want that. There there's something you got to keep in mind. Okay, it's not this week. We're good. Whew. That was close. That was close. Mhm. Mm that was close. You guys don't remember? Oh, fuck. Why'd I open this? Snap. They saved us. Wow. Wow. Chad, they did it. Wow. Wow. No, that's huge. Did you see that? Bro, Snapchat. Snapchat Snapchat should have been this week. Holy shit. Snapchat was supposed to be this week. But now 
Snapchat is coming after Meta. You haven't seen that in a year and a half. It's been a year and a half of Snapchat reporting before Meta. This time around, Meta reports the day before Snapchat. Wow. <laughs> so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Because I was going to say, that could be the only bad news this week. Is that it? Everyone's focused on tech and then Snapchat comes out and then everybody trips out about the advertising market. But nope. This time around, it's Meta first. Meta first. Interesting. So again, Meta will be next week. So this week will be Tesla and Netflix. And then again, any of the consumer stocks. Meta is flushing right now. Horn baby, two dollar holla. What's that? What's that mean? Uh, <laughs> oh, the two dollars. I was like, wait a minute, sir. I don't accept your advance on me with your two dollars. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Well, usually Snapchat just would report prior to Meta. So, like, coming into all of the earnings season over the last like year and a half, we would have. Uh, we would get ready for earnings and then Snapchat would come out early and then it would freak everybody out relative to tech, advertising, social media stocks. So now this or earnings season, believe it or not, different and contrary to the last year, you're going to have Meta come before Snapchat. So then that way, if you know Snapchat's not going to make people freak out, everyone's going to watch Meta and Meta will probably be the deciding factor. I feel like Snapchat has to come out with AI news on earnings. Bro, but Meta and Microsoft, they just took low candles. Microsoft now only up a quarter of a percent. They went lower on that. Mm. All right, that green's holding up. How much time? It's been 30 minutes since Euro close. And then you're right at Euro close level, believe it or not. But the bonds are working their way down. Honestly, this whole setup kind of sucks today. It's really, really hard to get her because now they look almost matched up perfectly, but it's just they just look weird. Wheat going crazy. Why the China name still running? Uh, Baidu and Baba again. Netties was on the high. I don't know. Meta is going to be a weird one because Meta's already been reacting to the cost cutting. People were feeling good after the last earnings. So we're just going to see. I mean, it's like it's either really I think it's cost cutting and no advertisers slipping. You do that. I mean, Meta will be at 260 to 280 in no time. Otherwise, if it gets bad, you're back to the 150 gulag probably. Meta is going to be exciting. I think it's gonna skyrocket. I think it could go either or. I think that one's just that one's gonna have twenty bucks of move in it. I think Meta will either go down or up twenty dollars depending on how it plays out. But now you don't even have Snapchat earnings to front run it, which makes it that much funnier. Because usually it's like you just wait till Snap reports and then you just play Meta on Snap earnings. But now now you can't. You know the expected move? It shows it on TD Ameritrade, but if you just take the at-the-money straddle price, that, that'll that let you know what's going on. Barkin should be on, but I don't have any headlines. Russia and India discuss joint oil reinsurance institutes. Watch oil. That could be bullish for oil. Yeah, pretty much now you play Snapchat off of Meta. And is Snap still at 12 bucks or like near there? Because Snap's still doing decent. 
but they're pretty much at their last earnings level. Cyber's on the high. That means they'll start covering Russian oil exports, adding the supply. I think it'll just facilitate whatever they have now. I don't know if it'll add to it, but theoretically, yes. If they have a way to insure any any barrels above $60, then theoretically, India could demand more. So it's like both demand and supply it just depends on, on how it actually plays out. How does one interpret the at-the-money straddle? Oh, like like here? It just tells you kind of, I think this is telling you the percentage of how far it needs to go. This is pre-earnings, what the break-even amount is, and then this is afterwards. But I like to just do it manually. So again, if you like what, so like Netflix reports this week, if you go to TD Ameritrade, you'll see these yellow numbers that says MMM, that's the market maker expected move. It says plus or minus $27. But if you even go to the option, you go to the week of earnings, it says plus or minus $30. That's usually what it's pricing in. Or you just come over here and look at the at the money prices. So add 14 to 16, that leaves you with about $30 priced in, which is just under 10% of a $33, $333 price. And then 4128, can't get above the 4130, bonds at a low. Yeah, PNC has been, it's been going with MTB. Yes, there is a video on the main channel called How I Turn 116 at 1300 in Tesla. Yes, we go over the standard deviations and all of that. That's the OG tutorial on that. Any news that could break the dollar out? Probably not. It'll probably be earnings or whatever. Again, this week, even though we don't have a lot of data, we will be getting like European CPI numbers, China CPI, I believe. So we'll find out what happens there. But other than that, uh, I don't think, I think the dollar will be confined based on earnings reports. And then we're working our way down. I mean, this whole morning has been down. It's really just been chopping, but it's just been one hour doing nothing, sell lower, one hour, nothing, sell lower. And we're about to do it again. I mean, it's already nine o'clock, 30 minutes. You're right where you started Euro close at. And Euro close was like a six point flush. Mm. Should China be bullet? It should be, but this is what we've been talking about since the beginning of the year. Remember, everybody was really excited about China reopening. And I told you it'll take like six months to really see that. So now we're four months in. It's kind of priced in on the China reopening. But in the last couple of months, the China reopening has not been as strong as expected. Now, yesterday, last night, we had good China numbers and China's economy government. They're not injecting more money, which some people are saying is a good sign. But as of now, we really haven't seen the full scope of the Chinese recovery People are pricing it in, but they're not pricing it in as much as they were at the beginning of the year. And then PNC still going. I'm going to switch Netflix with Microsoftian. I do playing around. Morgan Stanley's on the high. Goldman on the high. Yeah, it's weird. You got some big banks moving up here in all of this. Bro, the push the push pull today is unreal. MTB again. 
But it's just like every green candle, you're the high low ticker split. Some of them are big names, some of them are small names, but you are you are really getting a push and pull. Schwab is still holding up. State Street. Bro, MTB. Again, this was guidance on net. And dude, this we saw this go 7% in front of us. It was negative. My goodness. That's like a real bank earnings, like post earnings. That's actually wild. None of the other banks moved like that on Friday. They just gapped up and stayed there. So very interesting. And then Chad Play is down $30 on the MES, $28.75 now. All right, kind of moving up. I don't, let's just see if we get to VWAP and what happens. CG, oh yeah, where's gold? Dude, MTB. Is gold back up today or no? With the dollar up, probably not. RTX hitting daily highs. Moody's places Lotomatica rating on review for upgrade. Netflix ain't loving it. Tesla staying pinned like Microsoft, but even Microsoft catching red candles. Again, Apple's not moving on this. It's like you really want to see this go up, but your your big tech is not playing a part. If anything, I would blame the banks on this move. But then if tech does lift up as we make a move towards VWAP, that'll hold the rally, but... I don't think it would. IONM halted again. I feel like every day this last two weeks, we just, we see random runners all day. Yeah, I don't know what Assure Holdings is. But again, Microsoft hitting into the low. Spy had that little bounce. Bonds are at the low. But like I was telling you, we were going green, but none of your big tech is playing along. Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, they're all at their daily lows right here. I think even Google too. It's about to be. Meta, tap move in. Altria is up. Halting oil is the only way to stop climate crisis, says Colombia's Petro. Oh. USB on the high, weren't they down? Or no, that's UBS. No, USB too. Holy shit. Bro, this is another one. They were down 5%. All the banks are running right now. Big banks, small banks. XLF is on the high. So are the regionals, but they are all just gassing right here. Yeah, even 3M, they were doing good earlier. It is, it's a slower rotation out of tech into banks for now, or at least until the tech stocks report. But this was my theory coming into it, but it looks like that's what we're seeing. But dude, some of these, dude, all of the earnings got eaten up. So except for State Street, and State Street already recovered 50%, but any bank that was down is now up. So uh, like you, for the last two and a half hours, You've just get you've gotten a bank uh, bid on all the banks. No, I don't know. Bank of America is up two percent. Wells Fargo's up three percent. Goldman Sachs is up 0.8. and then J.P. Morgan is the only one that's not moving. And then regionals are really really killing it. But your big banks are still doing pretty well. Oh, City and Morgan Stanley. City's not moving. And then those are the ones who had good reports on Friday. And then Morgan Stanley's up too. I'm still in PNC. Yeah, I'm up $2 a share. All right, you're getting that red candle again. Another low on Mike. Bro, Microsoft sold off like a tenth of a percent here. It's just slowly air breaking into red. So that was your run up, but nope. <laughs> 9.13, almost an hour since zero close. 15, 17 more minutes. And then again, every hour at the end of the hour, we flushed. So let's see what happens next, okay? FRC earnings is April 24th, I believe. So I think Monday, next Monday. I 
Okay, coming back down, there's Microsoft now. Even Ronald McDonald's is down. IONM unhalted ashore. I don't have any news on that, but that's up 67%. Might get halted again. PTPI. Pink should be up at 12 Eastern. They're all doing great. They're doing great. It's weird because the reports weren't as good as Friday, but you're definitely signs of imminent crisis are not materializing on bank earnings. I think that's the uh, that's the simple way to put it. United Air, they have earnings tomorrow too. The VIX right now is at 17.35. VIX is very, very low still. Surprised it's actually up today, but overall, after last week, the VIX was getting clobbered. So 41.27, small cheek lay here. Let's see again. The low of the day is 41.24.50. You break 41.24, you open up a couple of levels. Again, 41.13 with a minor level at 41.19. KBW Bank Index turns positive, erasing day's declines. JB Hunt is right after the bell, give or take a couple of minutes. Okay, get ready for this dance. It's a big level, Habibi, big level. We've done this so many times. It's wild. This is your third time doing this. So it's either we're either going to get one of those bounces or we flush and then we hit those lower levels now and then we're back into yesterday's lows. The multi-year weekly VIX. I've never looked at it. I mean, only thing I know about the VIX is that since 2019, 2020, it's still been elevated. But I have not really looked at the weekly trend. If anything, I look at move. I, I, I don't really believe in the VIX anymore. So like I believe in the Lord, our, our, you know, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. However, my I've renounced my faith in the VIX. You know, I've converted to movism. If you're familiar, movism it was founded since the early 80s and 79s. Uh, it's, it's been a very big study of uh, market spirituality so i'm 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 def i'm a movist i've i've tra converted to movism it's way better it's way better even then dude this has been what another three four days maybe bond volatility after this week will calm back down i have an old position on end phase it's coming back i'm still down like five percent on it though Fifty shares of Myrna. Long on Chadism. Amen. Amen. PKST halt. Russia Lavrov wants conflict in Ukraine to end as soon as possible. Wells Fargo again. It's the big banks here. That's all. That's all this is. The banks are going to stop eventually today, but when the banks stop, we want to see what happens with tech. I think Amazon's Amazon's going into the low though. So Microsoft off the bottom there. Let's see if tech could really get a bounce and banks go up, we'll be good, but that's it. We need to see what happens here. Very trippy day, and then the bonds are getting absolutely murdered. 
Did you read the Bank of America's six reasons why the market will rip and be bullish? Ranging from AI push, war ending, Fed pivot. I did not. But I do, I mean, I have a bullish thesis. My bullish thesis of this year is that nothing changes and everything you expect to happen just takes an extra six to nine months to play out. And if that happens, you'll be bullish. That's it. Or you'll just stay up with a slight tilt upwards. But the idea here right now is just, I, I think there's a lot of ideas. I think anything could happen, but I think this boils down to timing. I don't think uh, most people in the market, I don't think like we're really arguing about what's good or what's bad. We're arguing on how long it's going to take to be good or bad or how long it's going to take till the next thing actually, you know, the next stage of all of it. But like, we're, like again, the best example is that it's been four months since the beginning of the year. If that doesn't freak you out, I don't know it does. Because I'm just telling you, from the end of the year expectations to starting the year, and then it all shifted, and then we had that big monster move on the market, only for us to be at the same price to throw out every single narrative and then create this brand new one in the middle of the banking stuff. It's just like, this, this shows the point that we could spend four months without anything really updating or advancing. And if that's the case, the market can hold up. That's it. You got to realize, oh, VW fairly optimistic for tax credit, but SPY is selling off right now. Goldman holds 6.3% of Unicredit as of April 5th. I don't think that's the news, but I think it's a tech stock. Amazon, Microsoft on the low. They just flushed. And again, bonds are already at the low. First quarter 08 and first quarter 01. I think they all did very good. But I think people then, I don't, I mean, I, it's hard to say. Uh, I did bring up like in 2008, they all bought the dip and that was up there. But this time around, I mean, I, I don't think we are in 2008. I think we're dealing with something more unique, but I think we're more towards stagflation. And that's why I just, I just think it's going to be a lot of time, a lot of time. And that's it. As long as if you know what's bad is going to happen, if it takes five months for that happen longer than expected, the market will be green in the meantime. And that's why I think both of the, all of these years where it's like we know there's something bad happening, as long as it doesn't materialize instantly, the markets go up until it, until it materializes and then we go down instantly. PPSI? Oh, no, that's PTPI. That's the other one. I was like, that thing bounced quick. Again, all your big tech names at the low right now. If market, no, bill should stay the same, but I'll tell you this. At the end of this month, I'm going to sell bill. I am not going to hold bill for the dividend. Let's see if anybody knows why. So this month, when we get to the top, I'm not going to hold for the dividend, and I'm going to just sh sell out and take the money off the shares. Why? Anybody know? Not the Fed meeting. Believe it or not, it's not the Fed meeting. And I hope this furthers your knowledge on the topic. Mm -mm. Well, I don't know if the rates have peaked, but some people believe that. Mm, I guess it's kind of balanced. Yeah, let me see. See, so what we got to watch out for, here's the three-month yield. So we held in March and the yields dropped, but they already made their orders a month in advance, right? Right. So the problem with next month, even though the short-term yields came back up, what we got to watch out for is that if the yields lowered in the meantime as people were getting ready, it might have an effect. So this has bounced up better than I expected. I might want to hold, but based on the volatility of short-term rates last month, you may get more volatility in the yields that are provided. So AKA the starting point might go a little lower, but after watching that chart come back up, I feel a little better. 
But the idea is, as the one to three month bond yields move, that will affect how much you yield on bill. So if those yields drop, even though, you know, everything's the same, but if people start panicking and the yields go lower and lower and lower, then that's our problem. But usually the three month stays where the Fed is at. But last month, middle of last month, it moved lower tremendously. And then now it came back up. But if the three month, one to three month bills, they go down in value, you got to be careful because it'll just change, you know, what sort of bonds they were able to buy for the ETF. Wells Fargo, I just saw them on the high. Zion, too. Remember, Zion has earnings. Well, we spent a couple of hours here so far. What are the big EPS rewards? Bank of America. That'll be a big one. Then, tomorrow. then Johnson & Johnson. Then Lockheed. Then Goldman. Those will be the big ones in the morning. Even BK, uh, I don't know. They're already down 9% right now. But those are all going to be big. But Bank of America for the banks, as well as BK and Goldman, those are two big banks tomorrow. Then Lockheed Martin for defensives. Then Johnson & Johnson, that will tell us about the consumer. Bro, Zion's ripping. Again, they have earnings this week here too. PRU pop off the top. Netflix still at the low. All I see is financial names. Capital One. Uh, Ally, DFS, again, Visa, MasterCard. They're at the lows, but they have earnings. Or AXP is today, or this week. Yeah, Zion's on Wednesday. Earnings after the bell, JB Hunt, FBK, PNFP, SFBS, CFB, and ELS. Yes, to touch 4,200. No, <laughs> I don't know. Unless all, unless you get a fat tech run up here, I don't know if we're going to go to 4,200. I mean, we're close. You got to get past 4,150 and we have to do that little dance there. But I don't, I don't know if we're going to do that today. I think tomorrow with the right earnings or any time this week with the right earnings. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know about today. Heavy police presence after report on Charleston Street in Baltimore. What's your indicator for buying stocks again versus bill? Um, it's not really just the indicator. It's just, again, how everything kind of plays out. Uh, just the broader economy and then just individual values. Like, so that's the thing. Uh, you know, like even if the world is ending, if you offer me Facebook at $50, I'm going to buy it. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't like seriously, bro. Like you mean to tell me like I turn into Kirk Cameron and like I'm in the left behind series and then the rapture happens and then I wake up and then everybody's clothes are gone and I'm freaking out. And then I, and I log into TD Ameritrade and I see that Google is going for $40. Even in the middle of the rapture, I would buy it. You So that's like the whole idea is that it's one part monitoring what's happening on the macro and the rest of the world, what it means for interest rates, bonds, all of that stuff, right? But then on the other side of the coin, I'm very individual, high quality names. It's like it doesn't matter what's happening in the in the rest of the world, 
But if those if those names get to certain values, multi year lows, pretty much is our criteria. Then I I could, and then especially if I have a lot of cash, it it makes a lot of sense to go after that. Mm. So right now it's like I mean pretty much, I mean here's the irony: how much has the S and P moved in the last three months? Because it's just like, as of now, it's, I still like a lot of things. It's not like I don't like it. It's just everything is still up so much from the January run that that's where I'm kind of like, okay, we can wait a little bit. Because I think you're up like 6 to 9% on the stock market, but you've made a decent amount holding Bill, but Bill has just not, not gone down. But I like things, but I just, I need them at better prices for the most part. Uber CNBC pump. Oh, ooh, bad. And then Spy's trying to go. Tech is playing along. So are the banks. But let's just see how long this lasts for. Tesla, everything kind of bouncing there. Even Netflix a little bit. Barking in 15. What's the reason? I would I well it came back up, but pretty much in the last month we've had a lot of interest rate volatility even on the short one. So I would just be cautious with bill this next month, but it looks like things are good because now the 3 month has came back up and then again, like I'm saying with how the 2 year reacted, that messed with some things, but I think we're going to be good. That's exactly what we've been doing the past year except it's in bill. Yeah, it is. Last year, I just I made more aggressive purchases at the beginning, but eventually, yeah, you know, if you, if you think about it, we went a good four to six months in the long term not buying anything last year, and it led to multiple 100% gainers, But and we're talking on the long term, but just last year, we didn't get dividend on it. That's it. So I, I love your mentality because I, I, you get it. That's ex it's exactly what we did yesterday, or uh, yesterday, last year, but now we're getting paid $700 a year to wait, if not more every single month. So we're going to see, bro, I'm telling you, I'm, I want to, if I'm going to start throwing everything in the bill, like I'm going to try to set it up. I want to throw in a lot. Like I want to throw in upwards of a million dollars, but uh, lending tips was telling me to keep it below 250. So I'm going to try to do the, uh, what's it called? I'm going to try to do the uh, the Anta, Anta Campumpo. I'm just going to make a bunch of 250K accounts and just throw it in bill. I'm telling dude, it's better than a rental property. I'm telling you, every 250 grand uh, that's insured, you're making 1.2K. That's like buying a house for 250,000, renting it out for 1,200, and then you don't have to deal with anybody else uh, until you find something to buy. FBI arrest two on charges tied to Chinese police outpost. Meta earnings is next month. Yeah, you would get that per month. So if you put like, again, with the big, that's why you got to realize, man, big money is being incentivized to just sit. So every 250000 you get paid $1,200 a month just sitting there uh, on any of these short-term bond plays off of, that, uh, off of that amount. So again, do the reverse it, lower it by 10 times. That means every 25000 is paying you $125 uh, a month. But again, that's that's a phenomenal yield to to like we're saying to do nothing. Well, I think we're going to keep bill, but we said with bill just watch out with rate volatility. If the rates move a lot, but depending on how low or high those rates are, because there was a lot of rate volatility in the last month, 
that could affect where Bill is going to open back up. So there was like two weeks of last month, last month and a half, where the yields dropped lower than where we were receiving, but then it came back up. So we'll be good. SpaceX targets new launch date for Viasat 3 America mission. Bro, we still haven't broken out of this. This is a joke. Not really, though, because this is what we've done all day. It's 9.30 now. You've spent an hour without a flush. You've traded within more or less more. It's like three points with give or take these two little outbursts here. Keys is on the low. So is Myrna. But get ready. I mean, it's 9.30 right now. We still have yet to move off of this, and now this is near the flush zone of Friday. It looks like a smaller version of Friday, to be honest with you. And then bonds are trying to hold. You even had a little bit of a tech bounce over the last 10 minutes here, but the market wasn't able to like break out from it. Uh, JP Morgan's starting to wake up a little bit. MTB, what's the other one? State Street. Yes, push-ups. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're live Monday through Friday, 30 minutes before open. Drop your thumbs up on the video. You're on mobile. Press hot chat. X out the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Second link for the nightly watch list and main channel. First link for the Scream Alerts boot camp and real estate course. But, ladies and gentlemen, we've been here for three and a half hours. We got three and a half hours left of the day. Sitting is the new smoking. I need you to get beside your desk and do 10 push ups. Can't do 10, you do 5. Can't do 5, you do 4. Can't do 4, you do 2. Can't do 2, you do 1. Can't do 1, get on your knees, do a push up, plank, the worm, anything. But get the body moving. Then, optometrist recommendations stare at an object 10, 20, 30 feet away. Blink a few times. Go blink, 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 Oh, it feels good. Just relax the eyeballs. Then chest to the sun. Flex the core. Tuck the hips in. Relax those shoulders. Nobody's attacking you. Why are you scrunching up your shoulders? Chest to the sun. Legs in front of you. Not wrapped behind your computer chair. Come on. You are not riding a dolphin. Why are you straddling your chair like that, bro? It's weird. You're making this mad awkward. Legs in front of you, okay? Legs in front of you. Then relax the jog. Then breathe in. Go. Breathe out with your tongue out. Do the dragon breath. Go. <sighs> oh, yes. Feels good. Uh, we have a, we have Fed Waller, I believe, today. Or is it Barkin? Fed Barkin. Fed Barkin. He was supposed to be on an hour ago, but uh, maybe it was just an hour ahead of schedule. But I do believe we are expecting it. That felt good. Good, man. Let it feel good, bro. It's, it's good for you. Just once... Bro, once an hour, just a little break, move around a little bit, like, what's the worst that happens? You feel a little refreshed, you get some blood moving, you get some oxygen to the brain. What? Come on. <sighs> oh my gosh, USB, wall, bro, there's so many regional banks on the high right now. That's all that's all I see. And then even Bank of America told you earlier JP Morgan was starting to respond. There you go. There you go. It could always be worse. Well, maybe we'll find out this earnings season. You realize that, right? So, like, this earning season has the unique ability to show you that it is worse. <laughs> so, that's the thing about this earning season is, like, yes, it could have been worse is going to be a prevailing theme with all of these earnings. However, if any of these earnings do come in bad and we do find out now, maybe tech is not as defensive as we thought, right? Or, uh, yes, we find one of these banks that is actually having a bigger problem but mainly consumer plays tech plays if we find out something about those that is actually worse we may watch that logic actually change so we're gonna see but that's something i would keep in mind uh bill i have a video on it uh we actually made it the day before the svb collapse it's on the main channel uh or you could just look into it just read their prospectus uh it's a very common thing you know 
What you want to look for is these cash alternative ETFs. You know, this one's tied to one to three month bonds, but you want it to have stability like this chart. So whatever, you know, there's many of these that exist. You could look into it, but just don't go for the ones that move like a normal stock. So this moves like a stock you've never seen before. These are the plays you want. You don't want it to go up and down intraday and, and have a daily chart that moves around. I'm not expecting anything outrageous to come out of these earnings. I think we're going to get maybe one or two things. I'm expecting one or two big surprises, but for the most part, I mean, it seems like the last three or four earnings, nothing happens. It's like you get news, you get an event, but there's no no Grim Reapers. Uh, maybe last time you had big beats with like Meta and all of that, but that's about it. Trade for Dardity, 33 months in and loving it, baby. Thanks for the priceless insight and friendships to growth and profits. Trade for Eternity, 33 months. I'm very conflicted about the rocket, but I love you. God bless you. That chat is a tough... I know, right? Exactly. See, I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're all on the same play. We're all on the same page with that one. It's very... We love you too, though, baby. God bless you. We'll see you at the peach. Mm -hmm. Oh, Apple off the bottom. That's a, that's a first decent candle I've seen on them in 45 minutes. We're going higher. I mean, VWAP has been lowered. If we could break out from here, this could be promising. But again, I don't trust any of these green candles today. I'm sure some of you may have already been traumatized. But you haven't been above here since Euro close. So five minutes after Euro close was the last time we were above 41.30. So if this actually holds, that could be decent. Love y'all. The best movement is pre-market, and it depends. That that trend has changed. So that's what we noticed at the beginning of the year. If you if you bought the open and sold the close, you did better than buying pre-market, selling the open, which there's two different strategies. Traditionally in the stock market, you're better off buying the pre-market and selling the open. You would make like 100% more than buying the open and selling the close. But as of this quarter... That has flip-flopped. We've spent one month buying the open, selling the close. The other month in volatility, we spent it. But if you bought open or pre-market and sold open, you did better. So it just it's it's a shit show right now. But it all kind of depends. I mean, if, if you could pick up on which one's working and you could pick it up when it shifts there, it's a good strategy. But till then, just, just watch out for the back and forth. Hmm. UVOY, RSLS on the high. So, dude, that one was your biggest biggest move here since zero close to the upside. RSLS, reshape life sciences, up 20. So, see what happens here. Again, you had the tech bounce, but if that doesn't hold up, we're gulagged. Mm, be honest, I think you're playing too scared. Which part? I mean, I'm ready to go, but at the same time, too, in the back of my mind, uh, one of my big strategies is I'm, you know, I did not learn all of this stuff to uh, shoot all of my ammo right before it's about to hit. You were all about Bill. Now you're selling out. Oh, I think you're. I don't know where you're at. If you're talking about Bill, then you're you're behind. Again, Bill is. I'm just teaching you how it works. Again, if it's if your return is dependent on yields, just be mindful of how the yields move ahead of every month, because that is what your return is based off of. Any why don't they have earnings? RSLS. That thing's still pumping. The bill didn't drop, but like I was saying last month, the uh, the what's it called? The uh, the yields have moved back up. Yeah, I said I was going to sell it, then we went over it, and I said I might be down to hold it, but and then again we we looked at the yields to make our decision. So whatever you think I'm scared or not scared, whatever the fuck you think it is, just I'm I'm using I'm making a decision based off of what yield is literally being offered.
So it's very, uh, what's the word, objective. So you could just follow just, again, if three-month, two-year yields go up or down, that will affect your play. You explain why people seem to be confused about Bill. Well, I think it's the easiest way. Just take a look at the chart. I mean, until I showed you this, how many of you, how many of you even knew these stocks existed? Have you ever seen a stock move like this? So I think just a lot of people don't understand why it moves like that. They don't under, you know, it's easy to view this as a stock play, but it's not really a stock play. So I think that's why it gets so confusing. And then people are wondering, you know, they're like, wait, why are you buying a stock? But it's not a stock. And then why, wait, what happens with the price? And then why does it reset? So it's a little weird. My bond is doing decent. We're going to make about $10 after fees and margin cuz I'm going to walk away with 3 bucks. See, we got 7 bucks. It matures in 8 days. It'll be like $10 gain and then that's it. After you present it, I see it all over Twitter. I, that's what I said in the video. I just said, Chad, I'm telling you this now. And I said, watch, this will be one of the more popular trades of the year. Just get ready for everybody to talk about it. But the idea, it makes sense. Again, money markets, cash funds, it's, it's been a record. More people are running into these plays than even in 2020 during the pandemic. CTLT on the high, Catalan, they had news the other day. Mm, all right, is this going to work? Is this going to work? Highest we've been. Your play is uh your play is only down 17 bucks on the MES now. So we're, we're honestly not that far off the morning, but we've just been trapped for so long. Why not sell secured puts on something like Altria instead of buying bill and bonds? It's very, because it's very hard to find an alternative that matches with the same risk to reward. You got to realize my risk is zero. Zero to make 5%. So realistically, you got to be able to offer me 5% of my money with a very minimal chance of me losing money. Every other strategy involves putting up capital. Again, I could make more, I could make 5% on a day trade. You know what I'm saying? We can make that and you don't have to even wait a year. You can make that in a week. But the point, I could also lose 20% if the volatility in earnings plays a certain way. So it's just like, you have to really ask yourself that. Yeah, opportunity cost. Amen. That's what I was saying. So take a look. The last three year, three months of this year, I mean, you've went up about 9%, right? In three months. That's 3% a month. I've been paid out like 1.5% in those three months would be your equivalent. So, but then again, that's three months right here. A month ago, you were, neg you were break even, right? And then a month later, you're now back up. So I was able to, we're still, we're trailing behind the S&P is that's the whole idea is that month over month, wherever the S&P ends, as long as we keep getting that yield, we're trailing right behind it. And then if the S&P goes down and then you have no risk and then you've got the yields, you know, all it takes is one bad move and then there you go. And then guess what happens? If everything goes good, we're making 5%. This is what I was saying the other day, like with this earnings season, it's very simple. If I'm buying bill, all of the earnings ends up good and then the stock market rips. Oh no, we have 10% of our cash getting 5%. Josh, what are you going to do? You are, the FOMO is real. You are missing out now. Josh, how do you feel? Ah, what happens in that scenario? Anybody? Anybody? Let's see. You know, you know. You know, we don't sell it. Who cares? Again, the whole idea is 
we have a way to track the market, maybe even outperform it just on the cash yield, even if the market runs on us and then there's no point of return to get a better price, guess what just happened? If we, if we don't maximize our cash position, so if that 10% of cash getting 5%, if that doesn't turn into us getting another round of 50% discounts and the market runs, all that means is the other 90% of our portfolio is going to the moon. Ta-da! Do you feel me on this? No? Are you with me? That's the whole logic. We have something that could zero risk, make money. It's a good alternative. The opportunity cost isn't that bad. And then if the market runs, it's like, oh, you're going to miss out. It's like, no, I'm not. Because we have the whole 90% is ready to go in growth and dividends. And we even have gains. And we have low pickups in October. You see what I'm saying? So it's great. And then I'll still make 5% on that amount. And we still have cash for anything else. So if it does rip, it would suck if we missed out on anything. But the rest of your portfolio is going to go up 10, 20%. And then if it comes down, then we're ready to buy everything at a discount while getting yield. Load up on Bill. If you could make it make sense how I just explained to you. you, you right? You need your strategy. Hopefully you have the rest of your portfolio. In my mind even without att attaching it to the long term, the simple logic for me is that no risk, 5% until uncertainty disappears. I would rather get a certain 5% until I have no certainty to go into to equities or anything else like that. So here is the bill video. The first one right here, the safest investment you can make in 2023. We made this a month ago. Ah. Parkin says he's reassured by what he's seeing in the banking sector. Yeah, Richmond Fed president speaks at event. He says he's reassured, never wants to declare victory on potential bank strain. U.S. must continually earn dollar reserve currency status. Man, what is he saying? He's fueling up all the brick talk. <laughs> Barkin, U.S. must continually earn dollar reserve status. Oh, so we just hit that high of the hour. Came right back down to where you started Euro close. RSLS, that life sciences name, that keeps going. I turned off the drip on, on Bill, but you could turn it on. It's up to you. I just prefer it off, even though I've, I did roll over into it. But it was just easy to do it without it. Lots of chop, Habibi. I think we just, you need banks to hold up and then you need tech to actually get a run. But then again, the, the rest of the market is all over the place. Tesla is running a little bit. Fed Barkin never wanted to declare victory over potential bank strain. Barkin's now. We just got headlines from him, three different headlines. We'll hear more, but he didn't really move the market too much. Again, he's not a voter. He is an alternate member. Microsoft taking a candle now. Again, Tesla was trying to work up there. So was Apple. Amazon, Apple, they all took candles here. Like I said, you need tech to play along, it seems like. Hasbro, another high. That thing keeps ripping.
Meta Climbing, any weekend tin, just Ultra. Pretty much Ultra is tied to the Budweiser thing because they own a stake in AB InBev. Mm. Myrna Green. A little bit. Again, Myrna sold off. They had a lot of key true to news. Spy catching a red cheek lay, though. So watch out. Yeah, Myrna's down to 144. It's bad for Altria, but they're um, surprisingly, it's doing good. I don't know if people have connected the dots yet, but they have a big stake in AB InBev, and if that doesn't do good for them, that could hurt them. So if Budweiser does bad, if the recent drama hurts them more, I mean, there could be a potential effect on Altria. PMG. It was a good short last earnings, and then it eventually came back when we, because I played it long, and then it sold off, and then it came. It could be a good one, though. Moves a decent amount. That's going to be big. Procter Gamble, J&J &J tomorrow. So Microsoft's holding on a little bit here. IVDA, Avedia Solutions, up 14. Netflix trying to get there. Mobile Eye on the high. Meta short. Meta was, I'm actually kind of down to short meta, but remember last time I shorted it, it was expensive. Actually, but I don't know. Because that they're either going to go to 260 or they are going to, to 150. That's kind of the way I'm breaking it down for meta. And they report before Snapchat. So take that as you please. And then JP, I can't believe JPM's already back to 140. So JPM, it's as if the banking crisis didn't even happen. So again, they're back up to the March highs. MDB pop in, short and end phase. Mm. When do we get our drip? Oh, the end of the month. Oh, I think Meta will beat because the 600 mil they made on the very... Yeah, you're right. And they had a lot of cost cutting. But then again, if Zuckerberg wanted to spend another $5 billion, the thing's done. Bond's been clapped. I'm down 30%. Yeah, bro, they got fucked. So, like, that's why I'm, the bond market is really weird. So I'm glad we sold out the TYD there. But like I was saying, it's like, I believe in long bonds. I just don't believe in the time. So like, I, I agree with you. I, anybody saying long bonds, I think it's going to be the play of the year. Uh, but it may happen next year or it may happen randomly this year. But the point is the timing, it could still move so big in the meantime that even if you know what's going to happen, it's still going to move insane. So it's, it's really just coming down to the timing now. And that's why that's why I'm thinking short it a little bit, let the curve invert a little bit, and then we'll get another in, uninversion, and then we'll play it a couple of times. Same thing with the yen too. I think after the yen sells off, we will get our buying opportunity very soon. I just needed a. I want it a little lower than here. Then it's game time. Your love and compassion helped me to give the same to the blank who broke up with me. Thank you, Josh. It's okay. It's okay. You did the right thing, baby. You did the right thing. That's it. That's all you got to worry about. We got another breakup in the chat, everybody. Let's go send your gym gloves his way. Yeah, I said we got we have a full workout plan for you. You know that? You're not the first Chad who has gone through a bad relationship, okay? We have everything ready for you. We're going to start motivating you to get into the gym. We're going to tell you about 10% in the long term. Might I remind you what you should do today? 
on the first day of having your relationship ended, I would like you to go out to eat by yourself. And I want you to go to Chick-fil-A and I want you to order something, okay? And then I want you to pay for it. And then I want you to notice how much money you just saved by eating by yourself. Look at that, boom. Oh, you look at you, your income just went up 50%. You don't realize it yet. So it's okay, man. It's good. As long as you, you, you had love and affection, that's great. That's beautiful. But now we got to get you in the gym. You should be going three to five times a week. Uh, you are not exempt from Friday and Saturday. Actually, now that you are not in the relationship, Friday and Saturday gym days, that is exclusively for you. And that's, that's where the best gains happen. And that's what I'm telling you. Those are the days you're going to wake up all sad. You're going to be in your car just all thinking about life and memories and shit. Fuck all that, okay? I need you to down two shots of pre-workout, get in the gym on a Saturday morning. Boom, you're going to be good to go, okay? You know, get that going for like two, three weeks. Check in with me, and then we'll help you set up your dating profile. Okay, I got you, bro. Let's go, Ben. Let's go. I got Don't worry. We've done. We've got you on it. It's fine. So oh, I better get that 10%, 10%. Now you have no excuses. Now you got no excuses. Mm-hmm. So yeah, oh yeah, that's another one. Stay off of her social media and don't post anything on social media, okay, Ben? If I go to your story and I click on that shit and it's like, oh yeah, well, the right one for the right time in the moment. Nah, fuck out of here. You better have no, I don't want to see no little meme quotes at all in reference to any of it, okay? I need, you should, you should be posting you at Coachella, even if you didn't go. I want you to make a fake Coachella. I want you to stand outside in your backyard. I want you to get like little neon lights and put it on the ground and just start playing the speakers, you know what I'm saying? And just show your feet with like dirt and neon lights and be like, Coachella 23 was so sick. I love, you know what I'm saying? You're not doing it, but that's, that's the only thing I could let you do. That's the only thing I could let you do. Mm-hmm. I'm just helping out a brother, man. I'm just here to help out a brother. You know, he's not the only one we've, we've, you know, with many years in the chat, I've got, I've got to grow very close with a lot of you. Sadly, I've outlasted some of your guys's relationships, but that's okay. You've, uh, I've, you, I've known you guys longer than my current girlfriend. So I, I remind her that too. When she tells me, she's like, get off stream. I'm like, I've known him longer than you. And then it gets really awkwardly silent and we stare at each other. And then we have a blinking contest. But anyways, so the whole, you know, we've been there. We've been here with the chat. So, you know, we got your back. But, you know, hopefully you stay focused and don't let uh, the challenges of life derail you from your bigger goal and your finances and your 10%. Amen, amen. Mm-hmm. Mm. Reasons why we love you. Well, I love you guys, man. Let's go. Let's go, man. My breakup, I ended up here, honestly. Worked out for the better. Worked out for the better. Now you got a long term. You got a long term in a three year batch. Well, cause whew, God is good. God is good. You say more than 70%? Dang. Is that was that because of the relationship? 70%? Damn, I don't even want to look anymore. I'd notice anytime I'm just not with my girlfriend and I eat and I get food, I just, I save dramatic. It's dramatic. FDA approves Gamita Cell LTD Omish Shredge, GMDA. GMDA, it's on the high right now. FDA just approved them. Um, what the hell is a GMDA? For patients with blood cancers to reduce cancer following cell trans transplant. Is it halted? Damn. Is it halted or no? Yeah, Gamita. I think it's halted. No, Gamita. Sounds like MDMA, but it's Gamita, not MDMA. Oh, you got in? Good work. Nice. That's probably, I think it'll gap up to like 130 probably. I mean, everybody's been running biotechs today and this one just got an FDA approval. It seems decent. I don't know anything about their pipeline. 
Uh, but blood cancer to reduce risk. Cell therapies. They're in Jerusalem, Illinois. Let's see their website. Pipeline. Pipeline me. Pipeline. Oh, wow. So that's their first F. That could be big. That's their only drug that's approved right now. Apple, they could have a share offering. I don't, I mean, that's what happens usually. It's already up 39%. H Gen, first drug in 30 years of its kind, apparently. It's, that's what I'm saying. It sounds big. I mean, cancer for transplants or reduces that. It's their only drug that's approved right now. It seems like they have three other drugs, but it's it's actually quite interesting. Super new. Is it be typical to be stuck? Typical for stocks to go up and not go up? It'll go up again in like two or three weeks. But that's like, so those stocks like POAI, the hype plays, you got to be careful. You're either going to hit them or you're not. If you get stuck holding, that's what they call the bag hold. And then sometimes if the hype is big enough, it'll it'll continue. But those are the those plays are you have to be careful of because if it's like it runs up 30, 40, 50 percent, it's based on momentum and hype. Those are the plays that are they'll be very, very active and then it'll die out. And then maybe two, three weeks later, you need another round of hype. But then it depends on where the price is at. AXSM on the high. Spy's coming down here too. I don't know. Bro, this is such a shitty day. Man, we've been here this whole time. Bro, since 7, 8, 8.30 to now 10.07, probably 10.30, it looks like we're going to be at the same spot. Amazon... Doc Martin, CFO to retire. Five thousand Uber thirty five calls open. That's not bad. Edible E D B L on the high. Is that edible arrangements? Yeah, or edible garden? They're fifteen percent. Next hype play I could bag hold till zero. Either AI or biotechs right now. Or just all in on earnings. Meta both ways. Not a recommendation. But I just gave you everything you're looking for with that type of attitude. So those are, so you have your moments right, they're right around the corner. Are you going to do it or not? Or are you going to, those, those three things right there, AI, biotechs, meta earnings, both ways. That's it. You'll get, you'll get as much hype as you need for the next two weeks. Three M decent cheek lay, edible still. Oh uh, yeah, three M hit even one hundred seven today. MPW is coming down. Boom. Top tick, Josh. I grabbed G Grandma GMDA five hundred shares at a dollar twenty two. I wanted a thousand, but I said we'll see till we'll see what happens afterwards. I, I like it for now. That one's a hype biotech play, but they got approval. Mm. 
uh, GMDA. So it's literally right at the price. I got in at 122. And then it was at a dollar. I think it halted at what, like 112? Yeah. So it was already up 40%. That's why I kept it small. It's 500 bucks, $600. It is on T. I mean, I I played it on TD Ameritrade. Microsoft still trying to fight. So Tesla's in the green again. That's decent. Mm. All right, watch if this breaks. But you've got tech playing along. I mean, we're still at the danger zone. You've been in the danger zone for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. I think in 20 minutes, if we're still here, this is fully the danger zone. PRST on the high. Now we're already down 17%. Now it's coming back up on the GMDA. Let's see, and then SPY still holding. What's PRST? Press. Oh, this is the automation one. I think this one's related to AI. BA, it's AI for fast food ordering. Yeah, BBA, a lot of the AI plays have been good. Ours sucked, and my season ain't get shit. See if the spy holds shop one more time. Okay, wait for it. Let's see if that holds Dream 91. What's that mean? Oh, no. Apple's making a move again. We'll see if the spy goes. Okay, I added another 500 shares at 98 cents on Gimda. Gimda. That's fun to say. Uh, I'm holding a cat still. Yeah, it's coming up a little bit. So we'll see. Gimda. My average is 110. So pretty much right where it got halted. But we'll see. Oh, it's a thousand bucks total. Brazil to announce credit measures this week. Again, Apple, Microsoft are moving. Even Target's trying to break out here now. EA is on the high. Nvidia. Amazon. Everything is still staying pinned here. 
back to 4130. Your high of the last two hours is 4131 or 4132. We need to get above there or nothing is going to happen. Majority leader Chuck Schumer speaks to reporters, says if McCarthy continues in this direction, we are headed towards a default. Uh-oh, hot dog. MDB still going up now. Chuck Schumer speaking to reporters. All right. Did I already miss my bathroom breaks? I did. Chad, I got to go pee and get a carbo. It's already 10. 10, 15, man. We got two hours, 15 minutes left or 45 minutes. Very, very good. Very, very good. We're going to see, baby. We're going to see. Dream 91, the biggest podcast in San Antonio. Oh, you didn't tell me that, baby. What's up, Dream? Show me some love, baby. I mean, love. Y'all got long terms? I got to go pee, though. I'll be right back. I love you. God bless you. Shout out anybody showing love, man. It's a beautiful day to have a beautiful day. Welcome to earnings season. I will be right back. I will be right back. Young fund ETFs. Let's oh, also yeah. talk about Bitcoin because why not? You're seeing a little bit of a race launch here. You can see that three issuers in about three weeks have filed for leverage Bitcoin futures ETFs. These would be two times the performance of an index of Bitcoin futures. Shanali, I feel like we've been here before. We have certainly been here before. They can't get a spot. ETF done. So mm -hmm. why not lever up the existing ones? Yeah, why not? Or at least let's try. Let's talk about this now with Bloomberg's Vildana Hyrick joining us on set. Vildana, we've seen issuers try to file for these products before and then ultimately withdraw those filings. Why would this time be different? That's a really good question. I'm just thinking about how you just, like a professional said, three <laughs> times leveraged Bitcoin futures ETF. Say that like 10 times fast. It's impossible. <laughs> but at the Filings are landing at a really good time, so it's really, really difficult to actually time these things so precisely. Obviously, these applications have been in the work for months or for however long, but they're coming at a time when cryptocurrency prices are rallying. So there's new excitement that's been building around cryptocurrencies over the last couple of months just because prices have been rallying so much. Bitcoin started around 16600 at the start of the year. Right now, it's hovering around $30,000. So, you know, when strategists or analysts or whoever is looking at this, they're thinking, okay, the timing around this is looking pretty good. I think the question with Bitcoin is always, do you buy Bitcoin? Do you buy a product around Bitcoin? How do the futures products do in an ETF form relative to what we've seen people trade in other fashions? Yeah, so we have the Bitcoin futures ETF that's been around since October 2021. That caused a lot of excitement when those first came out. And Katie and I have written about this in the past. It actually, the, the products have been tracking the price of Bitcoin very closely. So there had been worries that there would be sort of, you know, a gap between what, how those ETFs actually perform and how Bitcoin performs, but they've actually been tracking pretty closely. This obviously is very different. It's like a, a super juiced Double up. Yeah. Return. Exactly, <laughs> but we do have to remember because crypto prices have been rallying so much this year, crypto ETFs are actually the top performing ETFs out of the U.S. equities ETFs universe. Right. Well, that's the thing. You can see number two on that list is the Vanek Digital Mi Asset Mining ETF. That's actually shutting down. It's closing. That's Why? right. It was up something like 120, 130 percent for the year. But there's been so little follow through in terms of flows. So each of these top performing Bitcoin, uh, you know, Bitcoin centric Bitcoin. or crypto centric uh, equity. It was crazy. Bitcoin ETFs are the best ETFs this year. Ay, ay, ay. Barkin says economy operating just fine at current levels of rates. <clears throat> well, there's restoration. Schumer cut should be a part of budget talks, not debt limit. And then that was a decent rally, man. That's the closest we've been to VWAP in a couple of hours. Again, it's almost been a two full hours and you went right above the Euro close level. So I don't know. I don't know how you feel. My average on Gimda is 110 on a thousand shares. But what a wild day. And then your MES is only down $16, Chad. $16 from the open. 
So again, this is the opening candle. I mean, technically, you're a third of a point away. Crow gave you PSRT at 360. You said CFRX2. GG. That's why we got you got to post them on the members thing so we could get them linked in there. But hopefully you ate good off of it. Which drive time 450 million in sub auto, subprime auto ABS. DNSP. Appel. Tesla's barely green. FRC is on the high. I forgot about all the regionals. They were just going crazy. Again, Schwab, State. I think all of them are up, give or take. Bank of America is even into the high. JP Morgan. Again, Goldman and Bank of America tomorrow morning. Uh, Restoration's coming back up here. TTD. Remember, solar plays were leading. Bonds are coming back lower again. Well, let's see if you can make it above VWAP and get past this levels. I mean, you're you're right at open if we get here. I mean, Dow is still red. Everything's still red. But SPY is only down 0.13. And NASDAQ is down 0.19. Meta flip. Well, Gimda just staying pinned. Puts here at VWAP. Maybe before, I feel like if we drop even ahead of VWAP, It'll be more violent, but unfortunately, I mean, today has been a very weird day in the sense that if you try to trade any of these moves, I mean, you've kind of been stuck. So I just, I don't think you could trust any green or red candles here for the most part. It's like a slight downtrend, but like we said, you're very close to, to coming neutral right now. But we will see. And then what is volume at? 30 million by our number, what, four almost? MYMD Alzheimer's patent? Oh. My Mind Pharma? MYMD? Yeah, they had an 8K. They had a phase two. They gave update on phase two trials. Delayed aging. Let me see what else they have. MYMD. No, I don't think this is the shroom one. They have a lot of different drugs that they offer. I'm trying to see their... Let's go to their pipeline. What's this? Hmm. So it's a patent for... What's it called? But it's not a... It's not one of their drug approvals. Interesting. MYMD? But they don't even have an Alzheimer's drug in their pipeline. Very interesting. Let that go up a little bit. Suave on the high. Um, Gimda. Again, that's MYMD. They just got some Alzheimer's patent, but they don't have any Alzheimer's drugs. Synthetic cannabinoid compounds for epilepsy, addiction, and Alzheimer's disease. Hmm. That sounds like GWPH from back in the day. That one's very interesting. That one could be very good or it could be a dud. But it just doesn't seem relevant to what they do. Uh, jazz has something to do with pot as well. And then Spy's coming back down here again. A couple of names are still at the high. I mean, it's it's a very weird. So like short-term velocity on the low ticker is increasing. The last five minutes of the high ticker has been up. So very weird move here, but we were just we're getting the cat dog in full effect. And 
NVIDIA and chips still not doing too good. Where is Bidunius? No, oh, they came up a little bit. MYMD. Love is on the high. That's great. Love sack. PKST. A bunch of other hype plays. Peak Stone Realty. Oh, they're up 52%. My goodness. Let's go back to the banks. They're all killing it. Rite Aid's even on the high. EY to cut 3,000 jobs in the U.S. to eliminate overcapacity. Schumer plans to put forth resolution on Feinstein this week. Uh, Tesla candles, getting some, re man, we're back here. We're back to the gulag. <laughs> so again, that was your highest point in like two hours, bro. Highest point in two hours and it flips. CFRX, they're back on the high. That's a 20 cent pop, 30 cent pop. CFRX, Contrafec, 337%. They're going insane. Nah, but we're just back. I mean, Rite Aid's on the high too. There's still stuff moving. Rite Aid's actually moving quite decent. Rite Aid's getting some big candles. And then Schumer, where to get you that news. This is just like you're right back to the same level. This is like it's just like a chopped up, slowed, chopped and screwed version of Friday with a way tighter range. I did not short McDonald's yet, no. Mm. That's loud. Oh, Netflix came up a little bit and then dropped. Yeah, Love Sack is on the high. Yeah, Tesla, we're going to see, though. Depending on the shares tomorrow, we're going to finalize that. Or by way of two, we have to Wednesday. McDonald's brings back an old favorite to promote burger changes. They're bringing back the bur the hamburglar to help promote minor changes to the recipes for some of their burger offerings. The hamburglar is a classic mascot of the fast food chain, second only to Ronald McDonald in their newest TV commercials. Wow. Yeah, EY to cut 3,000 jobs. The Hamburglar. They, that's the headline came across. Again, Tesla is selling here now. Last couple of minutes. Same thing with Microsoft. They're coming back towards the lows. Apple, they don't look as weak, but Microsoft and Tesla, they do not look too hot. And then Amazon, they're actually holding up a little bit better. I think Google is going to be the bounce. Could be, but that new, that news today was really bad for them. That Samsung would take them off of their phones as the official search. That's not good at all. I thought Ernest Young was publicly traded. They're not. So we're bouncing up here a little bit again. I'd watch the big tech names because that's you need big tech to really get it back up here. It looks like 
Otherwise, you have banks and everything working. Real estate's number one. Industrials are number two. Financials, number three. And then communications and energy are the worst on the day. Take two decent candle. Uh, decent pop and bond volume. Bro, Suave is at 267. That thing's insane. I need a blast pad. You need big tech. That's it. I mean, even then, some like Microsoft is still green, but you have a fat rally in banks and you have discretionaries and staples up right now. I mean, we're still pretty high up. Uh, that's why I don't think we're like dying, dying, but it's like you do need tech. Tech is just not giving to you really what you want, but it could be the awkward start to earnings again. A little bit of fear, a little bit of rotation out of the out of the banks or into the banks out of tech. Google Pop, Bank of America, and Microsoft. I think Microsoft, just typical FANG. You need those to run. Netflix, that's the price we did the second average at. What is it? Very, very, very tight Monday, to say the least. But welcome to earnings. Welcome to earnings. Again, you're going to get a couple of earnings after the bell. They won't matter. But then the earnings tomorrow, Bank of America... Goldman Sachs, Lockheed Martin, Johnson & Johnson. Those are going to give you a little update on the economy. And then people will react to that. And then the second half of tomorrow, we'll be preparing for Netflix earnings. And then after Netflix, we're going to respond to tech on the next day. And then the next day, you get Tesla and a bunch of other names as well too. But in the meantime, we said it in the morning, just don't forget how the market moves leading into earnings. I definitely think that's just a, a good reminder to have. I think China names are coming up a little bit. How does it move before earnings? Who? Every company is different. Usually, I mean, <laughs> you're going to hate this. It's either three things, nothing, it goes up or it goes down. There's usually the pre-earnings run. I'd say more often than not, it leans towards positive, where the stocks usually go up into the earnings and then they sell it off. But it, it depends on one, the market, as well as the company itself, and then any other sympathies that get the related company moving ahead of their earnings. So Bank of America at the high, dude, we're right here at the level, right below VWAP, but ironic, not ironically, not ironically enough, we slowed down, but this is the high. This is the low from the first flush of the morning. This is the high after flushing Europe close, and then we haven't been above this level in the last like two hours and change. KRTX, JP Morgan's coming up, Baidu's even working its way up. Yeah, Karuna Therapeutics up seven. That could be sympathy to RXDX, I think. GMDA, look at the whole company's buys. Let's see. Um... They all got a grant on February 8th. That was two months ago. So yeah, there's like 12 different people. They bought a net total of 500,000, but it was all a grant. So this was based off of a filing. Let me see why. It, well, 33 RSUs in August. Let's say it's not based on anything else though. So if anything, they have a lot of shares they could dump. 
but that was just like a, I don't know if it was linked to performance or like approval, but it was just the, looks like the company's pay plan. And then it paid them out in February. That was about it. Other than that, the only other insider purchase on Gimda was November 22nd. Mm. Let me see if I could get you anything else. No, nobody even trades this thing. There's not even any like real big moves as of late. Looks like the spy it just looked like it's running out of momentum as we climb up here. It just sucks because you have the banks going up, but this just supports my theory that people are buying and holding the banks and then they're selling everything else. But not to the scale to where we're dumping, but just so where we're getting this weird push pull. I mean, ever since this low, though, we haven't hit a new low. But then granted, I mean, you have been setting new highs, but it just it's just so slow. Mm. Biotech season is wild. It was ASND. McRib chilled out. And then we have Ionis. These are all Padufas this month. All right, kind of coming down here a little bit. MCI on the low. What's that? That's M&T Bank? MCI. Vincerx Pharma presents preclinical data, novel small molecule drug conjugates at AACR meeting, VINC. Bro, it's such a filled biotech month. PRST, you pull big and wait till after hours. Just up 230. Those are the ones, like that was like IDIA, just play it the next day when it comes down and then if it still continues, but that's a lot. CLSK new high. And then markets still kind of hold in. Microsoft still at the bottom. Still green somehow. Microsoft has not gone red once today. Forty-one thirty. All you have, you've had this line drawn out here since the morning. So since about what? 8.53? Ay, ay, ay. So that's where your two little cells are right here. 41.60. I think there's even a order at 4170. But again, momentum is just calming down. Bonds are catching a bid, but I think you need big tech to play it. I don't have a McDonald's short, but we were talking about it in the morning. I mean, like I remember the first time I said it, I said it's either going to go to 300 or come back down. So now you're only $10 away from 300. CMG short. State Street now. Dude, if State Street goes positive, I'm a freak. That was down 17% in the morning. Regional bank. Now it's still down 10, but you know, you don't you don't have the panic fear hitting again. Netty's on the high. Watch any of the other China plays. Again, banks and straight State Street are going up.
Okay, there's Jimda. Gimda getting back to our level. I'm up from the average down, but first purchase was 120, 122. Nah, Rita, let's see if Rita sells off. If Rita could sell off, maybe we buy back into it, but that is held up stubbornly well. NXPI is on the high. Man, more chips. State Street again. My goodness. There's PNC. Bro, we're just holding. Come on. Oh, you're getting a little bit of bid support within three points, but should get interesting up here. Maybe we'll get a bigger move than not. Yeah, Gimda came back up. I'm positive on it. I'm just hope I want it to just break out. I want to see, but we'll ride it for now. You should have 10% after the average down break even on the on the top tick. Google, I think it depends on the headlines, but more specifically their earnings. So they just they just got knocked with bad news today. Then when that was very bad news, we've even talked about it. I remember remember I told you guys that in the beginning when everybody was worried about Google search and we were talking about how there might be a battle over Bing and Apple and whoever gets the search. It was just with Samsung instead of Apple, but that's a, a really big deal for them. Uh, Spy got a red after there. Can I make another Bloomberg? Yeah, we can. I mean, it's not. It's just one thing. I don't like the... If they don't like me, they don't like me, man. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to get one, but... Uh, it's not as if like we need it in the sense that it just makes my life easier. That's all it is. Like every single piece of information I've ever showed you is all accessible without it. Uh, you could find all this info super, super easy. I wouldn't say easy, uh, but it just takes more. Like, like I said, it just it makes my life easier having it all in one place. Well, I think we'll be good. Gimda, I know. What, you just had 30% and then just fat sell-off there? They, they trying to keep it down? What the hell just happened with Gimda? Welcome to the small caps, ladies and gentlemen. Even Amazon took even Amazon, Microsoft. Microsoft held up a little better on that. A couple medical supply plays are moving bigger. Oh, it's nasty on Gim does. Good volume though, at least the volume comes in, but I mean, they, that thing just dropped 29% in two minutes. <laughs> and then chip makers are showing a little bit of weakness here. So get ready. T-H-A-M-O, Thermo. Thermogenesis up 15. Again, another biotech play running. Oh, there's another headline on F on Gim Gimda. Yeah, FDA approves Gamita's cell omasurge cell therapy. What dropped uh, Gimda, G-M-D-A, J-M-D-A. And then we're coming back down. That was our, the closest we've been to testing VWAP. I don't like this because whenever we do have a, we haven't had a big flush all day today. I don't even think these were big. I feel like if we, we're either going to have the biggest, stupidest green candle by the end of the day, or we're going to have a nasty flush to 4,100. 
Unless we absolutely do nothing, but we have held this so tightly. It was very tight with very minimal moves if you look at the, the grand scope of today. State Street coming back up there again. Market goes lower. Regional banks go higher. That seems to be the story of the day today. CLSK. Uh, Baidu's holding up a little bit. We'll come back to Gimda. WTI's down 4.3, really? AI run the hardest and less scammy. I don't know about the last part. I think they could run hard. I mean, biotechs and AI, I think they're kind of doing their thing. But just keep in mind, like, remember last Friday when we made the video and we made those AI plays or last Thursday? Since then, three of those companies, I, I believe, I know at least two of them, have already done follow-on offerings. So, and that's the thing. Most of the AI plays, they're based off of nothing it's just getting involved in this industry whereas the biotechs you're either going to get dumped on by dilution or it's people bidding up an event catalyst and getting there so i think they're all I, I think any play that is hype related just know what you're getting into i think they all kind of everything possesses a high level of scammy right now but i don't think the ais offer pretty much better relative safety i, I think it's just all the same key yep key is on the high key corp are they a bank they are interesting epam on the low spy still trying to work its way up here but I would just watch the big tech names. I heard some of the AI rap songs. I heard that Drake one. It was pretty cool, but it was just weird. Just AI. <laughs> it sounded legit, though. Monster rally or monster drop. Again, I'm really, I don't know. Does this setup, does this make you feel stable? For me, it makes me feel like something's going to happen. You're either going to, like I said, either fat green by the end of the day or a fat flush, but today, especially for a Monday, I mean, we're starting off pretty nothing-wise right now, <laughs> so where it goes from here, I mean, if this was comparable to last week, I mean, we, we really haven't had a big move today, that's kind of what I'm what I'm waiting for, remember, like, yeah, Friday was a big move in the open, big move at the end, reaction to the data, then you had follow-through, then it calmed down, today, it's been like little moves that kind of looked big, but overall, I mean, we're, we're still hugging uh, no more than a quarter percent either direction. I feel sound and resilient. Quick, Q-U-I-K. Quick logic. They're up 8%, starting to get some volume here. No idea what it is. Another headline on Gamita. Dow Jones, they're just putting out the headline. FDA approves them. No reverse repo bids. And then I don't have anything on quick. Quick logic. Yeah, nothing on quick. The VIX still green. It was green all day today. It might go negative, though. Just depends on how we move. Oh, my.
Microsoft. We are still in the hands of Microsoft and Apple. He got the whole world in his earnings. Got the whole world looking at earnings. Tiva breaks 845. I think there was news on Tiva. MRTX, IBTX, those all sound like bios on the high ticker. My goodness. Every bank, dude. Every bank. STT seemed like a buy the dip stock. It just seemed bad, though, because the idea with STT is just like down 17% in the morning. And then uh, there was a what's it called? Down 17% in the morning and being a regional bank deposits down 30% or that was Schwab, but it's just like, whoa. So like it seemed bad, but people did buy it. Police chasing Cali, ABC. I'm down. Honestly, I, I saw a clip yesterday of some guy who was streaming and it was like that guy case to not. And then there was a police chase and then they were watching it. And then the guy getting chased by the cops was watching their stream. So it's honestly something I wish happens, but I don't want it to. I wish we could be streaming and then the guy <laughs> is watching the stream and then we tell him where to go and then we trap him. And I'll be like, you better, you got, you got better donate, but you better like the video. I'll get you out of this situation. What? So we can watch it. I mean, what happens whenever the police chase stops, the market goes up. You'd be Jeep Cherokee. So maybe it's not likely, but certainly it's a possibility, especially when you start accelerating like he did up on the, up on the, the, the slope there. Oh, yeah. yeah, no doubt. It certainly shows that um, we believe it's a male. Uh, from what we could tell, it appeared to be, but we didn't get confirmation of that. True. Uh, but certainly they're desperate oh. to get away, Philip, and that's what makes these things so dangerous. Now back onto the freeway, and you see a lot of movement inside there also. I can't tell. You might be able to tell. Say 74 more, miles an uh, hour? Like a man than a woman. I couldn't really tell. Bro, but who's this car going just as fast as it? Packing off. That's crazy. Scott, I'm break Welcome to Cali. We're going to break into television here real quick. He's quickly. barely getting in front of this guy. Actually, this guy thinks he's good racing. Good morning him. to you. This is. Um... All right, State Street got a red candle. Watch if any of the banks sell off here. Good morning, I'm Philip Palmer, along with Scott Reif. We are breaking into coverage this morning a little bit before Eyewitness News at 11 a.m. with a police pursuit southbound. Uh, and this is on the 405. Scott Reif, uh, we've watched uh, just in the last few minutes as this person who is eluding Ooh! authorities has started to that take some real aggressive action. This is more exciting than the market until we flush or pump. Yeah, we see the speeds go up, too. I think we're going to get 100 miles an hour here real soon. We're on the 405 south in the Van Nuys area. Up ahead. All right, I'm going to go pee. You guys can keep watching this. Traffic, so, so Follow me on Instagram at the Trading Fraternity. I love high you. High rate of speed without hitting anything that would slow him down. As you mentioned, it's going to be difficult for anyone out on the freeway to even know this is a pursuit. I'm going to open up out of the shop for just a moment. They did back off and went to surveillance mode, meaning only only a helicopter overhead to track the vehicle, and it looks like that's still the case. We did hear some information they may re-engage, but we're not seeing that quite yet. Uh, but the suspect will be able to continue on the 405 freeway until he gets up into the Sepulveda Pass, where he start to see some moderate traffic that could slow him down a bit. As far as how dangerous it is on the on the freeways, this helps a bit, uh, Philip, when you don't have a lot of volume and you see a suspect doing, you know, 75, 80, which is maybe only 10 miles an hour or so over the flow of traffic. Uh, this time of the afternoon. So uh, we, when we watch these things, we certainly uh, want them to stay in the type of mode where nobody gets hurt or it's not a danger to everyone. Uh, we did see an erratic move there, though, and how desperate the suspect was when he got off onto Roscoe from the 45 South. Uh, for now, though, Philip content to just stay in the center lane just a little bit faster than the flow of traffic. Well, and to let everybody know as we just go on to television what's been happening here, because some of this has been uh, on our uh, streaming channel. We've been talking about this for a few minutes now. Uh, this suspect, we believe the reports are that they, they ran over the foot of a sheriff's deputy during a traffic stop. And so that deputy was injured 
And now, of course, you have an assault on an officer as well as everything that goes along with uh, fleeing officers uh, in pursuit right now. So uh, surveillance mode primarily. But, Scott, when the, the suspect here exited at Roscoe, they drove right by an officer and it almost appeared as if they would engage at that moment. Um, but for now, it does seem, I mean, you'll have a better view than us. It does seem as if this is primarily following from the air. Yeah, it is in tracking mode right now. They don't have any units right behind this vehicle. Um, th they were behind them, and the suspects started to drive more radically, swerving in and out of traffic, and I think they felt that they would back off just a little bit, and hopefully that would slow down the pace of the vehicle and actually how aggressive this suspect was driving. Uh, but you mentioned if it's uh, assault with a deadly weapon, basically against a sheriff's deputy, we believe, they're not just going to let this guy go. You know, sometimes we'll see a vehicle that's pulled over for speeding, and if the guy just takes off, it gets too dangerous. They'll get the license plate and say, hey, we'll pick this guy up sometime else. In this situation, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. They have an air unit overhead. We're on the 405 southbound. We're headed up the Sepulveda Pass, just crossing Ventura Boulevard, up towards <laughs> Valley Vista. Yes, we're still watching this. Spy's coming down now, though. We may get a little bit more excitement. I was going to the bathroom. You're getting a Clifford here. This is your biggest set of 20-minute uh, drops since Euro close. So this is round three now. Like I, t I was just telling you guys, we got to wait for uh, whatever happens here with the big flush or not. So you, it looked like Tech was giving it back up. The bank started to give some up now. It's been about three, four hours of them all running. So we'll see. I'll keep it up here. I kind of like the helicopter noise in the background. Well, CHP, Scott, has confirmed now uh, that it was uh, the foot of a deputy they ran over during a traffic stop. So They ran over the foot of a deputy so and then he dipped. Uh, we also want to reiterate, Damn. we've said it a couple of times, we don't know if this is a male or a female suspect at this point. Uh, <laughs> Why does it matter? Now that the sheriffs are no longer considering this an assault on a police officer. Not sure why. Uh, but that is now what they are saying. <laughs> Do you guys hear this? The sheriff is not considering this assault on an officer. So that is interesting. But, Scott, here we go again. They're saying it was, it's you not know, even yes, assault. He not just made a mistake. High rates of speed considering traffic. <laughs> but driving on the shoulder. And yeah. we've seen them driving on the I've never seen so L.A. Person, with this little amount of traffic. Um, clearly I don't know how he got down the 405 uh, we've, we've seen worse, with his first of set course, of traffic but, right now. Yeah, yeah this, is, uh, yeah. this is something interesting. And we're running into an issue uh, that doesn't happen. All right, often, spies about to come through the low. Watch out here. 4125. Remember 4123 and then 4119 and then 4113. Those are your three next levels. You're coming down now. By no means. So we're on the 405 freeway, basically at Mulholland on the valley side, looking south. The suspect is driving southbound on the 405, headed down towards Getty Center Drive. And for the most part, we cannot follow. Uh, we Why? just can't fly through that airspace. Now, uh -oh. uh, the PD will be able that's to bullish, get a discreet code. Right? If he gets away, that's bullish. With this vehicle or I'm just this, telling uh, you now, if he gets away, uh, I'm buying so it, whatever low uh, happens. Because so they're saying they can't even the, follow uh, him now. Oh, yeah, the market's going to love it. it. Uh, does not allow us to fly into that airspace. Well, we can see the suspect driving onto the shoulder. Maybe you will be able to take a different tack, navigate around, and we can pick you up on the southbound. Damn, he just got away. Uh, we're coming up on what the fuck? News at 11 a.m. here in just a few minutes. No, moments. that was like a base um, model yeah, Jeep Scott, Cherokee. Does not appear to be exiting the freeway, driving through the support. What the pass, fuck? Now it appears. So officers will continue to follow from above. We will have to navigate around. I'm not sure if we want to show a couple of the video elements uh, of earlier. We don't have those, but again, uh, this person initially stopped a suspect reportedly ran over the foot of a deputy during a traffic stop. That is according to CHP. However, the sheriff is saying they are no longer considering this an assault on a police officer. Interesting. So we'll see. Spy is now at the lows on the news that he is possibly getting away. We'll see. <laughs> but that was a good, uh, good middle of the day update. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. they got his license where can he hide anywhere man like if that was me and i got away and they were like hey that was your car i'd be like that was, i wasn't driving i'm like I, I, I was like that could have been my girlfriend i don't know but that wasn't me i was watching the news do you know if it was a man or a woman i rest my case 
I got to go, sir. I have a meeting. Am I being charged? No? Okay. See you later, sir. See you later. Mm-hmm. My, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I just, I wish I knew. I wish I, that's it. You can't even tell me it's me or a male or a female driver. So, like, I don't know. I just, uh. Car chases. Well, last, I mean, last time we watched the chase live and it ended with a crash, the market did proceed to crash. And now you just witnessed the most unassuming vehicles get away. So let's see. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I'm pretty bullish on, on that Jeep getting away. So 4124 though, let's see what happens here. Watch out for the flush. I get, I've been waiting for this and it happens during the police chase, but it's been a very, very tight range day. You go lower. This has just been a very slow and steady decline throughout the day right now. ZT. Oh, Gimda came back up a little bit. Apple's even dropping now. The banks are still holding. New low on the day now. So there it is. 40, 24 flat. You did not break it. But you probably will right now. There's no more bid support. You just cleared it out. Again, volume is still pretty low on the day. We're looking at 34 million. Wow. And it's already 11, two hours left. It's actually very low volume. Very, very low volume on the day. But we're coming into the low one more time. Again, this is below 4150 on the future. So even on Friday, this 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 range was a little weird. Once we, we bounced up and down at it about three or four times. So this will be an interesting range. I, I don't know if it's going to pick up the speed, but I was waiting for the flush. I don't know if we just got it, but that's your first low in the last like two and a half hours or so. Netflix could save tech. Otherwise, I mean, even then it just, it looks like people are just selling out of tech to buy banks as the banking fear is going out the window. I think that's the easy way to put it. Again, more volume here to the downside though. That green candle, you're not safe yet. 4124. I think you're about to break it. Again, this is the low of the day, though, right now. You are trading there right here, right now. You have not bro, you broke 41. You hit 4123.93. So here it is. We've waited for this. 4119 will be a small level. Other than that, it's 4113 and then 4100. They found him again. Oh, I'm, I'm, I've been waiting. Oh, they got him again. Hold on. We're not over yet. Oh, they don't even have audio. It's not even foggy outside, is it? Mm -mm. And then bonds are making a move right now. A little one. Erickson ADRs drop as CFO Melander to step down. Erickson. Eric. Oh, watch out. That wick still into the lows right now. Man, you just hit a new. You hit half a point lower on that and then bounced up three quarters of a point. So watch out. We're probably still going to keep flushing here a little bit. It's trying to put on the air brakes, but very important level. Very important. Low tickers just gassing here. 30 second, five minute, one minute, all going crazy. Mm, McRib. It's weird. Microsoft's holding up this time around. And then Apple's not near the low. This has to be banks in like energy, I'd assume. And then materials are going down. Discretionaries, that's what it is. So consumer discretionaries just flip negative. Those are green on the day. And staples are about to go red. They're only up 0 0.05. And industrials are up. Staples are up. Financials and then real estate. But we had a lot more green. They got him? What happened? Did he crash? Oh, they got him. Uh, well, so is that bearish then now? Yeah, they got him. Oh, it's over now. Well, there you go. I don't I don't know if it's bullish or bearish now.
That was, that was a very confusing police chase. That police chase was just, it told us as much as the market as all of the economic data. Very bullish and bearish. Very bullish and bearish. Do we sell bill now? Well, we wait to get it. I mean, we wait to see what happens with rates. For now, it looks like bill will be safe. The only thing I'm worried about is just interest rates have moved a lot in the last month. Again, FDA approves Gamita. Bro, I've seen this news reiterated like 12 times. My goodness. So another headline on Gimda. It's still up. We're barely up. Uh, hold on, that green is not holding. Microsoft's holding up the best. Apple just didn't go as low. Amazon didn't go as low. This one was, was consumer discretionary and materials going red. That's all that's happened here. And then tech actually got a little bit more of a recovery. NASDAQ went as low as 0.38, SPY 0.31, and then Dow Jones a quarter. Nvidia, Tesla, the high low count, the count is just how many highs it's hit that day or how many lows. So if it says 10, that's the 10th high of the day. If it says 161, that means it's on its 161th high or low. So it's a good idea to get like of what's continually going or not. Like KRE hit 145 highs today. This is its 145th high at, at the breakout point. But regional banks are still just right. Again, KRE is going insane right now at the high. You got a little bit of a bottom bounce, but don't believe it. We'll see what it turns into. But because even remember on Friday, though, we were like dying. And then when we did bounce, the bounce was like it was like right here. It was coming into the low. So but just I'm scared of these reload candles. These are what you got to watch for these last couple of days. Every time you have the reload, it just it goes nuts. And then Microsoft finally going down again. Watch more regionals. A little cheek layer red on the candle, still near the lows. Apple's coming down now. <coughs> I'm going to hold Bank of America till earnings, yeah. We're only down 10% on it, and that's buying right before everything. So it's either we go back to our previous lows or we recover all of it with earnings. I think they're going to do good. I mean, I haven't... So far, no bank has been really bad. I think Schwab was borderline the worst but because their deposits fell. But as of now, no bank has really seen any damage from SVB unless they already experienced it in the beginning. So I do think Bank of America, I'm assuming it'll be good. I'm still holding my shares. If Bank of America is the outlier, yeah, it would be bad. It would be very, very bad. My average on Bank of America, it's like 33 or 34.80. Damn. So 10, 12% lower than where it's at now or higher. Gimda. Gimda's weird. I'm telling you, that play is weird as shit. I like it. It's They don't have, again... FDA approval. They have no other drugs in their pipeline. News came out of nowhere. Biotechs are crazy. 
It's just a weird... I haven't looked at the share structure too much, but I've seen that news reiterated like seven times today. So just be careful with it. But it seems like a very interesting drug and reaction. Let me check for you. So there's 10% of the short is, fl is, uh, sh is, is shorted. 10% of the float. There's 65 million short or float shares outstanding 81 million 52 week low is 56 cents a couple of days ago 52 week high is 360 in august and that's about it their last offering was in 2022 so their last offering was september 2022 at $1.50 for 12 million shares before that they did an offering at a Where was that? They have a corporate meeting on February 14th. And then 2020, December, they sold shares at $8 and then May. So they like to dump. They In the last two years, they've had three offerings. That's very active for a biotech. And then they have some extraordinary shareholder meeting on May 9th. And then watch out if we dump any more through here. Again, 41. This is your back at the, your, your magneting to these levels, but then you're just dancing. I don't know. I see the headline event. It just says extraordinary shareholder. I have no idea what that. I've never seen that before in my life. So tech no longer safety, but banks. That's what we're going to find out this earnings season. But so far, the initial theory that bank stocks come in decent People rotate there and sell out of tech. It looks like it's happening, but we will see. I have 14 different biotech. I have a lot of biotechs too. I mean, they've been good, though, this year. It's been a nice pocket, and you don't have to deal with the same level of uncertainty. It's at least a, a uncertainty you know to expect. Three M came down. Crocs is on the high, so that's a discretionary name doing good. Again, materials and discretionary, though. As of the last, like, 30, 45 minutes, discretionaries have sold off quite big. And then Crocs is moving up. And then Spy is just fighting at this new low that we set after this gigantic 10-point flush. There's 10-point flushes at a time. That one was 14. That one was 11. So 11, 14, 10. Wells Fargo on the high. Still have FNC or what's it called? FRC? That's the one. We're holding that for next week in their earnings update. And then I still have PNC as well. That one, we're up $2 a share from earnings. And then tomorrow, we have Goldman, Bank of America, and then BK, and then Lockheed Martin, and then uh, Johnson & Johnson, I believe, or Proctor, one or the other. Okay, your first little green shoot off of here. Let's see. Maybe it does what it did Friday. I wouldn't be. Maybe we get a big run, get a big red candle, don't hit lower. And then if we bounce off of that next low, then maybe we get out of here. But let's see. That was already a wild move there. But still within a third. NASDAQ struggling a little bit more off of that down 0.31. 
Those candles are getting a little bigger and bonds are coming down. High ticker starting to gas. It's led by the banks right now. Well, let's see. I did not buy any more Bank of America. I'm considering it day before earnings, but I figure we'll hold. I like it. I mean, down 13%, not too bad, uh, considering we bought at the worst possible time ever. But I'm not going to add to it for now. Only I played Netflix today. We did a double add on that. And then I added a Baidu on Friday. VTYX? What the hell is that? Gimda. Wheat 2% today. Yeah, I still got mitochondria season. The bulls have showed up all day. It's a this is just a weird continuation from Friday. It's I think we started last week like this though, I want to say. No, uh, last Monday was more aggressive. Was it the Monday before that? No, you continued positive. I don't know. This this is this is nothing. I mean, even if you look at the scope, but it is setting us up into earnings, which I think makes a lot of sense. We're just gonna play this red light, green light coming into the earnings reports. And then you also had big moves on names like Microsoft and Google this morning. I'm gonna sell Netflix before they report, but I'm gonna I'm buying it now leading into the report. So it's down what three and a half today. It's at two and a half now. But the idea is hopefully it gets a bit ahead of earnings. If not, then we get double cucked. Gimda. Very fun to say. You should try it if you haven't already. Been stair stepping for months. Hey, man. And the spy is the same exact price as September 2021. And even May 2021, I believe. The five year chart on my season. Isn't it just dead? Doesn't even have five. Have this thing's been around for five years. Yeah, unless if we get back up to 700, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. But that just reverse split for your ass. RTX for LMT sympathy. 10 EU countries request recovery funds totaling 147 billion. David's Bridal Files for Bankruptcy, D-A-B-R, no way. I've heard of David's Bridal. That ticker doesn't work, though. PLRX on the high, too. And there's Amazon. Tesla's even winding down. More banks, more life. I'd like, I mean, I think Netflix will be pivotal. I want to say they're going to do good, but I mean, they've already had two quarters of that. So it's hard to say. I think Tesla, its earnings will reflect borderline what you got from the delivery numbers. Everyone's just going to be focused on that margin and then any other guidance on new vehicles. Uh, but it's kind of hard to predict now because now, we don't know if any companies are going to lean into the weakness. So that's a part of this earning season that people are talking about is that you got to realize that leading into this earnings, there was a lot of guide downs, but also there was the banking situation. So here's the, here's the issue at hand is that there might be some companies that are going to try to lean into the banking situation. Do you guys know what that means? Essentially, Things were looking shaky in the last quarter. The banking system was creating a problem. If anybody wanted to use this quarter to kind of report something softer in terms of guidance, they're gonna. you could blame the banking situation. Does that make sense? 
So that's really what we're going to be watching for is that maybe if some people say, no, it makes sense, let's build a let's build a better quarter here and let's use this weakness from the banking situation to have something weaker because then people will expect it more. So that's going to be the question with some of these names like Tesla and Netflix and Amazon, Apple, the big tech. Well, we want to see if they're going to lead into it and are they going to try to use the banking situation to get away with the softer uh, print so that they could have an easier beat at the next quarter or are they going to try to you know run it home and say look at how good we're doing and boom everything's fine and we're expecting more so that that that's the stuff we can't predict we that you know by the end of next week end of this week I'm sure we're going to have those answers but that's what we are on the lookout for for now and JP Morgan still keep coming up too What banks? We already got them today. State Street, Schwab, and MTB. Tomorrow morning, you get BK, Bank of America, and Goldman Sachs. Ozarks, Ripping, OZK. It's another regional. Morgan Stanley now. They're also on the high. Just wait till tech plays out because I feel like the banks are just going to keep going all day. You just need tech to play along. Otherwise, not so hot. The VIX is unaffected. Remember, the VIX is a ratio between puts and calls, and it only monitors 30 days out in advance. So if that if there is any contract that is not 30 days or longer, it will not be reflected in the VIX. So even anybody who hedged for one month, a month ago at the bank stuff, it's no longer reflected in the VIX unless they rolled over and hedged, and you've seen how the situation has changed. Another reason why the VIX, you know, is could move really weird is let's say everybody bought a bunch of puts and calls, right? Let's say you had an equal amount of people buying puts and calls, right? And then we gap up or gap down. But depending on what happens, let's say one side stays the same. Let's say nobody wants to sell out of their puts, right? But then people take their calls, that will affect it or vice versa. If let's say the market moves up, Nobody buys any more calls, but people close out their 30-day plus puts. That will change the ratio, and that will affect the VIX as well, too. So all of these things could be happening there, but it, you know, put that into the context of like 30 days out and how we've been playing. It's like some days we're watching you know, people more worried about shorter term risk, not really advancing ahead. And then also on different, you know, volatile moves, it's incentivizing people to monetize puts and calls at different reasons. Gim da, and then now market da, stopping da. Is our current economic situation unprecedented or have we seen this before? By reading, uh, how do you study? Well, you read the scenarios. You read history. So in recent history, nothing like this has happened. Again, I've, I've been saying it for years now. The only other time that this resembles is the 1970s. You may be able to argue the 1990s, uh, and that's what Powell has tried to bring up. But other than that, in like the last 20 years, like easily, we haven't seen a market like this. Again, what I, I, I mentioned it a little bit earlier uh, what you've even seen in the bond market, like what happened in the bond market with both stocks and bonds dropping, you have not witnessed that ever in history. Not one living human being, except for us now, has watched the bond market and the stock market sell off at the pace it has last year. So realistically, where the economy is going, this back and forth, the interest rates, the data, the global tensions, 
this is comparable to the 1970s. Uh, that would be our, our only one with different features and caveats that look like other times in history, like 2001, 2008, 1990s, uh, even the 1960s and 40s in some instances, and the late 80s on the recovery element too. So, but I would say this market, the last two or three years has been something, I mean, I wouldn't say it's never happened. There has been a couple of things, but it's a market we haven't really witnessed in like 30 to 40 years. And most people don't have firsthand experience with it. Most people, you either know the history or not. And then now you have to also factor in the modern impacts and changes of technology, the internet, communication, transportation, all of that has its own little effect as well too. The gold standard, I don't I don't think we're ever going to go back to it. It's just, it's not feasible. It's good if you have a society where it works, but if you want, you know, if you want to buy cheap shit from China and you want to have next day shipping, you're not going to have a gold standard. That's it. But if you want big globalization, strong dollar, cheaper items, you know, and you want something to work, like... You, you just can't have gold standard. That's it. It just limits the amount of economic activity that you could have when it's backed by gold because you could only trade as much of the gold that you have. Mm, and then Erickson CFO to step down. State Street still up. Yeah, it's like, what's the total market cap of gold? It's like a couple trillion. But that's pretty much what all of your global trade would be limited to. Because then you can't make production and you can't purchase or sell beyond the money supply if it's backed by gold. So it's nice to have. It's nice when your money is backed by something. But if you want like real growth and you want to spread global trade around the world and you want to trade bigger than that, then you, you need more than, than what the gold will limit us to. That's why we, we abandoned it. In the 1970s, Nixon, they wanted to spend more money. He, he wanted to spend money for a lot of different reasons. He wanted to win the election. It was it, Again, it was a very political environment in the 70s like it is today. And Nixon really wanted to, he wanted to win. So they started doing social programs. Again, do you know how much of your shit today started in the 70s? So the, the first inflation that you have, it's with the 70s, there was a lot a lot of things going on in the 70s where they were they they just invented it so that they could start getting money out there and they wanted to to revamp a lot of things but then they realized they're saying hey we have a war in Vietnam we want to do all of this social stuff we want America to be all around the world how how can we accomplish this when we're limited ba based on our currency so they started devaluing the dollar versus gold until eventually they were just like okay fuck it if, let's just do let's do a system without it. Dana here is said to shelve takeover of Catalan. Oh, CTLT. They're dropping now. So this was the news, I think. And I don't know. They already had a big drop earlier, but it looks like it's confirmation. This may be priced in already, so be careful. But Dana here is said to shelve takeover of Catalan. They had considered it at a significant premium, but now the deal's no longer happening. Was there any instances of high inflation prior to going away from the gold standard, like leaving it facilitated to the idea of high inflation? It did. It helped. But like there was other times, but it wasn't as dramatic or it wasn't as long held. So like even prior to that, it just depends on what was happening with other things. But there was other times, like even bleeding into Japan and leading into other economic booms and busts where you did have inflation, but nothing like the 70s, nothing like today. And then it wasn't fueled. It was it was easier to control then because of it wasn't tied to gold. But theoretically, the reason before we even got rid of the gold standard 
the reason why we got rid of it was in, it was inflation in a weird way. Again, where we had to, we kept devaluing it. We were saying, oh, if we want to do this, we need gold to to be at this. So instead of twenty five dollars gets you one ounce, we lowered it to twelve fifty. So that in and of itself was kind of inflation overnight. Before they got rid of the gold standard, at one point you were you went to bed, twenty five dollars would get you one ounce of gold. By the time you woke up, they said, okay, now it's twelve fifty. So now you're there, there, I think they raised, I think you needed, a, or no, it was, it was $12 higher. So it was like $37 now is what you needed to get the same ounce of gold until eventually they just abandoned it. Roman Empire did this, but this was in the 70s. So this was still, you know, that was 50 years ago. So it's like if we were going to have our Roman collapse, I mean, you would have expected it. 50 years prior, but, uh, this, they already did that long, long time ago. And we've been, we've been hanging out since that's the funny, that's why I love the financial system. This is why I always share this info with you guys. And I, I, I really hope you do have a passion for it because the, the irony is that we are on the same exact financial system from the 1970s. Add all you got to do is throw in QE and modern monetary theory that's the new adjustment, but technically speaking, ever since we changed the money system in the 70s, we have stuck to that same principle. So since the 1970s, 50 years, we have not changed it. Since Bretton Woods, we have not in we have not gone on anything else. The idea of floated exchanges, getting out from under gold, you know, again, how we value our currencies relative to uh, other partners, that's that's all been since the 70s now, and we have not changed since then. Gold standard does not fit under MMT. No, no way. Even before MMT, gold stand by the 80s, they said, fuck the gold. They knew it. They just said, boom, if we want to spread the dollar, spread American imperialism, manufacturing and consumption, and you know, solidify our place here, they knew they couldn't do it with, with a gold-backed dollar. That's it. The only way you could have accomplished the level of influence, scope, and size of trade that the United States accomplished during those times till today was as a result of having your currency floated against other trade partners rather than fixed to a commodity like gold. The debt is the biggest difference. Between back in the 70s till now, we had, we had no debt. Now we, now we have a shit ton. Catalan is still dropping on that news. MTB's coming back up. You had a little bounce. Dana here, DHR, they're the ones who are backing out of the deal. They're going up now. It's not loaded. They're, yeah, they just jumped up to the high. Dana here up, Catalan down. You always thought it was the politicians that came off so that they could get around the appearance of being fiscally irresponsible. I mean, I think that's part of it, but the real reason is they needed money. That's it. It's just like, imagine in the 70s, they're like, yo, we want to fight in, in Vietnam. Apple's taking a candle. Apple Chicle and even the Spy Chicle after that little bounce. But, you know, they wanted to do a lot of stuff. They said, we want to improve Social Security. We want to do mortgage programs. We want to help all these people. We need to get in Vietnam. And we need to create a bunch of jobs. And we need to we need to make America great again, build back better. They were saying the same exact shit in the 70s, right? But the problem was, your dollar was fixed. It said $25 gets you one ounce of gold. So if you had 25 United States dollars, whether you were from France or from America, you could go to any United States bank, walk in, say, here's $25, give me one ounce of gold. That's how it used to work. So they wanted to buy all of these things. They wanted to spend all this money on politics, social programs, and everything else in between, development of the United States. But now they've reached the point where they were saying, hey, we are limited. If we want to spend a billion dollars, we need a billion dollars of gold. That's just, just fall, flow with me here. If you want to spend 10 billion, you need 10 billion of gold. And what they were starting to realize, they said, well, shit, we gave our dollars to the French. 
We gave our dollars to people all around other parts of the world now, and even the French own 30, 40% of our dollars. They, they could come to our banks and take half of our gold. So they said, well, what if we got rid of the gold standard? How can we spend more money but not be limited to how much we could spend? So realistically, getting rid of the gold standard, it just helped them get away from spending caps. That's, that's about it. <clears throat> they could, they try to increase the, they try to increase the conversion rate. So before they got rid of the gold standard, they said, how can we spend more than what we have? They said, it's simple. Let's now make it $30, $40 an ounce of gold for every one ounce. It used to be 25. So now you need to double the amount of dollars to get the same amount of gold. But then that only lasted for a little bit and then they wanted to spend more and then they realized, they said, okay, we can't, the only way we could do this and really get our influence and spend how much we want to, we got to get rid of this gold system. But the only way you could get that to work is if you had 10 other countries agree with you. That's the irony of all of it. That's, and this is where this idea of global trade and global cooperation in economics, this is where it came about because that's where they had Bretton Woods. Then they sat together in the 1970s. They came together and they said, hey, this is what we're going to do. We want to abandon this gold standard. And the only way it could work is if all of us agree to have some level of trade within each other at a certain price point, yibbity bobbity boo. And then they all realized, they said, okay, here's our benefits. Here's the gifts, the curse. And then they all made their decision. It was a little bumpy for 10 years. And then after they worked out all the kinks, here we are today, 30 or 40, 50 years later on roughly the same system with a couple trillion dollars added to it <laughs> through quantitative easing. So I don't think it was because they, they did. I mean, it, it had nothing to do with appearances. This was literally push came to shove. Did you want to have a system where you could only spend cap to your gold or did you want to go above it? And they all thought it was in the best interest to go above it. And then that changed the global financial system forever. And that's what we have today. I know I wanted the little, if we had a reload then bounced, I would have believed this more, but I don't know how I feel about this straight up. We'll see. And then Dana here is still running off the Catalan news. quantitative easing with the gold standard you couldn't unless gold was just they kept devaluing the the fix between gold and the dollar but how could you print more dollars like where would the fed get these dollars to buy bonds if there wasn't gold so you can't have quantitative easing with a gold-backed currency you can if you wanted to devalue the currencies but you would you would do that till it to infinity uh, like eventually it would be you need $20,000 for one ounce of gold. You see what I'm saying? But theoretically, it just it just wouldn't happen. It would be way too complex. Catalan's dumping now. So I thought it was more priced in. They gave up their gains. Same news they dropped. Now they're lower. Dana here up, Catalan down. We had the news like five minutes ago. I didn't make a play on it though. The ES, I'm down 500 on it. ES is at 4155. I'm in at 4166, so 10 points. It's honestly not that bad, you would think. I think it's down like 700 at the low. And car broke down after getting back from Mexico. Spent more than I had. Broke up with my girlfriend. Got her the devil tested me. Plus down 5000 in the stock market. It's the fire, baby. If you come out alive, it's gold, though. You know what I'm saying? So let's go. That's a second Chad breakup today. What happened? Y'all just got back from spring break and y'all just broke up with all your girlfriends? Y'all were like, I'm out. It's okay. So we we already had our talk there if you need any of the... Chattadonia, I just broke up with my girlfriend or boyfriend kit. Let me know. We'll get that to you. Mars must be in Gatorade. Yeah, I feel you. Probably. Summer vibes. I don't know, man. Mm 
gonna realize no, that's the, that's the second breakup in the Chad this morning. It's not even power hour. And then Catalan still drop in. Decent bounce so far. It's your first move towards VWAP in a long time. And this is 20 minutes into power hour, but you're just right back to the level. You got to get above 41.33, though. Remember, once we got above there yesterday, you were able to run a little bit harder. But if you can't get above there, I think that's going to limit a little bit about today. Hot girl summer. That's still a thing? Like, they still do hot girl summer? Damn, bro. Well, you be safe out there, Chad. You be safe out there. It's Chad summer only. I think it's just going, you know, can we just have a nice summer? Why not just like, I, I I like summer in general. I'm not, we don't even have to put a title to it. Just, you know, I hope I get a tan. I hope I see some cool places, you know. I can't wait to drive with the windows down. Like, you know, that's it. That's it. Forty-year-olds act in twenty-two. End of cuffing season. Just focus on yourself. <laughs> oh man! Whoa! There he is. No way, Chad. Are you ready for this? You're not gonna believe it. Your play from the morning is in the green now. Well, now it went back down to three dollars. That was a big candle. That one was a big one. Above VWAP, above 41. If it flushes, we're fucked still. But if you could hold up here, then back to 4140 again, and then we see what happens. But your Chad MES play is down $5. Just went green for a little bit. Oh, I, even Apple. Apple got some bigger. That's the tech run, I think, now. Yeah, Microsoft, Apple, those are the ones waking up. And then bank stops are, bank stocks are still holding. That's all it is. This is it. It's what, it's what we were saying all day today. You just had three, four minutes of big tech runs right there. And then discretionaries went back to the green. So discretionaries plus tech equals big pop with banks holding. M N N M N. What the hell is that? Where, where's Gimda? Gimda. Oh, Gimda. Middle up. Google ripping. I don't know. I'd watch Microsoft though, because they were the winner. But Google is, and Google is down two point seven off of all of that. Let's see. Am Amazon's not as much. That's the one lagging. Apple took three big candles. You're above VWAP, but just hopefully this doesn't reject. If this rejects, you go right below 41.33, and then we're going to do another one of these bounce, drop, bounce, and then sell off for 10 minutes, and then we go to power hour, and then we end up at the same place all day. All day. We are popping. No news on that. It just looked like tech started waking up, and then the bank stocks held, and then discretionaries. Those seem to be the most volatile, like in the last hour. They're bouncing between positive and negative, but Dow is green again. Spy is only down 0.05. And then NASDAQ is only down a 13th of a percent. Who's manipulate? I wouldn't, it's not just one person. Just imagine a bunch of like bigger algorithms designed to trade billions of dollars. And it's kind of like a domino effect. One thing leads to the another is kind of how I view it. Like, I don't think it's just one person. But you got to realize it's like if one multi hundred million dollar, 200 million order triggers, it triggers another one and one thing happens and then it's kind of like one domino falls and then it just sets off all the computers and then vice versa on both directions. And then there's some times where everybody waits until there's data and then even then you do get those responses on data 
data releases, headlines, so on and so forth. Yeah, kind of like if this, then that. Exactly. 100%. Exactly. But one thing leads to the next, and then there's there's several. There's several bigger algorithms, market makers, again, or CTAs is what the algorithms are called. But they just go back and forth. So we're up three bucks now on the MES. 41.36. So the high is 41.38. That's until we like died here. The real high of the day is 41.43. I'm surprised this is still holding. I don't trust any of the green candles, but again, banks are still moving up. As long as tech keeps riding this, I think we'll be good. But we'll see. What just happened? Uh, we just popped. I wish I could tell you. Again, today was already a small day. We were down no more than a third 0.35 on the NASDAQ, and then now you just bounced after hitting that low. No news, no other headlines. Mm -hmm. Don't trust green, but you trust the red? No. I even said that earlier. I said it today. I said, I don't trust the red or the green today because all of the red candles, you haven't had a real flush. Like none of these were real flushes. You know, we stood, we were staying within five points of the levels. There was no real panic, but then vice versa. Every green candle today was sold off up until this one. And even then, until we could get above here, I don't even think it means anything. So I think everything, it's just like fake breakouts, fake flushes. It's kind of like that earnings mode until we actually break out, but... I'm not really falling for anything. Even I took my first trade in the morning. That one's coming back to break even. But other than that, just a shit show. And then 15 minutes till power hour. Bro, this is this is just tech now. I think that indiscretionaries. But now staples are catching a bigger bed. You're up $10 on your Chad play. Congratulations, Chattadonia. And then where's the volume looking? 38 million. Tiny volume. Oh, pre -earned. Very, very low volume, bro. Even so, every drop and every pop has been on extraordinarily low volume. You're right near the high of that 4139. You're getting a red candle. There's no resistance above here, but let's see how this plays. You really have to hold this. If this flushes back down, I mean, all it did was just get you excited there and then make you be like, what the... F but, yeah, this isn't... If this can't hold up and flushes back, I mean, it's still the same setup from the morning. And then even Apple's taking a candle on that. Microsoft took one, but they bounced a little nicer. No pop, no reason for that pop right there. Very small day, though. At the low, we were only down 0.3%. Now we're down a tenth of a percent. Just range is very, very tight. No real breakouts or real flushes today. The yen play, I do plan to add on to it. Like I said earlier today, I want it to go. I want it to go below the levels. So again, it's just yen is correlated with the bonds, but pretty much I want the yen. We got it again. I think maybe August, September. Believe it or not, I'm gonna hold the YCL, but until I, I'm gonna go fat on the yen once we get this thing breaking down. But pretty much anything below here that's when we could start buying the yen again. You could even short the yen, but I don't know if I want those problems. I'd rather short the two-year, but I'm not going to buy the yen. I'm not going to add to it till we get like back at these levels. All right, you're holding that candle. This is what I said we needed to do. So there you go. You're holding up off of that. We're moving up now a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't immediately reject. NVIDIA is about to go green. Still in the red. Netflix clapped. XLF's on the high. Jeez. And the regional still. Both of them. And then Boeing still in the green. 
8 km. All right, another high. CVS on the high. <clears throat> and Tesla. Dude, Tesla was up 2% in the morning. So 4162. 30, so again, 41, 38, 39. That's where we rejected last time. If we get above there, it might have energy. But like I said, if we reject any point here, it's going to stick you right back into the dance zone. The futures aren't going up too high. You see a little wick there, but futures are not breaking out yet. Short the dollar? Uh, you could go long on another currency. So believe it or not, like I don't know if you could take a direct short on the DXY. You might be able to with leverage, but the easiest way to short the dollar is to buy something else. So go buy the euro, go buy the pound, boom, dollar goes down, those currencies will go up. There's your short. Oil's moving now. Up or down? Wasn't oil down a decent amount? Yeah, oil's down 1.5 back to 80. 41.37 again. 41.39 is what we're looking for. You're almost there. Uh, yeah, you could buy gold, but gold has a lot of other factors there. And then gold has a lot of leading indicators with rates, but so do a lot of other currencies. No reason for the takeoff. That's the number one question here in the last hour. We were just, we were coming off the low. Remember, we just started flushing. We hit the low. I was looking for a bounce and then hit another low, then take off. And then it already took off. But no, no real reasoning behind this. I mean, bonds have stayed relatively stable all day. Uh, that's, there's nothing else. And then biotechs have been having an exciting one. And then regional banks from open till right now have just gone vertical. Uh, on all of them, even if they did bad. Mm. Well, we have nine more minutes till power hour. So let's see. It's either going to do the dance here at this level. Like I'm saying, I'm worried about this level. And then 10 minutes, we start power hour. And we see where we go from there. It's weird. There's a shit ton of bid support, but the futures are moving. They're crawling at this level here near the highs. Mm, there's Tessie. Come on, Netflix. High ticker is still gassing, though. All the momentum's in favor there. You're getting a new high, getting a cheek lay on Bank of America. Maybe we might see the bank slow down. Watch here. If banks start to drop, but you see the market go up, that'll be people kind of holding up the other side of the rotation. McRib, 12 bucks, 12%. 12 Yalla. So I think all of them are up. All of the Padufa plays. So McRib is up 16%. We have 500 or 450 bucks on that one. Um, Ionis is up 1%, $60 gain. What's the other one? Ascend is up 1%, $50. Iova, we're down 4%, down $25. And then DSNKY up 1%, up $50. So like one of them is down. I think out of all of the Padufa plays. And then EBS, but we sold that one. Yeah, MCRB is McRib. Oh, wow, pop. All right, we're in the green now, Chad, on your play. Pretty solidly. I'm like 50 bucks negative on the ES now. Now 100, it's dancing. That's it. So this is the level 40. You, you're, you went a little bit higher on the candle, but you didn't hold. But this is it. This is the high level. Then back to the 4140 again. So you're at 38. If you get past here, we go to 4146, which is the literal high of the day. So I don't know.
But yeah, Netflix doing decent. We're down two bucks from the average. So, but then again, we have till all day tomorrow on that one. We'll let him do his thing. And then power hour in six minutes. Haha, <laughs> the small window. Oh, you're saying the little window? I thought you meant like we didn't have it up there for long. Uh, but we had it up there for like six months. I took it down because everybody, I mean, again, I had every play up there for the last six, seven months in a row. Uh, but I've noticed the same amount of questions come in. So I just got sick of responding uh, to what play I'm holding when it was on the screen. And then I'd rather promote my socials, if anything, if everyone's just going to ask me. PRST and then spies working its way up. See what happens here. Watch those big techs as well. They pay in folk. They're paying people to not invest. It's called bonds. Ah, Tesla's still going. These bars are the velocity. 30 second is the lowest. One minute is in the middle or 30 seconds. 30 seconds is the lowest one minute then five minute. So get ready here again, 41.39, we did this. This is the level I told you to the upside. We've been calling out for all day. I'm just surprised how we hit it. But just watch for this little dance here. We need a, You don't want to break below 41.33. You break above here. We could go as high as 41.46 or back to the earlier highs. But let's see in this range. And power hour hasn't even started. Curaleaf says New Jersey approves adult use license. Cura, Canada. State of New Jersey just approved adult use license for marijuana. Oh man, you're just fighting here. Right below 41.40. Now you have some bids coming in to sell. Remember, 41.65. That was the giant red line I showed you earlier. PNC running. Mm. Did Roku have a bunch of money in SVB? Yeah. I think the update on earnings, if they got the money back, that'll be good. If they didn't, that'll clap them. But that was a big part of their recent movement. Actually, I forgot about it. Roku was one who had like, they had like, what, $450 million in cash there? Huge flush. We'll see. I'm sure by the end of the day, but I don't think we're going to, nothing's going to be real. So like I even said on here, it's like, even if we flush, we're not going to like flush, flush. And then even if we break out, I don't think you're going to go up to 4,200. So we'll see. Yeah, and the bonds have done nothing all day. That's it. After, remember, there's a couple of weird moves, but it's this is exactly what happened on Friday. Remember, the bonds made the move, the market would follow, and then bonds did nothing. Then markets just did whatever. So more banks moving. Now Netflix is moving up. Spy is trying to get above here. So watch out if we get any sort of run above 4,140. This is the highest you've been since 7.30 in the morning. Very, very crazy. There it is. I'm break even on my ES. Almost. 30 bucks. Mm. Okay, high ticker is still going. NASDAQ's about to go green. SPY is up 0 0.05. And now Dow is up 0.09. Back to 4140. Mm. Vix, oh yeah, Vix is at 17 now. Vix just went negative. 
damn, that was in the green all day. Morgan Stanley again, again, PNC. So there's your red candle. It could have done it here. That's your second wick into a high. Just watch if it reloads or not, but I'm worried it ends right here. So just keep your eye out from this level because this has been a solid hour of ripping, and then now we are about to enter power hour right on the high of this candle. <clears throat> Uh, reload it. We'll see. But welcome to Power Hour. It is now began. And it's already been a wild move. Damn. Okay, so you're moving up UVXY on the low. <clears throat> KRTX. Netflix, they're not moving as much, but it's trying to climb up here. Karuna, oh, we've seen Karuna. Karuna's insane. This was like a $20 stock, wasn't it? And then Spy's breaking out. I am now green on my ES. That was down all day. And then you guys are up $27 on your Chad play. Congratulations. The GDMA, I mean, I'll hold for a couple of days or until it like has a crazy pop. I just want to see how that FDA news takes it. So 41.41 now. Again, the next level is 41.46. We didn't even hit that at all today. And then Wolf is on the high now. Again, just you're running up here. No real bid support. Or no real, nothing's getting in the way, but it's still crawling. And now we're green on everything. NASDAQ just went green here. So this is NASDAQ green. You're about to hit a new high of the day if it could break out from here. You still need like two or three more points. You need two more points. You break the high of the day. And then five more points to the next level, 41.46. On the next episode of The Stock Market Hates You, as traders woke up to worse bank earnings, all of the regional banks went up. I don't get it, Schwab. They lost 30%. You should buy the dip. <laughs> they were lost. As traders finally sold off, the market bounced on nothing. On the next episode of The Stock Market Hates You, traders tune in for earnings, Tesla, Netflix, IBM, to find out what could have been worse. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, you're running. Welcome. A wicked move, dude. For an hour just to be up. You're approaching that high here again. Haven't set the new high yet. 41.43. You're at 41.71. Again, you're getting a little bit of bid support. I think 41.70 on the futures. That might get interesting. We still haven't had our flush. You've only had like baby reload candles, but none of them were a real, a real reload. You didn't even have one that like curled down a little bit. And there's PNC. Comcast is on that. Microsoft still staying pinned. Watch Google and again, financials and energy as well as discretionaries. Discretionaries slowed down a little bit. Uh, Apple's trying to break a little bit also. There's grinding up. MOBQ, 19%. I would love to see Netflix make a move. PNC keeps going. Again, all those regionals should be on fire. 2.6 on the index right now. Uh, I'm trading the bank earnings, and then I have a Netflix pre-run-up play and Tesla. So I'm actually in some of the bigger ones. I don't have anything on J&J &J or Procter Gamble, nothing on IBM, and there's like a bunch of other names this week. So here they are. So tomorrow, you got Bank of America, Johnson & Johnson, Goldman, Bank of New York Mellon, Commerce Bank, After Hours, you get Metropolitan Bank, Preferred Bank, United Community, uh, Intuitive, United Airlines, and then Netflix. So I have Netflix, I have Tesla, 
And then I have Bank of America and Goldman. And that's it. No Proctor. That could be a decent one. Uh, the airlines could be ones, but I'm done with those. And then Synchrony and then all the other regionals. <clears throat> What is this? Happy Monday, earnings season. Best best thing I could say. I mean, all that we've done today is stay at the earlier levels of the day on nothing. So we opened up here, and now we're here. We went lower on nothing, and now we're back up on nothing as traders. If anything moved today, it's regional banks. That's in. It seems like the attitude towards the banks has gotten very optimistic after the second set of reports here, even though there was a couple of negative impulses in the morning, all of it has been gotten bit up. So just get ready. I mean, how we dance or flush from here, now the bid support, it's all getting locked in. We might get a bigger move, but... How we play around here. I was worried about 41.39, so we're a little bit higher. So watch for 41.40 to break now, but, I mean, this is a powder keg up here. <clears throat> Tesla, Netflix sucks still. JP Morgan's climbing. Goldman still running. MPW climbed up to the high again. And he might get round number two on this. So 41.43 is the high. Still yet to break it. 41.42.10. Luminar Global Automotive announced a partnership with TPK. Well, it's still crawling. It's one point at a time. Again, 40, this will be big. 4170, I believe, is going to be the high here. So 4142, I think so. Like right right below, give or take. Laser pop. NVIDIA is going up. Tesla now, too. Oh, yeah. Luminar is going crazy. 3% on that news. Labu. Four, you're about to hit a new high. You're half a point away. Three quarters. <clears throat> Coin? Damn, they were down six. JXN, J and J, PTCT. My goodness. How did mitochondria season? Did he get any love? I don't think he did. And then Gimda, still holding. We're up five cents. Apple's now moving. Not as much, but Tesla's waking up a little bit. And then Microsoft just been staying pinned. There's Netflix. So you hit a new high. You flushed into it. Or you flushed right below the high. You didn't actually wick into it, but still kind of slowing down. But it's just, or just inching along the way. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon. Labu, again, laser. They got into a partnership. They're running. <clears throat> Deanna here. Yeah, they're the one that backed out of the Catalan deal. So 41309. We are going up higher. Again, your Chad play is up 38 bucks. I'm up 120 now on the ES from the morning. But Chad play doing good. Chad play doing good, man. Is this a new high yet? This has to be. I don't think it is, though. Nah, technically, you're still half a point below the high of the day. So no new high has been set right below 4170 on the futures, 4143, high is 4143.75. Oh, we have a lot of, ah, it's power, 50 minutes. 
So this was all leading. This was an hour run up into Power Hour, and then so far, first ten minutes of Power Hour, they have been sizably green as well too. PMT climbing. And the video moved a lot. Again, even Tesla was running up there. Microsoft, surprisingly, has been very calm. Google's near the high. And then regionals have just been nonstop pumping. That's still going. Again, there's PNC. Bank of America still. Is that SPY new high? Yep. He's doing it. Futures haven't hit a new high, though. Again, 4170 will be big on the futures. They're right at 4168.75 right now. Kalanovic says tech rally look to fade. Oh, did you hit the higher? You came close. Enough time to break the high and enough time to come back to the low. <laughs> I mean, today is it's possible. That's two points top to bottom. I wouldn't rule anything out. But remember now, too, though, people are going to set up into earnings. So now whatever move you're watching here at the end of the day, I mean, people are going to start finalizing into those earnings plays. And then especially with anything with the banks. Okay, there's your first little reds. I'd watch 4140. So you pretty much don't want it to go lower than here. If you could hold this, you're still good for end of the day. Again, we still have 50 minutes. But if you flush 4140 like with ease, then that's it. That's probably going to... We're just going to do a weird dance till the end of the day. ALLK, 42 million float. Earnings for today. CENTCOM confirms ISIS senior leader killed in helicopter raid. Should check LMT. Today, After Hours, JB Hunt, Pinnacle Partners, First Bank, Service First, ELS, Equity Lifestyle, and Invo Biosciences. JB Hunt will be big. Otherwise, the ones in the morning, those are going to be the big ones. Then Netflix and then United After Hours tomorrow with all those other regional banks on that list. Okay, that could have been the reload, but see... If it can't break out, you've spent like five minutes here without being able to hit that high. Mm. He's fighting, Habibi. Uber. Uber had that CNBC pump earlier. What news? No news, man. No news. I'm sorry. <laughs> to explain this run out, I wish, I wish we had more for it. Again, a lot of bids up here. This is going to be a big level here, but you're like slowly working your way up to it. 4169 on the futures. You're a quarter point now below the high of the day. Right here. All you got to do. All you got to do. Ebix, JB Hunt, FBK, PNFP, SFBS, CFB, and ELS. VIX hitting two-year lows. Finally, maybe options get really cheap from here on out. I hope. I hope. But again, the VIX is uh, that elevated VIX premium has been wild. So you just. You were getting into the highs here, but you did not break out off of that again. 4170 is being very, very stubborn. Majority leader Schumer says there must be a clean debt limit increase. And then Microsoft looks like it's ticking down. Amazon sucks. 
Apple's doing decent. Uh, Nvidia is trying to climb. Netflix not really working. And then Tesla looks the best out of any of them. Okay. So where did I do? If I do is holding Bob, China plays haven't really made that much noise today. So again, all these reds are just getting met with greens. The high ticker is still going 30 second, one minute velocity. And then bonds are flushing into the low. This is actually going to get very interesting because bonds might hit a new low of the day as we start to do this. Very weird. Again, 4170 on the futures. We've the highest you've gone is 4169. Oh. And then Uber is hitting a new high. House panel releases SEC chair Gensler's prepared remarks. I read that as they, they released him, like he played for the Lakers. I said, what? They dropped him in the draft? I thought they got rid of Gensler. I said, who are they trading for? But yeah, he's had a prepared statement. Okay, is that the new high? No. SPX looks like it's going up, but futures have not hit 4170 yet. That's what I'm looking at. They're up by a point. You're right at the high. Oh, does that count? Yeah, you hit a new high there. New high on the day. You are now higher than the first high set 30 minutes after the bell. Woohoo. Are we going up? No. <laughs> I think we're just staying in the same space, sir. I think we did a lot of movement here. It's kind of like we're on a treadmill today. I think you've seen a lot of movement, but then when you look down, you'll realize you're in the same booth. So we haven't really moved too much today. But it's just the higher end of yesterday. Hey, Cam. That's it. Just wait till some of the other pre-earnings start moving or if the banks keep leading. I don't think we made it. Did we get above 4170? No. So you still haven't even broken that spot yet. It looks fun. It looks like you've been doing a lot up here, but you really haven't. And then 1217, 43 minutes left. Uber still E Y E N. E N, that's on the low. Ionovia. Where's Gimda? Gimda, yalla habibi. Okay, there's Microsoft with the candle now. He's kind of been dead during all of this. Maybe that gives you fuel. Apple was looking good. My goodness, 4169. I think this is the high. FRC, Pack W. All oh, do the regionals went crazy. Even PNC's at the high. So regionals are up 2.7 now. Well, there's kind of your breakout. Same price still in the futures. <laughs> there it is, 4170 now. So see, it could get very active from here. Otherwise, this will be, we'll probably be done for the day. Otherwise, you have to like 41, 46, two more points would be the next level that you either hold or sell off. Apple, Apple is near the high. Is that opening candle? I think we're done well it's been about an hour and 20 minutes of going literally straight up 
So that's it. But then again, it was three hours of do nothing and then sell off. But you didn't sell off nowhere near the size of where we're up, hence why we're hitting a new high today. New high on the day, but not... I mean, you are a little bit higher than Friday. So maybe that's the caveat. Remember Friday, we did sell off. You're 10 points higher from that low. Why is Redfin on the high? So again, 41.46, that's the next level technically. Yeah, Redfin 9.19, my goodness. I'm driving down to Miami to move into my new apartment. Wouldn't have been possible with that too in the chat. Let's go, baby. Long time coming, but we did it. Enjoy it. Next time we see Zach, he gonna he gonna come out with the tan. He gonna be he gonna be full Miami, baby. <laughs> we love it. I didn't even give you a warning for that horn. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 CD rate forecast. I think they're gonna go up if the three month comes back up. They should go back up there, but it really de just depends. I think the. Th all CD short-term rates. They should be within the same range as last month. New high, 41.44. You're barely above 41.70. Again, this was one of those levels, but you got some orders coming in. It's been crawling. There's your break now. 41.71 on the futures. 41.46 is the next level. So watch out here. It could stop right here or you open up the door to uh, 41.50. So if it doesn't stop here, I think you get five-point squeeze up here. Otherwise, that's it. We're done. Oh, this hour and a half rally is over after this. So speak now or forever hold your peace. Either it stops here or it squeezes here. And MPW. And then watch if Microsoft breaks. GM's on the high. I'm still in McRib. Yeah, that's our biggest gain out of any of the pre-run-up biotechs. So pretty much every pre-biotech we bought is up like 1%. And then MCRB is up 16%. Mm-hmm. HBANP. IBRX. Oh, I forgot. Did we get that one? All right. Well, get ready. This is the level, man, right below 4146. Like I'm saying, this is either going to stop or... We dance around here for a little bit. If the market breaks this to the high side, you get you'll get the crazy move at the end of the day. But I wouldn't be surprised if it stopped here. We do nothing and give or take where we opened from, and then that's it. So that was already a crazy move. But if it keeps going, watch for forty one fifty, then forty one sixty. Riley. P Fox. All right, still fighting. Microsoft still working up. Tesla now back to opening 1%. It was up almost 2%. You yeah, real estate stocks are going. UWMC and MPW. This one's good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Q's almost positive. Everything is in the green. 18th of a percent. Spy in NASDAQ. And the same thing for the Dow, too. So everything's literally up just under a quarter of a percent right now. Netflix actually moved, really? It wasn't earlier. They were not letting him. We're It's back. I mean, we're a little bit up on our second average down, but it's still in a range. That This thing's just going to gap up or down tomorrow, and that should be the full move. So are we still above 4170? Yeah. Just slowly climbing, but there's bids on both sides. 
buys and sells. Again, it's crawling up here. I know it feels like a wild move, but everything at these highs, bro, you're moving one point every like five, 10 minutes. So it's still pretty slow. Yeah, the VIX is now below 17, two year low now. Bank of America, I just have my shares from before the crisis. That's it, I've been writing that through. What turned the tides? Nothing. I would say banks. If anything, we banks were up when we were selling off. Everything else stopped selling off. Banks kept going up. You know, what, what I could really put my finger on today, even though some bank earnings, a.k.a. Schwab, weren't the best, this idea that the banking fears are over. I mean, if you look at how people are buying these banks, it seems like we're, we're done with that era for now or until one of these earnings, you know, messes everything up. There's your red candle. <clears throat> Still 35 minutes on the day. So very interesting move there. You set a new high barely, only by two points, came up right below the next level. So again, just watch if we break 4140. That's what I'd be looking at to give up any momentum. Otherwise, you could dance within here. And then anything above here, just watch out for the squeeze zone, especially if it does it fast, simply because this has just been one hour of straight going up. Oh my God, dude, every, dude, these reload, that's sick. So that candle's already getting bid right back up again. So just watch out. I think you're even running towards another high off of that. No shit. I was just like the low candles. Mm. Biotechs are going crazy. Yeah. So slow, though. So slow. No conviction. It's very slow. No volume. I mean, volume is still very, very low. So that's another new high. Just watch here again. 20, a quarter of a point left. I think like 41.73, 41.72. That will be the next level here for the futures. But 41.46, this is where we died, and this is where we ripped from even on Friday. So this this is a very big level. Users report Google Drive is having problems. There you go, Netflix. Let's see here. The bank's going to close strong. Dude, State Street's still up. My goodness, I think they are. You're going to get it. You're going to get buys just open till close on the banks. <clears throat> Okay, that's a bigger candle now. You're running up here a little bit more. So 4146, you're holding it. Futures are right at that point. It's 4172. So let's see. Either more more squeeze or we reject from here. And that was just your top tick candle. McConnell, Biden must negotiate with McCarthy on debt limit. LMT earnings, I don't know. I mean, they did decent last time and they held up, but I, I, I'm a fan of LMT. I think they'll do better than not, but then again, I mean, it's it's one of those earnings. They have government contracts. Like most of it, you shouldn't get earnings surprises on LMT is what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you. I'm still in... It's earnings though too, just like we said. Remember... Even towards the end of the day, I think some people are getting ready for earnings, but whatever's happening now, you're going to get a setup leading into the morning and then we're going to wait. But market can move a lot like just how you're seeing today. Just put this in your memory bank. So next time we get more and more earnings here as we get into the bigger weeks, you know, don't get caught off guard. There's Netflix finally. Uh, Microsoft's working up. Spy, new high. That's crazy. I feel like an hour and a half ago, I was like, new low, new low, new low. Now we're like, new high, new high, new high. 41.47, so you might hit it. 
4150, then 4160, and then if it gets crazy from there, again, even at 4150, I think the last time you had a three point pop there, and then that's what led up into this. So just keep your eyes out for it. You're looking pretty decent for now. Yeah, net, we'll see. Netflix it needs to get back above like 33, 33. Because this is still the low of Friday. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? This was the low of Wednesday. So I feel like they need to get to that first low and they'll be good. But you just wicked into the high, slowing down. Again, 41.50 is going to bring some juice. You're right below there. Remember, 41.46 is still its level. Otherwise, momentum gets kind of threatened at 41.40 and below. Here's Tesla. <clears throat> Para viewers watched more than 281 billion minutes of CBS programming in the first quarter of 2023. Wow. And the video went up five bucks. Yeah, every every stock. So there's your bigger drop here. We've seen this a couple of times in the last hour, so I don't know if I want to comment on it. That's two points. I think these were two, these were like one point, but if it just holds up here, it doesn't matter. These will just be your reload candles. But like we said, just watch, you're below 4146 by half a point. Otherwise, just watch 4140 if any of these red candles materialize in anything. It's weird. Futures are holding up way better than the spy. Okay, Tesla, Microsoft, Amazonian, he's still red. Apple's about to go green. Apple's the one that's going to be right at break even. And SPY, Dow, NASDAQ, all up a quarter, it looks like, just under. We flush zero days are expired now. Could be, but so the same thing goes for the calls now, too. That Dude, that reloaded again off the two, two minutes, off the two points. It could still fail, though, if it doesn't get past here, but just watch for 4150. Yeah, JB Earnings, JB Hunter after hours. Norfolk Southern reaches paid sick leave agreement with Brotherhood Railway Signalmen. <clears throat> That's a union. Forty-one, forty-seven. So bids are coming in here. But we'll see. Microsoft's trying to get a break. These are the first high levels of Microsoft in the morning. FPK. Or you could play it. I think any of the banks. And so far right now, the attitude, even after KRE today, the attitude seems like the banking situation is not going to be a problem. So, But then again, we're still waiting. All these companies need a report. And then we're going to find out who's who and if anybody had a problem. So this one is on you, my friend. Market went flip mode. It was random. There was no warning signs, and it was it was filled with hatred. But today was a lot of nothing. It sucks though, because like I'm even on the upside. We're only up a quarter. We're not up more than we were down, and everything is still a third of a percent, top to bottom in the range today. So, just another weird day. Makes sense with earnings again. I think there's a lot of anticipation for earnings, hence some of the moves that we're seeing. Mm 
Mm. Don't get murdered by that person in your house. I think it's my girlfriend. She might be here. Usually she'll on Monday she'll come and she'll make me uh, lunch. You know she's sweet like that. But otherwise someone's getting shot. But we'll find out on the next episode. His balances. I think it's people getting ready for earnings. I think people are rotating a little bit, getting ready. I think some people are getting under the idea that bank earnings aren't going to be that bad. And then on top of it, you got to factor in uh, the broader factor of the Fed and rates and just the economy and anything else in the meantime. So there it is. 4146 is now sold off Chattadonia. Get ready. 4140 is what you're looking for. 4140 is what you're looking for. Sam is on the high. Did not think that was possible. But tech is holding up on that little drop there, which I think is interesting. Again, why is Microsoft holding up now when it was dead all day? Where's Googly? How much time we have? 25 minutes? 25 minutes. So NVIDIA hit a new high. They're coming down. Again, Amazon wasn't really moving too much. That's your first like set of drops here in the last hour that have lasted longer than five minutes in a row. We've stayed pinned, but you've actually dropped for five straight candles here. We get it. Oh, bro, 30 months. I know you aging with the chat. It's beautiful. But then that means you get a long term. So you age with the long term. It's beautiful, baby. It's beautiful. Google's on the high now. Again, it looks like all the big tech. Amazon's at break even. About to go green now. Oh, nope. Switch gears. So I thought I thought it was going to turn a green candle out of that one. But that red is continuing now. 41, 44. You're back to the 4170. Remember how stubborn this was to get here. So this is a level for the futures as well. Mm -hmm. RXDX, that's the one that got bought out by Merck. Taiwan to buy 400 U.S. anti-ship missiles intended to repel China. Boeing contract completes a sale Congress approved in 2020. Deal is for Taiwan's, Taiwan. Taiwan's first land launched harpoon missile. So we just sold... Taiwan, 400 missiles. Or is Boeing reacting? I don't know. The Boeing headline came out. I think Boeing is part of it. Boeing might be linked to that. Yeah, I think Boeing got the contract. It's from 2020, though. It's an old contract two years ago. I don't know if it's priced in, but that headline's pretty wicked. 400 anti-tank missiles to... Uh, or anti-something to Taiwan... Get your pony this week. Let's go, baby. God will it. God will it. Microsoft's still going up. Boeing's getting a red candle. Google, again, all of tech is going up. This could be the banks maybe just selling off a little at the end. I wouldn't be surprised on that because it looks like all the tech names are still holding, actually. Like Apple's still holding, Microsoft, Tesla, and then now I think everything else that was leading throughout the day, they're chilling out. Long live the cult, baby. At the money. Tell them. Amen. Well, let's see. Where are we now? 4144. So still holding, and we have 22 minutes remaining. I feel uneasy because everyone says money's tight, makes me want to save. Well, you should save. It's not, I mean, I think just everything's uncertain. That's all. You know, I don't save money and I'm not there because I'm like, oh my gosh, everything's going to be bad. It's just, I'm waiting for certainty. So it's wise to, to be wise with your money because once we have certainty on where the economy and things are going, if you are wise with your money leading up till then, 
I mean, you're going to really be able to take advantage of, of wherever we go from here. So I just view it as uncertainty. It's the same thing even with the bill and the cash. All, all I want is a more clear-cut picture. I'm not willing to go all in on the on the level of information I have right now. But once we do, that's it. So that's where I think a lot of the, the mindset of the tightening should come from, where it's like it shouldn't be out of fear or being scared or, you know, even if you hear people talking about it, but it's just borderline you you want to have more certainty in your decisions and you know right now you could get paid to wait and once we have certainty that is where we want to be reacting to Have you looked at soul and staking at 8% seems better than bonds? So like if you were related to me and I knew you and you knew I had a deep love for you and you knew like I cared about you genuinely and you said that to me, I would slap you in the face. Okay. So that's how I feel about that for your own good. I love you. It's not like I hate you slap. It's like I care about you and I, I care. I care a lot about you. And I want you to develop and grow into to your fullest potential. You know what I'm saying? And that right there, that's not how it's going to occur. No, no staking at eight percent on a on a shit coin. Even if, especially the coin that was part in part by Sam Bankman. But just go get five percent staked at the Treasury of the United States. Solid, solid staking at the Treasury right now. If you if you're familiar. But no, no 8% on a shit coin when cash is paying five. No fucking way. Luna was, Luna was never safe. <laughs> None of those were ever safe. I, I mean, again, I, I could pull up a video of me fighting with people from, from a couple years ago. But just now it's a, you already know the reality now. And then on top of it, just, I, I don't even, I'm, I'm not here to talk shit about anything. I'm just here to tell you that cash is paying 5%. Remember, United States dollars, cash equivalents, zero risk, 5%. That's it. You can't, like, you got to beat that. You mean to tell me you're going to give me 3% higher? 3% higher and it's, and it's volatile? Fuck out of here. I'll, cash wins. I'm telling you, bro, cash is like Mewtwo right now. I don't know how many of you played Pokemon back in the day, but I'm just trying to tell you, cash right now is Mewtwo. If your cash is paying you 5%, it's Mewtwo, okay? So stop trying that. There's no other Pokemon that is that is, that is is equipped to handle 5% Mewtwo, okay? That's all I'm saying is Mewtwo. It's a legendary. It's legendary. It is. It really is. It doesn't... It happens once every 20 years, maybe. So that's it. I just... Is, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready there, bro. He's ready. Vietnam dong pays eight percent. Yeah, the Vietnam dong is also gets you twenty five thousand Vietnam dong for every dollar you have. So we're gonna we're gonna back out of that one too. Okay, just that's it. You guys are dollar yen, dollar yen bonds. That's it. That's all. Otherwise, you better discount at 30% or multi-year lows, then you could buy it. That's my that's my take. That's how I view it. Otherwise, y'all do your, y'all dong around. You do whatever you need to do. Why did I get clapped? I'm back. Yeah, I'm going to hold Gamba overnight. We're back. We're back. Don't worry. We got 15 minutes left. Mm. Oh, the two-year came down. I think we're good. And then Big Pop now finally 
Google and tech has been going up, though. The last 30 minutes of this little even give back here and even the run up, tech wasn't playing along the whole time. But last 30 minutes here, the, the bid is returning the tech names. And where are we right now? 645, 16 or 1545. Oh, hold on. That one got flipped. Hold on. That one was a big green candle, but now it's also red. You're getting a little back and forth at 4170. You haven't broken below it. I think we went a little bit below it right there. Now you're back below it. MTB, back on the high, and Microsoft. So if tech slows down, then there you go. Then I think we're just going to stay just flat relatively for the day. Any reasonable names for earning? Netflix? No, Netflix is affordable. Uh, play 10 shares. Play 5 shares. So every name is affordable. Don't worry about the share price. Just play it with the amount of shares. But you can play the airlines. They report tomorrow after hours. Uh, that would be the only other one. And then Tesla. But if Netflix is too expensive, remember I've showed you the example. You can trade uh, You could trade five, 5 shares, 10 shares, and you can make a decent amount of money. It's not like you need... Uh, you know, you don't need, just because the shares are a lot, you don't have to buy a lot. J&J uh, &J in the morning, but you can't get a pre-earnings run up. So my earnings plays, I'm looking to sell out before earnings. I'm long on Netflix. I'm down a dollar a share now. We grab those in the morning to flip out tomorrow before close. too risky some of them i think earnings is a gamble you have to definitely make sure the ones you are holding for earnings uh the last year or so i've been liking sell the run-ups that's always been a great strategy but you could play some for earnings just most of them will be a gamble usually options get juiced up into earnings and then after the report the juice goes away you might be able to play options better afterwards but then some of them like last or earnings Facebook options went up like 15,000% if you bought and held through through earnings. So it just all depends on, on which names you want to go for. But it's, I mean, it's easy to get burned on earnings. If you make five option plays, hold them all, and then they all miss or one of them hits, but it doesn't go up as much as you want, you know, that's it. But a lot, there's a lot of opportunities before earnings and after earnings. That's been something we, we like to get our hands on. And then PNC, we're up three dollars a share on that, almost four. Where's Gimda? Unity, oof. I don't know, especially after the Roblo numbers today. But I've always, I've always seen them as a sympathy to Roblo. Other than that, I haven't really looked into them too hard. All right, you're below forty-one seventy again. I'm still up on my ES. And your guys' MES is up. But remember, like I said, 4140. This is where we want to see the magic happen. If that's going to kill any of this upside momentum. And you have 10 minute rigged in about two minutes here. Mm -mm. CYD, good way to get exposed to bonds, yeah. That's for the 10-year. It all just depends where you want to be on the curve. But I like, I think all the bond ETFs work great. Like, they're, they, they track the rates. Rates go up and down. That's it. All right, 10-minute rigged. You're popping ahead of it. Interestingly enough. 10-minute rigged, you just launched up three points ahead of it. You're right under 41.46, 45 seconds. Okay, 30 seconds. Get ready. State Street Regionals probably going to run again. 
Yeah, MTB for the high as well, too. Mm. Is the longer end more? No, the, it's either or. There's just some are going to be more sensitive or not. Again, it's pretty much time frame. You got to think if you're expecting more immediate moves, play the shorter term. If you want to let it balance out, the longer term has more variables, more duration risk. But they all should move relatively the same based on Fed policy right now, where short end and long end, they pretty much do the same thing. So 10 minute rigged, we are going towards the high side. It's actually a pretty big pop. And now you have all these little weird cells here, but 10 minute rigged is pointing up for now. And it had a three point run leading into it. You're above the 4146. The high of the day is 4147 and a half. My goodness. Market on close, 540 million to the sell side. Okay, so maybe bullish. Tesla's coming back up. Netflix, they're slowing down a little bit. I think Microsoft and Google, if those run up, that'll give you some end of the day cushion alongside of banks. So there it is, new high on the day, at least for the futures. Yeah, 41.47.80. You're at 50 now. Jeez. Yeah, VIX has been below 17 earlier. Uber pop again. That's a pretty big pop. 10-minute rig just drove you right through the roof right now. And you had a big run up. Now the high ticker's going. You might get some things. Uber a little pop, but not as big as earlier. You hit 41.48. Again, 41.50. That's the level. And there's not much time left, which makes this that much more interesting. Because like I said, I said we'd squeeze there if we hit this 30, 40 minutes ago, but you're about to come to the bell right now. Again, Goldman and Bank of America in the morning, that's going to determine whether or not we gap up or down. So just keep that in mind. So wherever we end right now, you're, you are playing this until the morning. Mm, my gosh, 4175. They are running it. 4142. That's huge. That's six points now. It's doing the reverse. It's like the sell offs. But now you're just getting it to the upside. Another new high, 4149. One point below 4150. Three minutes, two and a half minutes until uh, final five. It's only a third of a point, though. That's the funniest part about this. This looks so violent. It's so tiny. I would be so mad if this was any other day. Because you're not really getting the intraday move. NASDAQ turns positive, had been down almost 0.8. Yeah, so round trip was 1%, but intraday, this isn't really too much of a change from Friday. You're getting more volume. Again, two minutes till final five, but... We're still rocking. Spy went two more points. You're now half a point below 4150. Again, if you break 4, I, 4150 is wild, but 10, 13 points above if we could break through there. NVIDIA gapping up, snap 1088. SPM, Microsoft, STT. Yeah, bro, all of the banks. Regionals, that's it. Regionals took a break. Market took a break. Now tech is back up. And then the banks just kept going nonstop. Yeah, even Baidu's running. Let's see, Netflix, that's only one. Yeah, even they went up. Have you hit 41.50 yet? No, 41.49.80. 41, 91, 41.50. You have now hit it on SPX. Wow. Proud of you. Proud of you, my friend. So again, final five should be here in 45 seconds. And you are at the level. This is like the second high of yesterday or Friday. And then futures are still going up on that.
uh, MCHP on the high. Is that another biotech? And then there's Netflix now. We're even about to go green on Netflix if this could really pump. But that's the only other tech name that hasn't played along. 10 seconds. I'm going to keep G Gimda. So final five. Get ready. Three, two, one. And we're off. A little to the high side. 4150. What are you going to do, Spy? What are you going to do? It's a little slow. It's going though. 4150. That's almost a point now off of that. Three minutes. Squeezing. A little bit. That came down a big on that candle so far. So you hit 41.50. I think we stay here till bank earnings, depending on banks tomorrow, even J&J. &J. That's going to decide all of your, your gap up or gap down. Barely moved here today. And then that's it. We're still at the range. Just depends on these earnings. There it is. And I'm up on the E. I'm going to hold my ES, I think, coming into tomorrow. Or I might close out uh, after China open tonight. I'm up 400 on it. And then we're going to close your guys' out at the end of the day. That was a crazy power hour, man. You had a, That was a crazy two power hour. That was a power hour hour before power hour. And then power hour itself just kept going. A very, very wild day. Mm. BlackRock to kick off sales of failed bank securities for FDIC. Mm. Power lunch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're making our final approach. As we make our final approach, you guys are holding on to any bags. Uh, please stow them in the overhead bins above or firmly beneath your seats. We'll be coming through the house with a trash bag if you like to dispose of those bags. But as we make this final approach, we're going to be landing here into the second link terminal. Second link terminal in the description. That's going to be your nightly watch list and main channel layover around 4 p.m. Pacific time. Then we're going to be taking off promptly around 6 a.m. at a sunny sea. San Diego, California. As we make this final approach into San Diego International Airport, it's about 60 degrees and cloudy, uh, looking like a decent day, unless you thought red means red and green means green. You probably got confused there today, but don't worry. You got earnings right around the corner, and we are no longer under COVID guidelines, so no masks are required, but we do ask that you exit one row at a time and drop a GG on your way out. As always, we appreciate your guys' business. If you're interested in your Call Rapid Awards program card, Please flag down your flight attendant, and we'll get you that as soon as possible. As always, thank you for flying with the coat, and hopefully have a wonderful evening. Let's go, baby. Bring it home. Wow, what a day. What a day. Why is it up? Why is it down? We barely moved. Only 0.3. You're at the higher point of the year. And we have earnings. Johnson & Johnson tomorrow. Netflix. More banks. Banks everywhere. Oh my gosh, Chad. So you got to wrap it up. I need you to bring it home. Finalize any plays that you may have. Again, you still have earnings. And we are going to get a lot more of this back and forth. So you got to wrap it up. Finalize any plays. Uh, I'm going to close your Chad play. It's up 70 bucks now. I'll wait till the bell. I'll wait till the bell. But Chad, uh, one minute. <laughs> go, 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 go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time to wrap it up. You made it through day one. The bank stocks didn't collapse. The narrative is moving, but you got more names tomorrow. By the morning, you will have reactions. So you have less than 30 seconds to finalize your plays right now. 
Let's go. Bring it home. You're holding the options. You're holding the future. Spy is closing into the high. So wrap it up. Less than 15 seconds remaining, Chad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You got to bring it home. Man, Netflix is even running there. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ding 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 let's go Oh wow Chatadonia We did it we made it we did it we made it Are you kidding me Ladies and gentlemen boys and girls you know what it is Seven hours in the books. I need that good game. Let's go. GG. It don't matter if you made money or lost money. I know you learned something. Everybody that contributed, baby. Good game. Way to stay in the game. All the laggers, all the lovers, all the lurkers. Let's go, baby. All the members, all the non-members, all the stream alerts. Anybody contributing. Let's go. You posted a play. Good game. You posted what you played. Good game, baby. You stayed here. Seven hours in the box. Good game. Hey, man. We did it. We made it. Tell him, baby. Tell him. Let's go, I see you too, Twitch Shout out all the members, all the donos, all the people holding it down All the people who've been here since January, even January 2019, yeah Good game, baby, let's go Let's go, Chattadonia That's what I'm talking about, Ready? It's earning season. It's earning season, bro. It's earning. Money on stocks. I can show you the top. Every bottle, my pop, both the key and the lock. Don't believe me? Just watch. Use my freedom a lot. I need me to rock. You won't see me a lot. Monday through Friday, you need me. Let's talk. Oh, Chattadonia. All right, I cut it. I cut it. I cut it. Good game, baby. Market's still going up after hours, man. Little scammers over here, but Chattadonia. That is the day. It was a wild one. God bless you all. I hope I see you here for the rest of this week because we got a lot of earnings along the way. Oh, 1.9 thousand. That's good enough for me, baby. Horn, let's go. God bless the chat. Oh, amen. God bless y'all. That's what I'm talking about. And honestly, it fits in perfectly well. Thank you for supporting. That's what it is, man. Thank you for liking the video. If you got to get going right now, I just want to tell you how grateful I am to have this opportunity day in, day out. I love doing it and being surrounded by people. Everyone tells me every day what they're getting out of it, and they even give me some good ideas here and there. So I love it, man. It is beautiful, but for real, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for holding this down. Thank you for making this a great community to be in, and thank you if you contributed. For real, man, it goes a long way, but God bless all of you. Thank you guys again. Big shout out to the members, the stream alerts, and anybody who's been here a long enough time where they put in in time. You know what I'm saying? They got enough time where they put in in time. Oh, shit. I forgot to sell the Chad play. Hold on. Chad play. I'm selling it. My bad. You guys made $91. Chad, so we lost $30 on Monday or Thursday, and we made $91 today based on the poll. So thank you guys. And I'm in my ES. My ES is still up $650. I'm going to hold that until tomorrow or China. So I may cut out of that tonight. We'll see what happens. You know, maybe I'll get excitement during the day. You know what I'm saying? We'll see. But Chad, that's the day, man. That's everything. So thank you guys again. Shout out to everybody holding it down. Check out the links. First link for the Scream Alerts Boot Camp and Real Estate Course. We've been talking about the long term a lot lately. It's been doing wonderful this year, but you could get updates for free long term alerts. You also have the Stream Alerts. Second link for the nightly watch right, the main channel. Oh man, look at we go. We we covered over a lot. You got the earnest. Where's the earnest cow? You got earnest cow. What's up? We missing? You got the random play. You got all. You got the heck there. You got a lot. I was in the button. I'm gonna wear another button down today. I need another button down today. You know what I'm saying? Because it's earning season, baby. It's earning season. We got, we got, we got to, we got to come in with the earning season swag. I might wear a suit. I don't know, but watch list tonight. 4 p.m. Pacific time, youtube.com slash the trading fraternity. We'll see you there, baby. Let's go. Third link for the membership badge. Legend has it. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego all had the merch. That's the fourth link. But shout out to the members, baby. That's link number three. Hey, yo, if, you, if it's, it's breathable through the merchandise, if the recession is not affecting you, feel free to go get you some bull merch. Okay, it looks good. It looks good. It looks good if you smile too. Check out the new channels, Cult Real Estate, Cult Cards, Cult Music. Follow me on Instagram at the trading 
Wrestling Fraternity. Don't fall for the fake Josh. I'm the private one, okay? You'll see here, so I'm never going to ask you for anything, but follow me. I've been posting stuff here and there, not too active. I need to get a long-term update there too, but check that out, how option pricing works. Uh, probably one of the best option tutorials in the game. I'm biased because I made it, but honestly, a lot of views, a lot of people have loved it. You could definitely learn a lot from this video, how we set up the long-term, baby. The long term is unstoppable, Chad. So just get with it now. Just get with it now before we look back and it's too late. You know what I'm saying? But check that out. And then finally, the prayer request wall. The prayer request wall, Chad Adonia. <laughs> Me and my mom, we do this every weekend. We got love for all of y'all. And honestly, we feel it on the same way back because I know y'all doing the same thing for me. But this is what we believe in. And I know there's a lot of Chads praying for other Chads, but it's simple. You fill it out. Even if you don't fill it out, we're going to pray for you. We rooting for all of you. If it can't flow through you, it won't flow to you. We wish in the best for every single one in mind and spirit. And that's why we try to offer everything we can to the highest level and for free 99. I want y'all to do good. Save that 10%. Get that long term, baby. But in the meantime, we praying for all of y'all. If you ever want to do anything for me, you shoot me a prayer my way. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a good deal. I'll take it, baby. Let's go. So I'll take it. I will take it, Chad. That's it. But that's the day. That's all we have here for the day. The futures are still ripping. The market was very wild today. We're going to have a lot to talk about. But again, by tomorrow morning, you're going to get more earnings and you're going to see how people are feeling anyway. So we'll just go from there and then we'll, uh, we'll figure out how it's all going to play out. But Chad, that is the day. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you for being here. And go read the books, man. Richest Man of Babylon, Proverb of New Living Translation, and The Strangest Secret in the World. I do have to get going, but we could do a quick one. We could do a quick one. Let me go pee real quick. Hey, man. I'll be right back. Yeah. Bitch, some popping and recorded. Bitch, it's earn a season. Like I'm chewing on the mic. I know you heard we eating. I don't do the pretty lines. I trade a different reason. You don't like what's on my mind? You can mute your TV. They buying THC. We buying TLT. I could go and change your life before not third day. You should go and change your mind about ACB. You should do the right steps. It's the ABCs. Hey, talking AKs and 22s. What? I'm talking AKs and 10 Qs. Hey, or the best play the slow move. Hey, want my whole life a damn. School. <laughs> so sit your ass down while your ass to quit the speed You gon' get your ass clapped cause you confused what one with me When they think I'm bad down is when I'm rising to my feet You saw me do this shit for free and still make a hundred G's I'ma pull up in a Jeep, one that's made by Mercedes I'ma buy it when it's cheap, and sell it for a premium Know that water kinda D, so I'm so mad while I think You gon' probably need a team if you gon' run it up on me Don't bring a crew to a cold fight Better buy some more time, hold it till there's no time Meet me at the goal line, dropping this like oh nine the devil Devil on my phone line, but haters kiss the decline I'm buying contracts at the money, they said that I'm stupid If you really think that you should short it, you won't do it There's a fine line between affording and stupid Anything I say, please don't do it <laughs> I'm just trying to be professional Living through recession, bruh, kinda feel depressing, huh? You should watch the estimates, company consensus Earn the season, set it up, I'm about to hit yeah. consecutive Bitch, I'm popping and record a bitch, it's earn the season Like I'm chewing on the mic, I know you heard we eating I don't do the pretty I just trade a different reason. You don't like what's on my mind? You can mute your TV. They buying TAC, we buying TLT. You could go and change your life before not third day. You should go and change your mind about up ACB. You should do the right steps. It's the ABC. Right. Got a house up in the hills, but I don't really like LA. You know I got a couple mil, but still it's 20 on a play. I break it down a hundred ways. I'm talking 50 different plays. Assume a lot of them gon' miss, but one gon' keep me in the game. Down. Now can you get up off my back? They say they making lots of money, but they talking now gap Never thought I'd make a milli, now that's what I pay in tax You ain't really gotta feel me, cause I know God got my back Don't talk much, if it's a done deal Plays I make are unreal, but the money's so real You could hate and uphill, but the plays ain't concealed I know you heard my mouth swear, you crackhead, you got no chill <laughs> I'ma never give this up like the girls I went to church with Maybe y'all retire when I hostile take Berkshire Don't fuck with your retire, I got Mivga on my shirt, bitch But I didn't need an image, put a thumbs up up on the Forbes list. Ha. Ha. Do you hear him? Do you hear him in the end? Y'all don't. Do you hear what that is? Forbes list. Ha. He just. Look it. You hear it? Put a thumbs up on the Forbes list. You get what he does? Ha. Oh, you hear that? 
bro, he just laughed at the mic and then just you hear him throw down the headphones. You don't, that's it. He said, ha. And then he said, I'm done. He just walked away. That was a mic drop. At the, I don't know. They don't feel me. They don't feel me. Oh, but I got something better for you, Chad. Chad, I got a mini one. Honestly, I say mini because this Philo, it runs very, very deep. And I, honestly, I, I, I want to give it to you quick. And I also don't want to hold back on you because that's the thing. I was like, okay, I could save this one for a little bit. And you know, we could really expound upon it. But then I'm like, I don't know if I should let the Chads go that long without it. Uh, because it's very important. And it's something I, I said to you on Friday. So if you weren't here on Friday, I, I hope you're here now and could listen to it. Because this is the simple thing about what I am about to tell you. And I hope, I don't know what ha what's going to happen with the market. You know that, you guys? You know, I know I know some things. I don't know a lot. I don't care what happens either way. You know, God's plan, baby. Like, I'm fully, I'm like falling in love with God's plan even more and more. Some of y'all feel me, some don't. And I encourage you to do so. But we don't know what's going to happen. And I, I don't care what's going to happen. And neither should you, right? And why I'm telling you this is because I don't know what pressures or worries of the world you're, you're, you have been given, whether it's personal, health, family, financially, market, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're dealing with, but this is what I said on Friday. I just want you to get into a little habit that before you, you look at what's wrong, before you look at what's bad, you need to start and you need to look at what is good. Cause that's how, that's how they do it in the Bible. That's how they do it. Uh, it's not like, it's not really like religious, but anytime like somebody in the Bible, one of the disciples, they would write a letter to a church and they would call them out. But anytime they would write the letter, they would start with the good and then they would get into the main topic. Then before they were like, yo, you suck at saving money. Y'all are hypocrites. But first they would say, hey, you're doing this good. And they would look at it. And honestly, I mean, the thing we're talking about, man, I'm telling you guys, can I just share this with you? Can I just give this to you right here, right now? Can I like, seriously, this will make your life so much fucking better. You have no idea. I'm serious. I don't know. Again, I don't know what you're going through. Anybody, whether it's good or bad, but the more appreciative you are of things and appreciative first, and that's what I'm saying. And like putting appreciative before you see all the ugly stuff. If you, if you could train your eye to just be appreciative, bro, like I'm I'm telling you, like you get something small, a free little chocolate on a pillow. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's cool. And find appreciation in the little things, man. Like seriously, maybe take a take a step back and look at your life. And and you'll see, man, there's there's probably a lot of things. Or maybe something's just not as bad as what it was, bro. Oh, come <laughs> They don't feel me. You know why? Because I, I, you know I'm clapping so hard to that because I was just getting over being sick. I still got a little bit of mucus, right? You know what I'm saying? And straight up, like, think about that. You know that feeling when, like, you're sick? And then when you're sick, you're like, I don't remember what it feels like to not be sick, right? And then once you, once you could breathe again, you get, like, appreciative, stuff like that, man. There might, there might be stuff that was affecting you way, way harder one year, two years, three years ago that maybe you don't deal with anymore. And, and again, those are little things to be appreciative about. But, dude, the, the first stepping stone, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know whether we're going to make money. I don't know what's going to happen in the world, how you're going to do it. But the first stepping stone, at least even to enjoy life a little bit. You want to know why I'm joking around all the time? I can find some smiles, you know? Just find appreciation. And that's, that's where it starts with. But that's not even the philo. This is all the pregame. So like I'm telling you, this is the first thing I wanted to talk about. And the reason is there's a philo and it's, it's related to that verse. I've read it to you. It's with Paul. And Paul's always like, it don't matter. He said, I've been rich. I've been poor. I could always find the good in a situation. Paul says, I've had a lot. I've had little. I've been hungry. I've been, I've been starving and I've been full. And I've learned to find peace in all of these situations. So this is what I'm talking about. 
So like I said, I, I, I wish I could go deeper with it. I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing you a disservice to not go as deep as we can with this, but I, I wanted you to hear it because this is a special ability. Chad, oh, do they hear me? <laughs> Chad, I want you to unlock some superhero. Beep. This is an ability. And I hope all of you start learning and desiring to acquire this. And I hope you work towards it. And I think this year we may we may get a chance. I think you got a little bit of a crash course on it last year, bro. For real. It is the ability to make something out of any situation. Ah, I hope you see how I worded it. The ability to make something out of any situation. So again, I'm saying for you could you could be able to make good out of anything. You could keep your attitude regardless of whatever it may be, right? But isn't it funny how that sounds? I want to be able to make anything out of any situation. I want to be able to make something out of any situation, bro. If that does not sound financial to you, then I don't I don't know if if we on the same page then either, but do you get what I'm saying, Chad? Because this is a hustler mentality, but it's also a peaceful mentality. Isn't that funny? You know how to make something out of anything. Great. If you could do that in the stock market, can you do it with your attitude? Can you do it when you're having a bad day, a good day? Can you be put in the worst situation and make something good out of it? Can you have your worst trading day of the year and come back tomorrow like it's nothing? Well, guess what? If you could do it with your attitude, I could assume you could do it with money. And then if you could do it with money, my question is, why would you have that ability and not do it in your everyday life? Huh. So that's what I'm talking about in this philo. And that's why we, we may have to go deeper. I'm going to remind you of this, Chad. But my, I, my, my thing I want to look at is like, it's not even a question. It's more so like, Yo, are you caring about this ability? Are you feeding this ability? Are you training this like it's the damn bench press, taking it to the gym? Are you recognizing that the real power is finding the ability to create something for you in any situation? So guess what? You'll learn how to do it with money. It starts with your attitude. And it starts with, again, having that ability to be appreciative, if, if anything, and building from there. So... It's a little one. I just wanted to share it with you, okay? So I hope you take it with you to the bank. I hope you enjoy this philo, but we're going to come back to it. But I really want you to think about this as we move forward, and I, I think you've already had your crash course lesson. So let's go, baby. Let's go. And, and the first thing you could do, I, I hope, I hope you could end today with appreciation, and I hope whatever you do after this, you show some love and appreciation. I hope you're just excited, bro. I hope you see something in your house that makes you smile. I hope you interact with somebody that makes you smile. I hope you see something and you're like, damn, I always wanted that and I have it now. Oh, man, I remember, wow, my back doesn't hurt today. Oh, my gosh, that's crazy. Oh, my God, I don't have to wake up and go to school anymore and be miserable and feel like, ah, rah, rah, rah. oh, my goodness. So that's it. That's it, Chad. You could do something. Let's see. And I'll see you tomorrow morning. Sound like a deal? Sound like a deal, Chad. But I love you all. That is your philosophy. You already know the books. Richest man of Babylon. Proverbs, no living. You know what I'm saying? Strangest secret in the world. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, don't forget why we're here. Why we keep going. Why we don't back down. Why that faith, hope, love ain't never going out of style. And why if you run in the race so well, somebody wants you to continue, baby. Why? finger to the sky baby to god be the glory and through the grace of god alone amen amen oh. <laughs> Woo! beautiful chad i'll see you in the morning let's go baby god bless you all you better be appreciative dog i'm just saying you can make something from nothing who can do it baby who has it that's the new superpower that's the new skill stop 
But Chad, I love you. Have a wonderful day. I'm gonna, Before I go crazy, I'll see you guys in the morning and tonight on the watch list. Peace. Out. Yeah, what about me, Jazz? You forget about me. I'm right there. I was just killing the beach, huh? <laughs> yeah, you saw. I was going, I was going, I was shout out to Prezi. That's me. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's me. I told, I told you, I told you guys. We're going to bring the inflation down. You see the gas. Where, where's OPEC? I heard nothing, 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 nothing from the OPEC. There's nothing from the Pope. The Pope didn't send me nothing yet. No, it's fine. We're going to get it. We're going to get to the bag and we're going to hook them long terms. Welcome to earnings season, huh? <laughs> All right, Chad, you have, a, you, have a, you have a wonderful, uh, uh, whatever you're doing out there, whatever, have fun in Alaska. But I'll see you guys, and I got to get going. Good morning.